Look, anyone who's surprised at this point wasn't here Wednesday. You just weren't here Wednesday, and you're just showing you weren't here Wednesday. I can collect platinum points now. That's how good I'm doing. <laughs> hey, everybody. Welcome to Fortune Cookie. We are starting with Mom Simulator 2023, which someone donated for during disc only. Because it was on sale for $2. Ha 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 Yeah, no account gamer asked me to pick it up. And then Hero Chaos Chow had to know what the fuck it was, because I think what were we doing last week? Oh yeah, we were we were playing Sparks of Hope and people were wondering what the fuck this thing was on my on my dashboard. Cow Tender. So uh I'm sure this will be a quality product. I'm sure we will have a great time. <laughs> It has music and sound, so those are two great signs of a video game right there. And it does, in fact, have a mom. So, clearly, batting a thousand so far. Um, but before we hop into this, let me get the Wisdom of Duke for Kurorisu Pachi. Ah, alien technology at its finest. Nist, nist, nist. Ah, conveniently, he got to stare at her chest. Look at that. Duke's plan works yet again. And secondly, let me turn on the one-word story, because I just realized I did not have that turned on. Alright. I have no idea what to expect with this, if I'm being completely honest. So, uh... Shrug? Let's just see how this is. The loading is going great so far. Is that AI Arch on? I have no fucking clue. You think I actually pay attention to the development of Mom Simulator? Game controls. Run, zoom, crouch, jump, interact, camera view, move and move. Welcome! My name is Megan and I'll help you with household. Monday, feed baby, baby's room, second floor. Add fusion to the bottle. <laughs> the fusion? Kitchen, first floor. Add milk to the bottle. Kitchen, first floor. Feed the baby, baby's room, second floor. Prepare breakfast, kitchen, first floor. Put six eggs from fridge in frying pan. Put three plates on table in living room. Put fried eggs in plates. Change baby's diaper, baby's room, second floor. Take off dirty diaper, put on a clean diaper. I, I think there's more steps to it than that. Collect toys, baby room, second floor. Put the toys from the floor in the basket. Prepare lunch, kitchen, first floor. Find the pan and put it on the stove. Put a potato from the fridge in the pan. Put a lettuce from the fridge in the pan. Put two plates on table in the living room. Pour the soup in the- Wait, what? <laughs> Potato and lettuce. That's a soup right there. Prepare a salad. Oh, okay. Put three plates on table in the living room. Put a cucumber from the fridge in the bowl. Put a tomato from the fridge in the bowl. Put the salad- <laughs> Cucumber tomato salad. Collect tra- Wow, this is a lot. You gotta do a lot as a mom. All right, I'm gonna jump everywhere first. Here's my shirt. It's very high quality. Can I see myself in the mirror? No, of course not. But I can stand on my, my makeup table. Oh, we got like two little pet beds. I got a bathroom. Nothing works in it. Oh wait, hang on. very loud sink I didn't expect it to be that loud genuinely we got it oh I gotta clean that toilet that's a dirty ass toilet ew oh we got a walk-in closet though with not much clothes in it. <laughs> ha, ha. 
There's our baby. What? 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 Give a baby food to a child. Ma'am, that is not a child. That is a doll. That is absolutely a doll. Wow, this- did we just move into this house? Did we, like, steal this house from someone else? Are we- Well done. Are we just the family that's, like, in the portrait? Maybe- that one of us is- that's probably me up on top there, I'm gonna assume. Notebook. We got a safe. We got to crack the safe. Hang on. No, moms don't know how to crack safes, apparently. There's, like, nothing in this house. Oh. Well, I guess we have multiple kids, then. Put baby in pelican mouth? No. No, not yet. Maybe later. I will think about it. There's so many empty closets in this house. Why even have a laundry room? We don't have any laundry. There's like literally no clothing. Look at how gross this thing is! This thing's seen the war! Or maybe it's because I keep jumping on it. Maybe that's why it's so worn out. We have like the nicest, newest dryer and like this old ass washer. All right, well, let's see what moms do. Jump over the railing, do a sick trick, and just leave the house. Oh, we've got no neighbors! Oh, wait, no, there they are. They're very far away. We must be rich as fuck. We got two-door garage with a fence. A fence that has no road leading into it. It's always a good sign. We got a dog. Mom can't get out of bounds just yet. She's not trying hard enough yet. All right, we got an air conditioner. We got our meter. A lovely garden. A very tiny shed for ants, I guess. Oh! Oh, the roof isn't real. The walls are, not the roof. All right, well, I live in here now. This is where I go to scream about my family. All right, fine, I'll go inside. Fine, I'll be a mom. What do I have to do? All right. Food, what the fuck? Goober, oatmeal, single grain cereal. Iron to help support learning ability. Goober. How do I grab it? This is a present from me to you. Look at your Add fusion for kids in bottle. What? Add milk in bottle. Well, friends, I look forward to Feed the baby. Maybe I should close the doors. Hello, baby. Here is your food. Give a baby food to a child. Task done. Congratulations on completing the task. I did it. I mommed. I mommed very well. Arizona, thank you for the raid. Nice. All right, well now what, do, oh my God. Should I be concerned that my baby's not blinking? 
I feel like that's something a parent would actually be worried about and maybe, maybe want to actually like look into. Maybe I'm not that good of a mom. Sick tricks. All right, put eggs in pan. Well, I'm doing things out of order. You're not the boss of me. I'm the boss of me. I'm the mom here. Put an egg to a pan. Egg. Put an egg. Put an egg. Put an egg. Put an egg to a pan. Put an egg. It's a good thing I have only six eggs in my fridge. This would be concerning otherwise, I feel. How far away can I grab these eggs? What's my what's my mom reach? No, oh, apparently, apparently not very good. Oh no, that's not bad. All right, we got long arms. We're long armed mom. <laughs> that, that's pretty far. That's pretty good reach for a mom. All right, I put the six egg in, which immediately meant it was all cooked. All right, here's pan with eggs. Have some eggs, have some eggs, have some eggs. Task is done. Congratulations on completing the task. Next up. Time to change, baby. I'm going into the garage. We're gonna need that texture of, ugh, of nuts and bolts. That's definitely real. Oh, we got a nice fireplace. We got our little laptop here. Our couch is covered in a nice comfy blanket. We got a rocking chair. Some lovely Minecraft fire. It's beautiful. Really reminds me of mom and being one. See, so does this picture. This looks like the house party house. Oh my God. All right, baby. Why are you T-posing, baby? Throw a diaper. Never speak of that diaper again. Congratulations on completing the task. Put the toys in the basket. They definitely weren't there before. There was definitely like a poop trash can there earlier. <laughs> wow, you did that too. You're such a good mom. Whoa, okay. Sick tricks. Plate for soup. Plate for soup. All right, big soup pan. Put a soup pan here. Put a potato, oh my God. Put a potato in the pan. Wow, that potato really turned into liquid. Let's throw a lettuce in there. Oh, soup's done. Potato and lettuce soup. Delicious. I'm sure me and my husband or wife will really enjoy this. Dude, your fridge regenerates food. It's a magic fridge. It's the highest quality fridge around. All right. Now that we've eaten soup, me and I guess just my husband, not any of my kids. Uh, How many living rooms do I have? Jesus. Anyone got any coats in here? No. Time for salad. How far away can I throw these in? Pretty far, I don't even know how to enter the room. Well, that moved the whole table, damn. All right, let's get the cucumber and the tomato. That We just made guacamole, that's what that looks like. All right, well, here's our salad. There's definitely three plates here, but I only have enough salad for two. No, there we go. 
Why do we only make two soups but three salads? So how long till you get the power slam your husband through that table to make another child? Uh, probably not. Probably not put into this version. All right, collect the trap. Wow, we are really shitty at this house. Like, look at this. We're just leaving shit on the ground. Some Yuki soda. A random card, wet cardboard box. Some extring, extrin six potato chips. You know, just a random like, random cup, random fountain drink. Where's our last one? Oh, I see you hiding over there. I got my mom vision going here. Honed in. I'm ready. I think that's an apple core. Who even is doing all this? There's no one else in this house but me and my weird T-posing baby. Congratulations on completing a day! I did it. I've mommed for one whole day now. This is easy. <laughs> Was that it? Is it just the same day again? Is it just one whole day of being a mom over and over? Is this the Groundhog Day of moms? Oh, what am I doing? I gotta do my sick tricks. Oh, wait. Oh, it's different. Oh, put bread in a toaster. Or, sorry, a toaster. Put toasts on a table. Damn, this is a fast toaster. Look at that. Finally. We made, we made toast. Uh, man, we're only doing one dirty diaper change a day? That, this baby's got, is like impressive at this point. Put dirty clothes in the laundry basket. Alright, it's time. Alright, what do we got here? A lovely, a lovely jacket. Like, no, it's kind of more of a sweater. We got our jeans, we got our mom jeans. Apparently this is clean, so we can't put this on. Oh, these are these are very stiff. Where have these things been? Oh god. What have we been doing to our clothes? Am I using too much starch? Look at this, look how stiff this is. You can't hide from me, clothes. I have mom vision. Funny how none of it's in the closet. The rest is gonna be downstairs, isn't it? Yep. The hell? Why are you just leaving sweatpants down here? Who's doing this? Bring your pants up to your room at least. You need to watch the movie Mr. Mom because this is you currently. Isn't that the Hulk Hogan movie? That's oh, Mr. Nanny, never mind. Oh, <laughs> Congrats on completing the task. That is just a photo of someone's dirty clothes, slightly blurred. And it's all along the side. What what a texture they put on this clothes, on this laundry. Mr. Mom's a Michael Keaton movie. Ah. Oh, we're not doing the laundry yet. We only put it in the basket. Okay. I got to make hot dogs.
<laughs> I keep my sausages separated just in case of a party emergency. You never know when you're gonna need it. Cook them? Who would do that? I just separate them and put them on a plate. Okay, put mustard. That's it. Just uncooked mustard hot dogs. Enjoy, kids. Mom of the year. All right, time to take... Oh, my God. Is this why there's so much trash in this house? Because we're just so bad at being a mom? Like, all they're doing is eating junk food because they don't want to eat my three cold hot dogs with mustard? They're just leaving wet cardboard boxes everywhere. Oh, I left the fridge open. I guess I can close that. I don't know. At this point, I can't tell who's in the who's like the biggest problem here. If I am as the mom, or if my freaking family is. Because my God, like I don't know who who's got it worse right now. At least they had the mustard. It was unironically the closest thing the mo this mom had next to the toast. All right, what's next? Oh, we're doing soup again. Gra Grab the lettuce. Oh, I can't put it in the soup pan until it's on on the burner. Okay, I see how it is. Wouldn't want to put things in out of order. Oh, I actually just can't put the lettuce in. The potato does have to be first. The potato has all the soup in it. Makes sense. Oh my God, it's so hard to actually click things in this. Doing things all out of order. Not being a very good mom right now. Congratulations on completing another day. <laughs> Welcome to the hell for the rest of your life. This is why I could never be a mom. For a multitude of reasons, but this specifically is why. It's eggs again. I wonder if we've actually seen everything the game has to offer now. I want to know if we've actually already tapped out the potential of this game. But we've only lived two days of being a mom. I must click on each egg separately. Come on, there we go. Oh. Egg number six, egg number six. Shinobi, thank you for the ray. Sorry, Kaze Ninja, rather. It's never Kaze Ninja, thank you for the raid. What I actually want to know, and the reason I haven't just, like, stopped the game yet, is I want to know if there's an ending. I want to know if the game ends. Oh, we got new tasks, baby. We learned how to pour juice. We got black cat cups. Does real motherhood have an ending? Technically. <laughs> Tropica. Hmm, no pulp. Hmm, I wonder how they got away with that one. Hmm. Oh, that's weird, it's reversed now, huh? That's really strange. 
Also, weird that we already had four cups on the table, but we had to put three other ones on there. Those were our decorative cups. Diaper duty. Throw a diaper. Get a broom and clean dust. I've got my magic broom. Clean a dust. Clean a dust. Clean a dust. Clean a dust. And of course, clean a dust. And now <laughs> another day of potato and lettuce soup. And again, it does have to be on the burner first. We can't put no we can't put no dry potato in there. It's gotta be wet potato. Does anyone know there's a long play of Mom Simulator 2023? I need to know. I need to know the ending of this game. Could we possibly be the first person on the internet to, de to defeat Mom Simulator? Oh, we're actually using the washing machine this time. The other day, we just, we didn't want to wash it. This time, we definitely are. There is no end to being a mom. Man, why y'all getting so existential? Your girl's just trying to be a mom. That's all I'm trying to do here. Just want to know when I get to stop being a mom and, you know, do something else with my life. As you do. It's called real life, John. Ah, damn. Don't put the dirty clothes so close to the damn fireplace. Good lord, you're gonna burn down the house. Alright, where's the last two pieces of dirty clothing? Oh. Actually using well, the top of the hamper, so almost. Maybe ask your mom when she stopped being a mom? I don't think I'm gonna ask my mother that question. <laughs> hey mom, when did you stop being a mom? What? Oh, that's the clean clothes, okay. Mom, when did you stop being a mom? You stop being a mom when you become a grandmom? I mean, that's technically correct. I will open every closet in this house if I have to to find this last piece of clothing. I will open every door. I'll leave the fridge open. Mom's pissed. You left it in the freaking, like, dining room? My god. This family is so unruly. That's... Oh, this is... Okay, so we just have an old washing machine and a new washing machine. Okay. Just never bothered to get rid of the old one. Complete another day. Everyone is pointing out that it's the house party house. Everyone loves that this is the house party house. Oh, I'm stuck. Got too fancy with my tricks. How long have we even been on this game? <laughs> How have we not been playing this for a half hour yet? What? You've been live for twice as long as the long play? Did the long play not even bother to finish multiple days? They just did one?
What a game to walk in on for my first time catching the stream live. <laughs> Welcome to Mom Simulator 2023, where we do things such as crack eggs and... and put an egg. That's it, we put an egg. We just leave our fridge open, put the plates down, and put an egg. We are never escaping the Jami accusations. When were the accusations in the first place? I'm just completing a task. Oh, we're doing bacon this time. Hell yeah. Please tell me I'm going to have separate strips of bacon when I open that fridge. Please tell me it's like it's not even going to be a case where it's like a package. It's literally just separate strips of bacon just sitting on top there. <laughs> I fucking knew it. I fucking knew it. I know this game's stupid tricks. Put a bacon to a pan. Put a fresh bacon in pan. Some fresh ass bacon. There we go. Momming it up real good here. Juice time. Ignore the other cups I have on the table. We gotta use our black cat cup specifically. Why are we serving this breakfast separately? I don't know. We're 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 pretty bad at being a mom, but we are good at buying Tropica. Never from Concentrate. Alright, baby pooped, hang on. Baby does one poop a day. Time to get a broom. Time to clean the dust. They're all in the same spots. The same five spots get dirty every time. Oh my god. That's a lot of trash. What is this family doing? Look, I know I'm doing a, setting a bad example because I'm leaving the fridge open all the time, but Jesus, come on now. Did the baby shift in place? Oh yeah. It's part of being a mom. You you put a diaper on a baby and they just randomly teleport around the room. Standard mom practice. Oh no, this one's going upstairs. I have to look around upstairs now for the garbage. Dude, this family sucks. I should just leave. Look at this. Who does this? Oh boy, 12 years of streaming? What? <laughs> I'm going to the kids' rooms. There's who I'm thinking has the garbage first. Ah, nope. Should have known. Whoever's trying to break into the safe to decide to eat all the garb, eat all their food first. Your alternate personality that you then take care of when you switch back to mom mode. Oh no. This is a freaking Fight Club situation. Except I'm both the dad and the mom at the same time. I'm just random one halfing the entire house. Ooh! Oh, whoa, we got a big one this time. We're making a burger. Nope, can't do the top bun yet. Hang on. Let's grab a cutlet. This is so inefficient. We are the most inefficient mom around. Oh my god. Time to add a cheese. Put a cheese. Again, we're only feeding two people. 
So who is getting... Who's not getting fed? I can't put the pickle on the one I've already done. I gotta, I gotta do the other tomato first on the other one. Can't do things out of order. That's not how burgers are made. All right, let's see how much this plate shifts this time. Nope, stayed in place. All right. There we go. Burger for me and a burger for someone else. My alter ego. I put both burgers in the same spot. Those burgers are both for me. Alright, we know where all the clothing is going to be this time. I genuinely want to know how many fucking days this game has. Because they are adding more tasks and they're making me do more things. There's definitely an end state somewhere. I want to know if I get to unlock credits. I want to know who made Mom Simulator. 2023. Oh yeah, I didn't even think about the We didn't even like cook the burger. We just, <laughs> we just fucking put the cold ass cutlets down. So I ate two cold ass burgers because that's the kind of mom I am, I guess. Uh, let's check the bathroom. Bingo. Okay, well now that I put the clothing in a basket, now I gotta make our freaking potato, potato lettuce soup. We do not have much food variety in this house, I've noticed. We've had so much soup so often. We completed another day. You're a hardworking mom for a family that only exists hypothetically. You need all that cold beef you can get. All right, well, this is the last day I'll do, okay? Because I can't tell if we're even making... Oh, no, there is! Oh, shit. It must end after a week. We just got to make it to, like, Saturday or Sunday. Yo, we could, we could finish Mom Simulator. We could actually put this in as a game clear. <laughs> Finish the fight, be the mom you were always meant to be. Well, now that you've given me that kind of motivation, how could I say no? Okay. All right, we're gonna try to speed run being a mom as much as we can. Unfortunately, putting an egg is very difficult. Oh my God, please, please put the egg. Bam, bam, bam. Bacon time. <laughs> All the ones that require one thing placed at a time. Mom, I'm hungry. Where's my egg in a pan? Oh, it'll be there in a minute, sweetie. Hang on. I have to awkwardly grab them out of the fridge. Just like my six slices separated of fresh bacon. Takes a long time to put together. I'm gonna be sad if you don't make pancakes. Oh man, I like how we've done eggs and bacon, but yeah, not pancakes. But then again, pancakes have a lot more steps, so. Eggos are something equivalent I would expect. Oh, bread time. 
Time for some toasts. Put your bread in that toaster. Oh my god, <laughs> we're just, it's just breakfast today. All we're doing is breakfast. Uh oh, do I have a visitor? I'm momming. Oh, perfect. Hi, buddy. Hi. He just stole your chicken? I'm momming at a 10th grade level. Yeah, apparently. I'm orange juice in it? I had Tropica. I gotta go. You gotta check out my baby. Your baby. My baby. My T posing baby. Okay. What? Wow. I'm such a proud mother. Wow. wow. <laughs> Did you throw it out the window yet? No, I can't pick. I can't throw the baby out the window. What? I know. I was disappointed too. I forget this game then. Hi, hey, Easter. So he's either gonna settle down or he's gonna definitely. Oh, okay. Yeah, you stay here so I can be a mom. <laughs> Love you. Oh shit, meds, I didn't notice that. Hang on. Ah, uh, damn it. I'm not gonna get another chance to look at that damn container, am I? John, why are you still in this? Because I want to finish it. I want to be... I want to finish Mom Simulator. <laughs> we can get the official Mom game clear. We, are a, we will have cleared being a mom. We'll never have to do it again for the rest of our life. This is John's dream? No, I think this is more of a nightmare at this point, how many times I'm going around the same room picking up the same stuff. I thought one was outside for a second. Uh-oh. Oh, they're hiding the clothes better. Kids are getting better at hiding the clothing everywhere. As an aunt of a baby, I think this is both inaccurate and accurate as all hell. <laughs> Uh-oh. Where's the last two pieces of clothing? You know what? I'm just gonna leave the tap on. Oh, that is loud. That is not even in the same room loud. That is the loudest faucet I have ever heard. Oh my god. <laughs> Some of the last ones in the garage. It fucking is, too. How loud is it with all the taps on? Oh, you've asked you've asked the forbidden question. You've asked the forbidden question. We're gonna find out now. There's only two faucets in the house, apparently. This is the loudest fucking house.
<laughs> Alright, time for more potato lettuce soup. Hopefully the kids don't mind that I left all the taps on. Imagine being the neighbor of this family and just seeing like this mom's slow descent into madness. You can hear the faucets from outside. Walking down the street, all you hear is a faucet. I just needed a break from my house. It was just too loud in there. Take me with you! Are you frying chicken in that house? It kind of sounds like it. How possible would it have be to have this as a rare water alert variant? If someone wants to make it, I'll use it. Here's our last piece of garbage. There we go. Oh my god, Friday's not even done yet. Clean of dust. Oh my god, oh my, oh! Oh, we're making a cake? Oh shit! I didn't expect that. We're breaking out all the stops today. All right, so we got egg, chocolate, flour. Put the bowl in the oven. Boom, we got a perfect chocolate cake. Look at that. We completed a day. All right, this is the same list. Guys, we beat the game. We did a week of the game. We are a mom from Monday to Friday. Saturday and Sunday though, those are our mom days off. We get to actually enjoy our weekend. Are you sure you want to go to the main menu? Yes. Congratulations, now do it for 18 more years. Uh, no, I'm good. Thank you, though. Thank you. Appreciate it. You know, I'm gonna count that as complete. I'm absolutely counting that as complete, because it doesn't look like there's anything else left in that game. Congrats on learning your earning your LTM license to mom. Thank you. I I work so hard for it. Thank you so much. Your Mrs. degree, if you will. Oh my god. 
Now for John to suffer empty nest syndrome. <laughs> Jesus. There you go. We did it. We mommed. No critical rating, but this has an 8 out of 10 on Metacritic somehow. Amazing. Amazing. Are you making a belated birthday cake for me or a birthday cake for my father, which is tomorrow? Belated for you, Daisy. Happy belated birthday. All right. Well, with that, let's go to the cookie. Bullsh All right, folks, if you or John read the review on Metacritic for this game... Give me a sec. Apparently the main story is two hours long, four hours with the side content, and six hours completionist. I somehow doubt that is correct. Which review am I reading? Has Ryu shoot someone? Ramnik kills Ryu with kindness and bullets and says, Welp, it's my birthday and I've forgotten how this birthday luck works, but I'll need as much as I can get. Don't read the rest out loud. Ooh, ooh! Oh no, Bramnet, oh my god. That's so much to deal with, I'm so sorry. Best of luck. Oh my god, but happy birthday, though. Here's hoping things get better. I understand. The rest, the rest, this is the rest of the message. Alright, I'm wishing the best for you regardless, alright? Here's hoping for some good luck for you. Happy birthday. Uh... One of the reviews I found from Mom Simulator. As a mom myself, it's so relaxing to just sit down after a long day of doing chores and just enjoy the extremely diverse and hardcore gameplay that is Mom Simulator. I used to be on the brink of depression and suicide, but this game has really brought a new perspective to my life, and for that I am grateful. Thank you, Mom Simulator. This game has saved my failing marriage. Thank you, Mom Simulator. It really opened my eyes to what a mom goes through every day. This was such a life-saving experience. Once again, thank you, Mom Simulator. I wonder if these might be ironic reviews. I don't just just a hunch. Just, just a hunch on that. I'm gonna go out on a limb on that one. All right, well, let's actually do what we're doing here tonight. Let's play some video games. Uh, do we have a carryover, first and foremost? Yes, we do. It's Persona 3 Reload. All right. Persona 3 Reload is the carryover from last week. And it's going to be going up against a bunch of random games. Here's the list. Game number one, Fast and Furious Crossroads for the Xbox One. Game number two... Looney Tunes Collector Alert for the Game Boy Color. Game number three. Terminator 2 Judgment Day for the NES. Game number four. Pokemon Diamond for the DS. Game number five. Final Fantasy IV, the complete collection for the PSP. Game number six. Live Alive on Switch. This is a very RPG-heavy round. And last but not least... Dead by Daylight. All right. I, I've bounced back and forth on on RPGs. I'm on a I'm on a okay with them at the moment run. This might change later, but right now I'm just like, eh, screw it. We have four RPGs on this list. 
Your choices are Persona 3 Reload, Fast and Furious Crossroads, Looney Tunes Collector Alert, Terminator 2 Judgment Day, Pokemon Diamond, Final Fantasy 4, Live Alive, and Dead by Daylight. The hell is going to win out of this list? I'm pretty sure I know what's going to win, but you know, you, you never know. Let's find out together, shall we? Put a cookie on the plate. Put a cookie on the plate. Put a strip of fresh bacon on the on the pan. Put an egg. 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 Put it in H. Put an egg in H. Turn the lead. Who knows? Some colors in the lead. Red's doing great. Blue's blue's also pretty big. So's orange. Lots of big colors going on today in the race. One of these will eventually win, but which one will it be? We'll never know. We'll never find out. Dragon Tamer, thank you for the gift sub. From me to you. Look at your left. All right, Persona 3 reloads in currently in the lead. 102 votes, 24% of the vote. Second place is live. Nope, Pokemon Diamond. Nope, live alive. 90 votes, 20%. Pokemon Diamond, same thing. Looney Tunes Collector Alert, 46 votes, 10%. Dead by Daylight, 39 votes, 8%. Final Fantasy IV, The Complete Collection, 28 votes, 6%. Terminator 2, Judgment Day, 21 votes, 4%. And Fast and Furious is in last. Wow. 16 votes, 3%. 485 votes clock so far. Persona 3 Reload leads over Live Alive and Pokemon Diamond, 119 to 112 to 104. The top three are just RPGs, and you can see why I don't always do RPGs on Cookie. Well, let's see what we're playing. Now, if the game in second place is a buck 99 or less away from the leader percentage-wise, I'll get added to the next polls an extra option. That's how Persona 3 Reload got on here. That or I think it was a wheel spin. Um, but if the 1% rule doesn't play, we will spin the wheel to see what gets a second chance. If anything. We might be actually beat a part of Live Alive if we get, if that wins. Just saying. I mean, we already did beat the the martial artist path, so we could just do another path. Oh, did I miss mommy? Yeah, sorry, Green. You missed Mom Simulator. We finished it. We were the best mom around for five whole days. We just skipped the weekend. We got the weekend off. Oh, Live Lab's catching up. And the winner is Persona 3 Reload by one vote. Persona 3 Reload's up next. Live Alive gets another chance next round. And for shits and giggles, if we had spun... It would have... Oh no, it would have been Pokemon Diamond. But it's not. It's Live Alive. Alright. Yeah, let the kids go into the abyss on the weekend. I don't, like, we didn't even feed our kid half the time. Like, some days we were, like, we put down three plates, and then later on the day we only put down two. Like, sometimes we gave our kids some salad, and then mom and dad had the soup. All right, let's drop some eggs. I think the one not getting fed sometimes was you. You're too busy as a mom to bother sitting down to a nice meal. Clearly, that's probably what it was, actually, knowing this game. Bramnet with a gift sub bomb. Anonymous gifted a sub to AC fan. Clockwork Pretzels gifted a sub to Mommy, I'm hungry. Bella Bunny gifted a sub to I am the Mama 69. <laughs> History Master gifted a sub to Danny Enigma and Dragon Tamer with a gift sub bomb as well. As for the rest of the subs, Jacko Center for 74, Halsey Rider for 39, Etrian Persona for 67, Jay Spatz for 48, Disgruntled Psyduck for 44, Damon Katamaru for 78, Flame Wave 7 for 69, nice. Mistress Bird for 7. Ooh, enjoy your new computer and phone. C Rust 90 for 7, The Griffin 88 for 102, Zebra Rick for 40, Green Day Rock for 83, sitting here returning 02 to CO2 for 9. 
<laughs> Good luck with all the mom points you're gonna earn tonight. Well, what do mom points get me? Do they even get me anything? Zero Flame 16 for 78 versus Foxtrot for 5. <laughs> first stream in Fortune Cookie I can actually catch in like three months, and the first thing I see is Mom Simulator. What the fuck, John? You had to be here Wednesday. Millennium Pigeon for 3. True Kenman for 30. Tree Keonthia for 80. Fang 121 for 66. Awogenator for 36. C9 Cage for 16. Patrice 79, 79 for 38. Snowy Satoru for 51, Warrior Fire for 78, Phoenix 926 for 63, Silent Ghost 9876 for 4, Sagami Ito for 49. Keep up the awesome streams, Jami. I, I mean Mommy, I mean Jom, I mean Mom, I mean... Thanks. Storm of Exploding for 73, Rio 3415 for 124, Aussie Icarus for 57, Dark Rye King for 14. Ah, the Scream Shack, every good house needs one! <laughs> Uh, CD Chan for 76, Defender Hero for 77, Wayward Rider Ryu for 31, The Slick Duke for 37, Mad Zap 17 for 73, Mimo for 34, Death Map G for 95, Epic DXX for 54, Starry Wolf for 25, Gokai Yellow for 69, nice, Proof Gold for 115, Toku Drew for 34, Prime for 40, Mother, I Desire Nutrition. Uh, Silvermeyer for 29, Mike Bliss 218 for 53, Green Power Star for 93. Aussie Rayquaza for 28. Gokai Orange gifted a sub to Mommy Milkers. Yeah. And Chaos Set gifted a sub to Mommy. Sorry, Mommy. I'm just shaking my head. Thanks for subbing and hanging out tonight, folks. Your eggs tonight are courtesy of the following people. He says that he hits the wrong option. Halberd B2 for 97 as well. I'm not sure which one was the dank misreference, Hal. Oh, did I not clean up? Okay, I did not clean up the carton. Okay. Gokai sends in... Wheel of Fortune by the looks of it. Damn. Oh, Your patient has died from having to wait 13 seconds for this egg. Report immediately to Vegas Pro and make it shorter next time. work. <laughs> Go Kai, I need that one. <laughs> Is this because Game Grunts played that game, that version this week? And Puppet Master with Meanwhile in Dad Simulator. Man, it's boring in this household. We don't even have cable. It's the same house! Well, the mom and the son are out, so I guess I have the place to myself, but what is there to do? I guess we'll just go to the bar or something. Oh, yeah, box. Alright, I gotta open it. Uh, how do knives work again? Oh, yeah, I remember. I think. Uh, wait, no. Let's try this. <laughs> I don't need my <laughs> wife. Oh! Uh, oh! I don't know what this thing is. Oh, hey, I know. It's kindling for the fire. <laughs> uh, man, I knew we shouldn't have stopped at Ikea. Ah, there we go. Now our family is warm for the winter. I'm such a responsible adult. <laughs> Thanks, Puppet Master. All right, we're going to go to break. When we come back... Bullsh My god, I almost said Dad Simulator. <sighs> Persona 3 Reload. See you guys in a bit.
I'm just gonna leave it at that. You gotta figure out what I'm laughing at. Twenty-two gigs is not terrible. Be right back. I'm gonna go check on my son, just like a real mom would. Unlike, I guess, the one in the game. <sighs> All right. Look at the last thing Vincent said in chat. The emote? Oh. That one gif is taking a lot of balls to the face. Reminds me of my ex-wife. Wow. Wow. Alright, looks like it's gonna be meds and cold tonight. Meanwhile, let's do some alerts while we're waiting for Persona 3 Reload to install. And we'll do Dream Watch, and then we'll, uh, if we still have the stall, we'll do Art Blog. I am thou, thou art me. We're a happy family. <laughs> I am nobody. <laughs> I want to be clear. 
That's what Montaro suggested to me. Oh my Don't god. Don't tell me who I am. I, I want to be very clear. No, no, tell me tell me who I am. Could tell me I could use the answers right now. Uh uh Mommy. Really? That's he's, he's the answer we're going point. with? Uh Yes. Yes, I am. Congratulations. I'm so... I'm, congratulations I, I really... on completing mommy simulator. <laughs> I really did do this to myself, didn't I? A little bit. A little bit. I'm so sad you didn't see the juice again. Because, oh. like, on that last time, I noticed whenever you, you picked it up, it said Tropicana again. All right, hang on. You got a picture of it, at least, so I can slap yeah, it up on the screen Yeah, I went here. back and clipped it just to make sure I wasn't insane. <laughs> Bullsh**. Sure enough, when it's reversed and my, held in my hand, it becomes Tropicana, not Tropica. <laughs> Good job, Mom Simulator 2023. You're going to get sued. <laughs> I expect it off the eShop in like three months. Unless Actually, they might they might get away with it because it's flipped and reversed. That might be the only I way they get away with it, ironically. Actually, I say that and it's like, all right, the amount of shovelware that's on the eShop. Also that. Oh, God. What was I doing? I was reading through alerts. Mistress Bird says, Your action movie style dreams have rubbed off on me. I had a dream about being involved in a triad business deal with my deceased dad, and I apparently came across someone who might have been a grim reaper who had a vessel interested in proceedings, which I naturally interpreted as, Oh fuck, someone here is gonna die. Interesting. I finally had some, like, dreams to write down. I had a couple, like, days in a row of just, like, shards. And then finally, I got like an actual proper dream or two. I guess there was some action in one of them, but like, it didn't quite play out the way I expected. Thank you, Bird. Enjoy your action dreams. Bird also says, let's hope your recent dreams haven't been as weird as the one I remember I mentioned earlier. Eh, not really. Fairly tame. I'm back to having tame dreams again, which I don't know if that's good or bad. But the dreams feel more... Um, what's the word I'm looking for? I feel more in them, if that makes sense. Like, I feel like I'm making more actual decisions versus, like, weird things happening, even though there's still weird things happening in them. I, they feel like I'm seeing them in more detail, yet they're still, like, dumb. Owo says, we must restore balance with father-type activities. Use this money for Cannon Father on Steam before it is too late. No, I'm sorry. I'm just stuck like this now. This is my voice for the rest of time. <laughs> Hope you enjoy it. Uh, what is Cannon Father? What the hell is this? It's every retired pirate's fa pirate father's nightmare, a never-ending onslaught of enemies from your past, hell-bent on destroying what little remains of your family. An explosive adventure where you find yourself shooting, disintegrating, and flattening invaders all while treasure hunting. This looks neat. What's the name of the game? Cannon Father. Oh, it's early access, too. Cannon Father? Oh, Cannon Father. Cannon Father, as in, like, Dad. Oh, okay, hold on. Uh... Tragic, such a shame. Who would ever want that? Yeah, who would ever want me to keep talking like this forever? I'm sure I can't think of anyone who would be bothered by that. Right? Ugh. Oh, it looks neat. Yeah, it looks kind of neat, yeah. Gold Lightning says, Baby's eyes stare directly into your soul. I mean, that's just what babies do. That's just what babies do. Amphis Mako says, Obligatory birthday tip. 38 bells will chime. Happy birthday, Amph. Here's hoping it's a good one. Evil J. Brian says, The baby, T-posing to assert dominance at an early age. Bella Bunny says, Mommy? Sorry. Mommy? Sorry. Mommy? Bramnet. Oh, I already read it. Bramnet's earlier. Again, happy birthday, Bramnet. Ryu Saber says, Well, you beat Mom Simulator 2023. Now get Mommy Simulator on Steam, since that seems to have actual gameplay. Wait, what? Actually? Hold up. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I'm looking at the game. Oh, now. this. Yeah, this is a video game. What the fuck? <laughs> Mommy Simulator is a unique and engaging game that simulates the experience of being a mother. 
It's a, at least it's only a dollar? Which animal is panda? Find the girl baby. Now find the girl baby. Boy, this totally doesn't look like an asset flip. Which shape is triangle? It's a dollar twenty-seven. Phase on. Is it, is it Steam Deck certified though? It is not. It's trash. Zero out of ten. <laughs> <laughs> well, now my day is ruined. How could you? <laughs> Faison Farmer says, watched a horror comedy movie earlier tonight, and near the end I thought, man, John would love this. Please look up Lisa Frankenstein when you have the time. Hi. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I, I might have heard a memory. Oh, the, it's Zelda Williams directed it. Oh, cool. That's Interesting. neat. Interesting. Cool, I'll check it out. A 2024 American Horror Comedy. So it, this, like, just came out. Oh, yeah, it came out February 9th. It came out yesterday. Yeah, so very, very recent. Yeah, directed by Zelda Williams. Wow. Thank you, Faison. Uh, we are caught up on alerts, so let's do Dreamwatch. I'm watching Watch as best I can! Watch his, harder! Is Mommy Simulator actually worth a dollar? If so, tell me how to buy games for John. Usually, people, like, donate, and they just say what game for me to pick up. It's just easier that way. But if you're on my I, friends list, you can gift me games on Steam, so... I'm twitching! I'm so, watch so hard! Anyway. What the hell was that? <laughs> I'm trying to watch really hard. Oh. Yeah. Exactly. Anyway... Isn't it weird that the Wii had game gifting, but none of the other consoles since have? That is, did it? I didn't even know the Wii had game gifting. I'm almost know. positive it did. Like, if you bought something off the virtual console, you could buy it as a gift. Hold on. I'm like 99% sure that's real. You can also Yeah, there's a lot of people saying it did. Oh my god, that is it did. wild, I don't remember that. Sailor Crossfay, thank you for the raid. Hopefully your stream was good. Robert Cop turned himself into the authorities. He's currently serving a life sentence inside John's computer. Bullsh oh, yo. Nice to see you. Alt uh, how do I have Sir Liz? I'm going to butcher this. Alternus Alternus Liz? Alternus Liz? Alternus Liz, I think is what it's supposed to be. You're right for Go Nintendo. Congratulations. Hell yeah. Took me like five tries to say it. That's just because I'm bad at names, but. <laughs> Alright. Uh Dream Watch. I got two dream fragments and then yes, two whole yes, dreams. Yes. yes! There was a whole dream, but the only part I still remember is talking to someone while cleaning the house, lifting up the recycling bin, and a very tiny thing dashing away from us. It looked like an extremely tiny version of the tar monster I fought a couple times. I seem surprised by it, but also not really worried about it, like it wasn't a threat. Next dream fragment. Another dream forgotten, but the only scene I remember is being in my office and looking at scenes of the Twilight Zone where two actresses and an actor get dropped into the Fountain of Youth and are trying to escape it in time. Someone posted smear frames from the episode and they look comical. And then the actual dreams. House sitting for a friend with another friend, but it's very much not that person's house. Going up the stairs while listening to a Colbert monologue. He's talking about wanting to be the vice president slash running mate for Joe Biden, and the bit goes on for like 15 minutes in real time. Meanwhile, I'm climbing the banister, trying to get to a ledge behind them that you normally can't get to otherwise. I make it and sit down to order food, and I order pizza again. It instantly appears in my hands after I order it. I hide it on the floor of the ledge and go up to the bedrooms. The friend I'm with is on a PC in one of the other roommate's rooms, gaming, so I go into the main person's room. He's got a PC set up with a switcher and a bunch of consoles. 
I use an Xbox controller to queue up a video from Nintendo Capri Sun, and it's a vlog about where he is. Some sort of Tetris 99 tournament he's at? I hit the Xbox button and it boots up hit, uh, the person's Xbox, which he was playing Star Fox 64 on for some reason. I look around the room and realize every part of this room is just packed with stuff. I comment that I don't know how he'll ever get it all packed up if he ever moves, and fall asleep on the bed. Dream ends there. So, I went and fell asleep in the dream. And the other dream. I'm in some city looking at shops with a friend. We go to, into a shoe store because we hear LeVar Burton works there, and sure enough, he's chatting up customers and helping them find good shoes. I look around for a good pair of sneakers and find a nice-looking set of black Velcro sneakers. I comment that I had been wanting to get a more colorful pair of sneakers, but I'll get those later, and these will be comfy for now. I pay for them, look at my friend, and suddenly the scene starts to change. The dream changes to a video game, but we're still in the same area. We're playing some 3v3 or 4v4 team-based shooter like uh, Rainbow Six Siege. I have the objective and have to make it back to base intact. I start running down the street to head back to base, but look at my radar and see someone heading towards me from the rooftops. I pull out my rifle as I see someone setting up to snipe me, line up a shot, and my gun doesn't fire. Huh? I try a couple times, check the gun over, nothing, it won't fire. Did I hit S on the keyboard and put it put the safety on? I say out loud, despite not being at a keyboard slash being in the game. I stick with as much cover as I can, watching the other player, until I have to make a mad sprint for the base. Which seems to be some quick oil change garage. I dive in as a shot rings out, but make it to cover, get to the back of, to drop off the objective, which seems to be my shoes for some reason, and the game HUD, gun, and outfit all disappear. Walking over to a monitor, I see I was playing a game on some purple website that runs trivia shows for real money and the game I was in. I apparently earned $2.19 for my performance, and my friend had $7.16 in their account. I decide to stop playing and head back home, but a friend texts me to come hang out, so I go visit them at their place instead. Oops. Cut to me being at their house and chatting. It's Mystery Ben slash CMS Pyrowolf, and we just chat and catch up on things. We talk about stuff we've had to deal with both doing online content for so long, and it just turns into a giant rant fest. Feels cathartic. Hours pass, and then I decide I gotta go, so I wave goodbye, head out the door, and the dream ends. I have no idea if the money from the website was Canadian or not. It just it just said like two dollars and nineteen cents or whatever. Wait, CMS Pyrowolf and Mystery Ben are the same person? Yes, they are. I had a dream last Wednesday where, uh, right, uh, right into night where you invented, invited me to a holiday party at your family's house. There are a couple others who might have been alts were there, but I wasn't sure. Nothing ominous or cryptic was said, but there was a lot of don't stress it. Weird. Interesting on that, though. All right. Uh, how long were we on break? Yeah, let's go to the next game. All right. We'll do Art Block next break. It's time for Persona. Boss. Oh, baby. That's not Persona. Boss. There we go. There's the void. That's what I needed. All right, volume warning. I do not know how loud this is going to be as I have not booted up this game yet. Dreamwatch always gets... Uh, PC. I got a free code for PC, so... Ah, I got you. Got this code for free from Sega. That's so, right. You did the sponsored stream the other week, didn't you? No. Oh. They just well, gave I'm me the code then. for... They just gave me the game for free. It's almost like... It's almost like John has a good relationship with Sega. Don't know why. <laughs> Don't know why. But I'm not gonna complain. <laughs> anyway. Oh, fuck. Call, call command needs to be changed. Actually, I won't change it. Someone else... Someone else change it to something. I don't fucking care. <laughs> I'll be frank for a day. <laughs> oh, who do I have to be? I'm Montara. either gonna be. I, or, well, oh, yeah, the shoes, right? Montaro or Deef. Montaro or Deef. Um, it, is, it is you're the dragon. You might be your most powerful. I'd be down being a dragon. I drew my I, I drew my 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 son as a dragon once, and then never did it again. <laughs> Maybe I should do that again. There Maybe. you go. Here's your excuse: the year of the dragon. You had a whole year to draw it. <laughs> <laughs> One full year. All right, where's my game? There's my game. Hey, there it is. Support online features when connected to the internet. Would you like to... I didn't even get the read it, John, you piece of shit. <laughs> you don't need to read. 
<laughs> Not in this game. <laughs> I like Magus's post. I am thou. Thou art a bitch. Art a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We should definitely watch this intro though, because it's really good. <laughs> Hello. Look at, that, look at that MP3 player. Look, I can't say much. I still use my iPod. <laughs> I no. use a Zune. No, that's fine. That's completely fine. If it works for you, it works for you. I am thou. Thou art a stupid fuck. <laughs> I am thou. Thou art horny. <laughs> that would be mine. Mine would be, I wish I weren't thou. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I weren't thou. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, I like this one. I am thou. Thou art 16. Nah, that's, that only works over on Steven's stream. Well, if you know about Steven's streams, it works. <laughs> Fair enough. So you lost me on that one. <laughs> anyway. God, this intro is so good. Dog! Dog! Doggy! You're an MP3 player. How are you no. supposed to listen to music now? My dude, that's a relic. <laughs> you are not the first person to point that out. <laughs> we need the sick jams. <laughs> I'm oh. over music now. J John, you need to turn all the music in the game off. <laughs> <laughs> so one thing that's very interesting about this remake from what I've uh, played is that despite the fact that it looks a lot cleaner, you can tell it's made by the P5 team. <laughs> oh, for sure. I do like how they um, how they made it fit sort of the more the P3 vibes compared to something like Persona 5. Like from what I've seen, it, this game honestly looks fantastic. Also, apparently there's ray tracing support in this version. Interesting. Moderately challenging combat. Your choice of difficulty will not affect the story and can be changed at any time, excluding Merciless. For highly advanced players, exceedingly challenging combat. Your choice of difficulty will not be affected. Will not affect the story and can be changed at any time. You cannot return to Merciless once leaving it. I have faith in you. No, I'm it, doing. It shouldn't be that hard. I'd rather do normal. I'm only playing for a half hour. You probably won't even get to the fighting, so what does it matter? Yeah, exactly. Like, uh, doesn't this have like a <laughs> slow start? Yeah. Well, I mean, it's a, it's a lot of dialogue. Uh, the ray tracing is in the reflections of the floor in dungeons. Uh, on the floors in dungeons. Okay. Time waits for no one. All are equal in its flow, all lives born to their ends. You who would protect the glimmer of the finite future, you have a single year. Go forth and live in the time given to you. Even in these halcyon days of repose, let your heart guide you and never stray from its path. Is that a threat? It's like, you've got <laughs> one year, buddy. It kinda is, if you know Persona. <laughs> it kinda is. Uh, look at him walking. They're doing great. Look, there we go. Having a good walk. Yeah, everything is going just fine. Oh, dude, he fixed his music player. Yeah, this guy's music player. Oh, someone's got a someone got a Pride uh, badge. Oh yeah. Ah. Uh, to my head. And then the trigger. I should also point out, last time we played Persona 3, uh, I know it looks like a gun. It's not a gun. No yeah. I, I should ask, chat, at the beginning of the game, 
Should we give some form of a gore warning or no? What then? What is it? It's an evoker. Yeah, it you you'll learn in the story, but it's it's not a gun. Yeah, it, it's, it's a it's, gun in shape and function, but not actual like gun. It does not shoot a bullet. Oh, we got some information. Um, BTW Studio uh, Wit animated all of the animated cutscenes for P3R, and for those who don't know, um, that is Attack on Titan, uh, Spy X Family, and Vinland Saga. Nice. Those people who animate these cutscenes. From what I've seen, it's not too bad at the beginning, so. <laughs> this is the part of the game I've never understood. He just doesn't care. He's like, okay. <laughs> I need whatever. <laughs> I guess the power's out. Yeah. Yeah, I guess there's just pools of blood everywhere. Yeah, every, yeah where's my school gone. again? <laughs> Why is everything green? If I was green, I would die. Oh, there's if actually I was... like... I arrived so late, I better hurry up. Iwato Dai Dorm. That's where I'll be staying from now on. It should just be up ahead. You actually played this part. That's cool. Oh, did you not play this part in the original? No. Interesting. Okay. No, it just, uh, you show up at the dorm and then the cutscene ends. <laughs> Companies win St. Patrick's Day. Everything goes green. <laughs> this makes it even more weird. Like, you can actually go up and inspect the things like, huh. Hey, what's this doing here? <laughs> Honestly, I find it just really funny. <laughs> you should really head to the dorm. Yeah. It, it won't budge. <laughs> You're trying to open them? <laughs> Where did Where everyone did go? Everyone go? <laughs> this, this is, is so great. Dumb. I, I mean, love I love Persona 3. This is so dumb. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be honest. I, I, I think I kind of want to play the game now. <laughs> you should. Persona 3 is solid. Yeah. Me and my I girlfriend just got done playing Persona 3 like the original one uh, not too long ago because I wanted her to see it before Persona 3 Reload came out just in case yeah. of spoilers. Because it's a great story. I've seen pieces of this game from another person. This is exactly how he acts in the anime, too. He literally smacks someone in the face and goes, My bad. <laughs> Incredible. <laughs> we'll get Persona 3 Reload Royal when that comes out for okay. the Switch 2. Hello, Mysterious Boy Talk. Goodbye, Mysterious Boy Talk. You're late. He's gone. I've been waiting a long time. Oh, I'm sorry. It's like midnight. It's not that bad. If you wish to proceed, sign your name here. It's a contract. There's no need to be scared. All it says is that you're- Yeah, there's nothing weird about this. <laughs> Not at all, no. <laughs> Fun fact, the VA for the protagonist in this game is also the VA for Luke in Street Fighter VI. Yeah, it's like Alex Lee. Alex Lee, correct. There's, oh my God, there's one meme that, oh, I can't remember. I don't know if I can find it again. There was one meme I uh, I know he did with an RVA that was really, really funny. So <laughs> I need to find it again. Do they want the full name now, or do they just want the first name? Full name. Okay. So, Well, like, it's first and last. That's first. Shrek <laughs> Nuts McFuck Nuts. <laughs> Adam. Ah, anime protagonist. Impre Honestly, I think that's funnier. <laughs> protagonist. Or just protag. You can just do Protag. I guess Protag would make way more sense. There we go. Anime Protag. Yeah. Did I spell that correctly? <laughs> go with this. Uh, no, you didn't. <laughs> Did I spell my own name right? I was hoping for Anime Girl-san again. Well, I'm, we're not a girl. We can't do girl this time. Time is something no one can escape. Delivers us all to the same end. You can't plug your ears or cover your eyes. I mean, I'm gonna do it anyways. And so, it begins. Well, college is weird. <sighs> uh huh. Wait, is this supposed to be college or high school? It's high school, I'm pretty sure. Okay. Oh, We're hello. just thinking about the future. <laughs>
Wait. My favorite characters, girl and other girl. Huh? The lights. Best girl. My name is Mitsuru. Are you my brother Rex Racer? I'm Show me a moves. <laughs> 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 He's a transfer student. And Nomitsuru also had a brother named Rex Racer. <laughs> you learn a lot about her in this game. <laughs> I found the video, by the way. I'll, po I'll pause your mom for you to check out later. We'll this is Yukari Takeba. She'll be a second year this spring, just like you. Call me Takeba. Ah, shit, I remember wanting to be Mitsuru before my egg cracked. <laughs> Sorry, tell me. <laughs> What'd you say? Uh, what'd you say, dude? I was going to uh, say, Mitsuru does ride a motorcycle, so, like, mm -hmm. you know, could be out there. Is this the girls' dorm? <laughs> no, it's not, but how should I explain it? There are boys' and girls' dorms, but this one's co-ed. It's a bit of an exception, you might say. I'll explain it to you later when I get a chance. It's getting late. You'll find your room at the end of the hall on the second floor. Your things should already be there. Why don't you get some rest? Oh, I'll show you the way. Follow me. Have a nice room. walk. Pretty easy to remember, huh? Since it's all the way at the end here. Um, do you have any questions? Does that kid live here too? What kid? What are you talking about? Come on, that's not funny. Ikari doesn't seem to know what I'm talking about. Uh, <laughs> oh well. Ask you something. On your way here from the station, was everything okay? What do you mean? <laughs> you don't know? I guess that means you're fine. Oh, okay. Don't worry about it then. Yeah, coffins were there. Is that is that a big deal? Big issue? Bye. I figured they were having a funeral party. I'm sure you still have questions, but let's save them for later. Okay? Good night. Cool. Have fun walking around with a gun. Wow, my room is very blue. You got a TV! Got a cool-ass TV. Life in the dorm starts today with my CRT on a stand with little wheels. Hell yeah. The room came pre-furnished and everything. I'm spent. I should put things in the closet and get right, get to bed early. Save your game by pressing the pause button. Same as possible whenever it's Oh. Screen. Like to point out the screenshots show the keyboard uh, controls and not the, not the controls for controller. A little weird. As it always default to that with a PC version, unfortunately. Yeah. When you save your game, it also saves a little bit of your past. You can go back to that time by opening this menu with Y, going to system, selecting rewind? What? Oh, wow, that's different. When you select wait, wait, the rewind wait. slot, you will be returned to a point where you could roam freely shortly before you saved your game. What? Note that the In case you make a mistake. Note that the rewind function does not save your new starting point automatically. If you use this function, make sure to continue to save your game as necessary. Oh, that's interesting. So that must that must uh, like um, counteract anyone who may want to like restart their game if they made a mistake. Makes it easier to do that. Yeah, pretty much. That's cool, actually. Yeah, it's a useful uh, useful feature. Okay. <laughs> Before you go to bed, John. Yeah. Can you uh, check out a video I posted in my room? What did you post? Oh, for those that haven't seen the video, it's really funny. So this is this was a video that the VA for the protagonist did with another VA as well. It's really funny. Oh, uh. oh God! Dear it's not spoilers. Leader, it's not do spoilers. Not Don't worry. To the dorm, I picked an absolute poo poo cake. Just completely fucked it up. I'm so sorry. Fuka. <laughs> Lemons. <laughs> Did he just <laughs> fucking eat a lemon? <laughs> An absolute poo poo cake. Just completely fucked uh, it up. I'm so sorry. Fuka. Fuka. 
He just spits out a fucking lemon. Lemons. Oh, it looks like it was lemons. <laughs> it's really good. I love that that look, video. I think they like edited in the lemon, but still, Jesus. Yeah, it's a good edit though. Oh, <laughs> Knowing Fuka, this is very accurate. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, is that uh, Mister? Hi, buddy. Well, welcome you. back. Hi, can I help you? Uh. Oh, you're chilly. Chili con carne. Chili con cat. Hi, mister. Where's your weed, mister? She be in the same spot. You're the only one who touches the weed. It's in, it was up here, but... It should be... It's the container been below. It's the bottom one. Down here? Yeah. Cow! Ah! Oh, it's weed time for bagel. Bagel loves the weed. Bagel, you already had most of my chicken dinner. Are you, why are you looking hungry? Bagel's just naturally hungry. You're too. Mommy, please give me chicken nuggies. Please. He, like, literally, he got a bunch of shredded chicken already. He oh, okay. so much of my dinner. Reese has been, like, taking parts of these, like, this rotisserie chicken and just kind of mixing into meals. And every time Bagel finds out, he just follows her around the house. <laughs> You're giving him weed, of course he's gonna be hungry. Shit, Montero's got a good point. Listen, he deserves to relax after a long day. Sleeping in your bed will allow you to advance forward in time, <coughs> proceeding to the next day. Oh, is this a three remake? Yeah, three reload. Nice. I wanna play it so bad. I got it on Steam if you wanna play through it. Cats it is on some weed. It is on Game Pass as well. If I ever wanted to renew that, is service. it actually on Game Pass? I didn't realize that. It is. Yeah, it's on Game Pass. PC Game Pass or console Game Pass? I think it's both. They're different. That's annoying. They are different. Yes. If you get Game Pass Ultimate, you get both. Good morning. Listen to those morning trumpets. Good morning. Did you sleep okay? Cool. No gun this go? time, huh? <laughs> Great, let's set out. It's a day hey. one on Game Pass. Dang. And this is how we'll be getting to school every day. It's a monorail. Pretty cool, huh? I it's drifting. Right here, it almost feels like we're flying over the ocean. Oh, by the way, our school's at the last stop on this line. It's called Tatsumi Port Island. Have you heard of it? The whole thing's man-made, and our school's smack dab in the middle. I'm sorry, those generic seagull sounds. <laughs> there it is now. <laughs> I've, heard I've never heard a seagull sound that's not that sound. Exactly, they use, it's used so much. I mean, there's not that many sounds seagulls make. I could find more. Morning. Give me a seagull, I'll record it all day. <laughs> <laughs> Say well, stuff, seagull! <laughs> Say yeah. stuff! Not that sound, a different sound! Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, there we go. Here's my jam, baby. Let's go. Let's see. I guess you should go see your homeroom teacher first. The faculty right. office is over there on the left. They'll tell you more when you get there. Oh, that about John, are your co-coms okay? No. no. I'm great. But are you okay though? Me? Busta Wolf? I was gonna say I have PTSD from that phrase. Fuck. About last night. Don't tell anyone what you saw, okay? See you. Just walking around, seeing bubbles above people's heads. No big deal. One of my few memories of playing Persona 3 FES is literally standing in place and spinning in circles listening to the song. That's literally <laughs> ah, you one got of, the experience. Yeah, that's literally a, one of my few memories I remember of playing the PS2 version, was just doing this. Song sounds real damn good, though. No, yeah, this is like, what do they call it? Like, Wanna Be Close? I forget. It's, it's pretty good. 
the Persona series always has really, really good music. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, each game's usually themed a specific way, so. Yes. Why spin? I don't know. I just, I was just, I remember doing it. Spin! I got a little small note on the side. Class 2F, anime pro tag. Is that the anime pro tag? Mm, no, it's know. just someone named anime pro tag. Yeah. He's got the blue hair though! Man, it's not blue enough oh, though. Ah, frivolous student. <laughs> Homeroom teacher is what? Miss Toriyumi? I guess she is older than me, but I would hope so. You're a student. Wait, what? <laughs> that makes sense later. Wait, wait is this wait is this no Joji Asia? Yeah, someone is it... says yeah, someone, someone said in chat it was. Oh hell yeah, nice job. Hell yeah. I know Sean Chiplock did a couple uh, cameo voices in here too. Listen to boy wearing a jersey and girl in uniform. Cause, what are you doing? Why are you wearing a jersey? Uh, what do you mean, why? We've got practice after class, remember? But we've got to attend the opening ceremony and go to class before all that. Hurry and head into your classroom so you can change into your normal uniform. What? But I just. Okay, okay, fine. Just quit glaring at me. So where's the bulletin board with all the class assignments? It's literally right there, Cause. You're in class F. I'm in a different homeroom, so I can't keep an eye on you all the time. You got that? Hello, student. Thank you for your help, student. How about teacher and foreign student? What is he wearing on his head? I forgot about this. <laughs> yeah, do this one, do this Listen one. Closely. A true man should always carry the fiery soul of a samurai with That girl has no eyes. Hi, Sean Chiplock. Our school curriculum nurtures the samurai spirit within our students so that they contribute to society. Oh la la, how wonderful. I wish to set my soul on fire and no eyes. a great samurai also. That's what I like to hear, my boy. Though no eyes. Foreign land, the oh, you're looking at the <laughs> you're looking at everyone with no eyes. Yeah. No eyes. Oh wow. I can't see anything. What is happening? <laughs> hey, you ever, you ever think about getting some eyes drawn on there, buddy? Hey. I... You, you can get that done now. They got surgeries for that now. Want to get some eyes drawn on? Why don't you take me there then? I need help. Fuck! <laughs> mm. Only important people get eyes. I mean... Look, this one's even got glasses! <laughs> no mouth, no eyes, but she's got glasses and a cell phone. Oh, I'm sorry, they have no mouths. <laughs> Alright, you must be very important, madam. Distressed student. Can't help you, sorry. <laughs> it's like, look, I'm near here too, kid. I can't do anything either. Oh, are you the new student? Huh. Anime pro tag. You're a second year, correct? Wow, you've lived in a lot of different places. Let's see, 10 years ago, your parents... Uh, I'm sorry, uh, I've been so busy, I didn't have time to read this beforehand. Why is it mentioned my parents? <laughs> I teach composition. Welcome to our school. Thanks. Have you seen the classroom assignments? You're in 2F, that's my class. But first, we need to go to the auditorium. The welcoming ceremony will be starting soon. Come on, I'll show you the way. John, you're an anime protag. What do you think? Oh, I know they're dead, because I'm an anime protag, but she doesn't have to mention it to me. Doesn't have to be on my permanent record. Not like I did it. 
Why does this man this have This will follow you for the rest of your life, I hope you Why does this man have Pac-Man eyes? <laughs> I'd like oh, he does have Pac-Man eyes! Oh my god! If a job's worth doing, it's worth doing well. When applied to student life, this means... The principal continues with his speech. Everyone... Hey. <laughs> you came to school with Takeba-san this morning, right? I saw you two walking together. You must be pretty close, huh? I met her last night. Oh, and uh, does she have a boyfriend? <laughs> Nobody seems to know. Uh, I don't know. Oh, really? I thought you might know, but guess not. Wait, how close are you guys? Fun fact about the other dialogue choice. You can't get a good answer out of Miss Toriyumi about her age unless you charm social status high enough. It's a New Game Plus option to pick, basically. Cheese. <laughs> That's awesome. Who's that? Someone's talking. Yeah, sounds like it's coming from Miss Toriyumi's class. Hey, shh. Be quiet. You're gonna get me in trouble. Already a troublemaker, and the day hasn't even started. Not even our fault. We literally said one sentence. What's up, dude? How's it going? Hi, friendly student. What? Don't look at me like that. And you are... Me? You call me Junpei. Junpei you. I transferred here when I was a second year in middle school. Pretty tough being a new kid at first, you know? So I just wanted to say, hey... See what a nice guy I am? Oh my god. Nice guys don't call themselves nice guys. <laughs> that is the rule! Didn't think we'd be in the same class again. There you go again. Acting like everybody's best friend. Try not to make him uncomfortable, okay? What? I was just being friendly. If you say so. Anyway, who'd have thought we'd be in the same homeroom? It must be fate. <laughs> I don't have the courage to say this right now. Oh. <laughs> Maybe I can say something like this without any hesitation if I was at least determined. Anyway, who would have thought we'd be in the same homeroom? <laughs> She's just sitting there <laughs> asking again. It's like, uh, <laughs> who in case you didn't hear me. In, the same home room? in case you didn't hear me. In, in case you didn't hear me. Anyway, <laughs> I heard you guys walk to school together. What's up with that? Oh my god, can a boy and a girl just walk to school without people assuming this shit? Not in high school. Oh, Jesus. I'm with you. I'm with, uh, Yukari. Oh, I'm worried. Hey, you didn't tell anyone about you know what, did you? You know what? Don't tell me you forgot already. Yeah, the gun I was carrying, duh. Don't say anything about last night, okay? What? Last night? Wait a minute, don't get the wrong idea. Listen, I just met him yesterday, and there is absolutely nothing between us. Jeez. She's doing a really good job of covering up these rumors. Amazingly well done. You better not start any more rumors. <laughs> you did it! <laughs> ah, who cares? No one takes rumors seriously anyway. She's so paranoid. But hey, it's your first day here, and people are already talking about it. Guys just be it not, guys being like, hey, hey, what's going on there? Hey, hey. Oh, she's so paranoid. Well, here's to a fun school year, dude. Sir, we also just met. <laughs> <clears throat> Everyone wants to be my friend. Even if I don't want them to. Ah, club ditching student, my favorite. Pubescent student. <laughs> Why what? is he described that way? <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
No, no, I was just talking to you. No. Come talk to me again. No. I'm a very the few best student. Please come talk to me. No. no come back. Yeah, it's pubescent Greg over there, don't you know? <laughs> That's what uh, they call him. Oh, uh, God. I must you listen didn't. in on everyone. Mitsuru Superfan. <laughs> I love the descriptor names in this game. Stern looking student. Think so? Kind looking upper class man. Me with shorter hair. You see, these are the these are the students that should be informed. Gossip loving students. Okay. Oh shit, Scott the Wasp. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? No! No! Fuck! Oh no! <laughs> hey all, Scott here. What? What is that? Wait a second. What is pubescent gender fluid bread? What? The, what? What is that something? <laughs> Jesus. I love Jupe. Wait! <laughs> <laughs> Don't do Don't it! Go. Don't go in there! Hey. Don't go teaching pro tag coon any weird stuff, all right? For a second, I thought forgot you named yourself that. I was like, wow. <laughs> don't, 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 don't. <sighs> Uneasy student. Lemon girl. <laughs> 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 it's the lemon girl. We found her. All right, we we can go home now. <laughs> okay. Distressed student again. Phone addicted student. You're you're not gonna text anyone. You're talking into your phone. That's not that's not how that works. The voice to speech. This is 2010. It wasn't that good back then. Some people probably tried, though. Is this still 2010? Oh, is this 2009? I thought this was 2007. No, there's the uh, chat saying 09. Oh, no. Yeah, it is 09 because of the end of the game. 010. 010? I guess that's true. 010. Earnest student. Like, I know when it was released, but the game takes place in 2009. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that was 2024. Damn, I've lost track. <laughs> yeah, I go pee again. Hang on. I'm sorry. I need to cry. <laughs> I need to... No, I'm not going to do it. Uh, Not going to do it. Why are you the only student who gets to not wear their jacket? <laughs> yes. Because I'm a powerful woman. Shut the fuck up. You even get to wear fucking heels. Look at these fucking boots she's wearing. Everyone else is wearing flats and she's wearing yeah. fucking high heels. Stilettos. Your party breaks like all the dress code. <laughs> Preachy teacher and student. Pale student. Only a brave person would drink weird medicine. Oh. Are you gonna tell oh. her no? Fuck no. <laughs> Sword and staff statue. <laughs> Tell this save point, don't you think? Ha ha ha! Ha 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 
We would never save. <laughs> Wait, Buttery, what is this? I can't tell her anything. She's not approached where her fucking jab reaches across the goddamn screen. I see you back there. Let them go. Check out the jocks on their run. Say, you thinking about joining a club? I'll wait. New members gotta wait a while before they can apply. Your stop city with Todai, right? Forms, man. Must be nice. Talk about living life wild and free. Well, I'm going this way, so see you tomorrow. Good ass music, by the way. Oh, yeah. Well, we were here at station. Hello, small child. Sorry, precocious girl. Oh, Kagi Films did a voice in this game? Hell yeah. What was his name? Al Al Alejandro Saab. That's his name. I know him as a, a character from Freedom Planet. <laughs> oh, I can just walk through the baby. Okay. The baby is Look, not she, real. she can just stand there holding nothing. <laughs> <laughs> you stole it! <laughs> Sir, what have you done to my baby? John, John, go back and do that again for a minute. Pull up, just... Okay, there we go. Yeah. And hold on. Done, took a screenshot. It's in the modern now. <laughs> okay. 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 What's with the creepy babies tonight? It's, apparently, that's the theme. You try to climb the mountain, you got creepy babies everywhere. All right, you <laughs> hear that? Any fortune cookie games after this, we have to vote which one has the creepy babies. <laughs> <laughs> that's all we're allowed to vote for. Here we go. Here you go, chat. That screenshot is now immortalized. Oh, God. That's a lie. I'm sure you could count how many pound points there were. Trying to say that's countless. Cat loving boy. Wild duck burger. You guys should try it sometime. Not right now though. I want burger though. <laughs> oh, old man. Vote for the game where Cole is got it. What? What? What are you talking about, Camille? I, I think she called you a creepy baby. <laughs> what? No! I... <laughs> wow. Wow. Look, everyone wow. needs a hobby, and yours is apparently becoming a creepy baby. Congratulations. Fuck no! I, I'm out. Nope. I've seen it! <laughs> you no. don't lie about this! Uh, hmm. Oh, I just got tingles on my back. Jesus Christ. Uh, <laughs> I hate that. I hate that. Oh, I hate that so much. You gonna be okay? <laughs> I'm good. Are you sure about that? I'll be good. I'm... How do I leave the video game? Oh, I drown. That's how I leave the video game. <laughs> that is correct. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Nine! Believe it or not, chat, I am not the youngest. <laughs> are co-coms okay? No, the co-coms are never okay. That's the We're trick. never okay. We are never okay. <laughs> I'm great. I don't know what you guys are talking about. All right. I'm perfectly fine. Let's go to the cookie. What was our carryover? We had a 1% rule, didn't we? Yeah, it was Live Alive, right? Uh, yes. All right, gentlemen, you get to suggest a game as well for the cookie. What you got? Uh, Matt, if you have one, you can go first. Um, you've got knights on the Sega Saturn, right? I've been playing that a lot lately. Yeah. Yeah, it's fun. Good soundtrack. Knights. Knights into dreams, specifically. Uh, skip, do the game first. I'll, I'll think of one probably afterwards. Okay. Let's roll our, actually, let's put in our viewer choices first. We've got TBG Hunter. Who says, screw it, might not win, but I'm signing John up for the army and sending him to fight in the Battalion Wars for GameCube.
Azure Guardian says, Inuyasha, the secret of the cursed mask for the PlayStation 2. It was the very last game developed by Quintet, the same developers who made Act Razor, Illusion of Gaia, and Terra Enigma, before they shut down one year later. I would not have expected them to do an Inuyasha game of all things. Wow. That's a pretty good RPG pedigree, though. Tails Faraga says, What if horses had teeth? Anyways, let's see some runs of St Sterenden, binary stars, on whatever system you have it on. Oh, there's just a question about horse with teeth, okay. I only have it on Steam. Drops of Moonlight says, I've had the points for years, might as well. It's February 4th for me, which is one day before Bowser's semi-canonical birthday. And that's why I'm choosing Bowser's Fury for Switch. Semi-canonical. Semi-canonical. Before, one more from the viewers. Lord Gamer Jarza says, Hey, John, I would like to select a game I gave you from MAGFest last year for the cookie. Mega Mind Mega Team Unite for the Wii. <laughs> what? I literally just saw that was a game like 10 minutes ago. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, Jarza gave this to me last year. This year he gave me Shrek Treasure Hunt. Ah, oh, good one. Uh, okay, I have my game. What's your game? I have my game. I was just gifted this game. Uh, and it's something I'd be able to play with you, if you would like. Lethal Company. Oh, wow. Yep, I was just gifted the game on Steam. Just a little bit ago. All right. I've never played it before. So we've got Live Alive, Knights in the Dreams, Battalion Wars, Inuyasha, The Secret of the Cursed Mask, Starin Den, Super Mario 3D World, and Bowser's Fury. Mega Mind, Mega Team Unite, Lethal Company, and the following four games: Tycho Drum Master for the PS2, also known mm. as VOD Mute, the video game; Dead Rising 4, hell yeah, for the Xbox One. I've been craving a Dead Rising lately. SpongeBob SquarePants, Super <laughs> Sponge, and Nicktoons Frame, Freeze Frame Frenzy, and Fairly Odd Parent Shadow Rock Showdown, and Rock GBA. That name was so big. <laughs> I love combo packs. That's a pack of four games on it, as you can tell. It's too big to fit in there. And, la and last but not least, Ghouls and Ghosts for the Genesis. Wow. 12 games. Let's see what we're playing next. Okay, which one of them has a creepy baby, though? <laughs> I have to know. That part I don't know. That Chat's going to have to do the work on that one. Nights into Dreams is the weird angel things. That's all I can think Nights about. Nights into Dreams is the closest, I think, to having a creepy baby. <laughs> can you repeat that game title again? No, I can't. I can't even get it on the screen right now. Currently in the lead. Oh, that, that's what I feared. <laughs> what were you fearing? I'm so sorry, chat. <laughs> <laughs> Lethal so Company sorry. currently in the lead. 55 votes, 25%. Live Alive right behind it, though. 54 votes, 21%. SpongeBob SquarePants, Super Sponge, and Nicktoons Freeze Frame Frenzy, and Fairly Odd Parents, Shadow Showdown, and Rock GBA. 30 votes, 9%. Uh, Nights in the Dreams, 31 votes, 9%. Super Mario 3D World and Bowser's Fury, 22 votes, 6%. Inuyasha, The Secret of the Cursed Mask, 20 votes, 5%. Dead Rising 4, 15 votes, 4%. Battalion Wars, 15 votes, 4%. Uh, Mega Mind, Mega Team Unite, 11 votes, 2%. Tycho Drum Master, 7 votes, 1%. Starin Den, 6 votes, 1%. Same with Ghouls and Ghosts, 6 votes, 1%, with 400 votes clocked. Lethal Company leads over Live Alive, 116 to 114. So it's between those two, basically. Is it the meme or is it the RPG? Which shall it be? One minute on the clock. I have no idea what Lethal Company even is. Oh, you haven't even seen it yet? I've I've seen like bits and pieces, but I've just like not intentionally stayed ignorant, but I've just never looked into it. 
I've seen it going around though. It's a, a lot very, of cosplays at Megfest. Yeah, very meme heavy game. Ah, that makes sense now. But unintentionally, honestly, it's so okay. it's like one of those like unintentionally funny games. Oh, okay, I gotcha. So like, not it, it doesn't have memes. It's like. It made the meme. It's got like one meme in it, and then everyone else just made the rest because of the game. Gotcha. Most, it's also mostly made by one guy, I think, for the most part. Dude, this is a fight. Yeah, it's yeah. close. All right, this is a close. Gray is lethal company. Red is live alive. One vote gap right now. Two votes. Three. Oh. oh. Four. <laughs> lethal company right. takes it. One percent rule in play again for live alive though. And for shits and giggles, what would the spin have been? <laughs> it's going! <laughs> the spin would have been... Battalion Wars. But it's Live Alive getting the carry over yet again. Oh, Alright. Here's the benefit, chat. Now I don't... Ha now I can't suggest anything for the rest of the night. You're safe. <laughs> For the rest well, that's, of the night. that's true. Cole's out of the list now. Yeah. So you guys don't have to worry about it for the rest of the night. All right. Lethal Company happens again here in a bit. So uh, let's get all set up for this. What do we got? Eggs. Gokai Orange, give it a sub to Mommy Milkers. Nya. Actually, I thought I already saw the, a couple of these. Yeah, Mommy, sorry, Mommy. Uh, Gokai Orange, give it a sub to Alternus, uh, Alternus Liz. Alternus Liz. I'm going to get that right one of these years. Alf Yui, give it a sub to... Years? Pu yeah, I'm, that's how bad I am at it. Alf Yui, give it a sub to Pubescent Gender Fluid Bread. Okay. Oh, 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 oh my dude, give it a sub to Pubescent Sasquatch1829. Okay. Tari gives it a sub to Creepy Cole. And Anonymous gives it a sub to Toga P1125. Halberdier V2 for 97. I pity the fool for 46. Here's a fun fact about bees. Most of them are allergic to pollen. When exposed to pollen, they develop hives. Ugh. Egg Neil for 81. Atomic Weapon for 83. Devons for 44. 44 months. First thing I see on stream is John playing or finishing up Mom Simulator. That's not unheard of considering what goes on in this stream, lol. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I see how it is. Awesome Ando for 26. Bomber Think for, eight, for 60. Puppet Master for 121. It's Andrew for 54. Kylar 76 for 44. Sonic the EX Rider for 27. B-Ball 1986 for 77. And Queen Nira for 39. Alongside PB Primo for 62. And Element X Luna. Or Element Cross Luna for 24. Thanks for stopping and hanging out tonight, folks. Your eggs tonight are courtesy of. The Shuffler. You will give me an extreme technique. All right, going to break. When we come back, Lethal Company, but also Art Block. See you guys in a bit. Yeah. To be honest, chat, this was going to be... I suggested Lethal Company because this was probably the best way it was probably going to be introduced to me, honestly. Oh, it's with God. somebody that actually knows what they're doing. I'm going to teach you live. This is going to be interesting. I'll be fine. I've, I've... It'll be fine. It'll be fine. It'll be entertaining for chat. <laughs> oh, God. Chat, you got any questions for us? Lethal Company one. Um, I just bought the game. I just downloaded the game, so it's gonna be unmodded for me. So, shrug. I'm aware I want. I want to mean for definitely on Discord. Don't worry. I know. I'm aware.
How, How do, do you do? do? I, like I, this. I am. I just am. <laughs> Proud of you. Congratulations. All right, I'm just gonna say right now, please don't associate me with the creepy baby. That actually makes me feel uncomfortable. <laughs> Thank you. Favorite dragon coal. Oh, there are a lot of good. Uh, there are a lot of. Uh, are you are you saying a name of a dragon or type of dragon? That's actually a good distinction. I would imagine it's like your favorite one, like in <sighs> a story. That's really hard, honestly. Like, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Like. I would, I would say a lot of dragons in the Spyro remake, probably. So, uh, I'm, I'm blanking on their names now, though. Baba is one of them. There we go. That's one. Um, I like the call that I just saw in chat. <laughs> <laughs> is Bowser a dragon? Uh, Technically. Uh, you can argue a Koopa is a type of dragon. I mean, you can. He just doesn't have wings. I mean, it's a... It's a dragon turtle. He's a turtle. It's a turtle ox dragon combination. Ox? <laughs> Frank. Yeah, like like ox. Also, Frank, shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> that was to be Dragon D's nuts. Got him. Dragon Turtle. I, I I thought then he was a comedy. I thought that Ox was one of his, one of the particular parts of it, or at least early on in like in terms of his design, from what I heard. All right, did I do the Reefy's Wisdom of Duke? I don't think I did. So let's knock that one out of the park here first. I am home, or am I? Never know. All right. Zombie Sparky says, "Get John, get Mommy Simulator, Jommy. Uh, sorry, Jommy. Sorry. I hate that I actually, actually, accidentally said Jommy Simulator first. I hate that I did that." After the Cobalt says, uh, "Persona 3 FES is IMO, one of the best games on the PS2, and I adore this remake so far. IMO, it's a must-play if you enjoy the Persona dear." Uh, series or just darker themed RPGs in general. Fun fact, Afro also says there's an already a mod to change your character model with a newly made version of the female protag from Persona 3 Portable. Oh shit, damn, modders work fast. Metasonic 9 says, Lemons. Legend Correct. of Daniel. Legend of Daniel says, did you know that if you T-pose and a giant grabbed you by the neck, it could be like the giant was using you as a sword? This is important information. I'm glad I know this now. I will keep this in mind for the future. If you're ever interested, look up Lotus Juice's story on how mass destruction came to be. I, I, I thought that was continuing the same one. No, that was that was a different one. That was a different if one. If you're ever interested, you can explore this. <laughs> when this giant grabbed the dude by the head and he was T-posing. <laughs> Uh, Uga McTalk says, that gif at the top, have you gotten around to watching everything everywhere all at once? No, but a friend of mine is encouraging me to watch it. She says it's like her favorite movie and I have it literally sitting on my, uh, my table here, my, my desk. I have three movies currently sitting on my desk. Uh, and it very, it screams me. So, uh, I have everything everywhere all at once. Cocaine Bear. And bad CGI sharks. Those are the next three movies I want to watch. One of those is not like the others. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I think they're the same themes in all three. That is a very you list. Well, I try. I try. Yeah, bad CGI sharks. Turns out there's a bunch of bad CGI movies out there about random animals just going on killing sprees. So I found bad CGI sharks when I was watching bad CGI gator. All right, that's alerts. Let's go to art block.
That was bad CGI Gator. I got a good laugh out of it. It was fun. It's also only like 45 minutes. It's short as hell. Alright. Our block starts right here with our first piece. It's another tarot card from Grease Lightning. Another card for the deck, the Magician. Oddly enough, I had a bit of a creative flump while making this one. I'm trying to translate the original card's aspects into something a bit more modern. I came with a bit of a more of a Dante look to him, mixing your luck into it for a bit of humor. The magician signifies willpower and ability, sometimes even raw potential. Every small action used is but potential well used. Every bit of joy felt is potential well rewarded. Something that isn't often considered when looking strictly at how practical the use of it is. Interesting. Cool. I like the water pouring onto the head, and then it looks like money about to be lit on fire by a magic wand. Thank you, Grease. Next up... Ah, I see. From Major Mooch. The castle staying st uh, stays standing even if some buns may be around on the outside. A depleted buster and helmet laying on the grass outside. The year of Benui is over and a, a Mega Lucy smiles with a job well done. Though Dr. Zay, Super Icy, got away, she'll be there to tempt them to bun later on. Though a winged shadow looms above as sunlight gleams off of scales, a fang smirk comes across. Now it's our turn. Year of the Rabbit is over, and boy, what a fun prompt that was for me, and I hope you all enjoyed my shenanigans from it. Happy Lunar New Year and Year of the Dragon, everyone. Anyone seen where Cupo or Deep had been? Helmet taken for a picture of Portal Cat 42 did for me a while ago. Oh my god. Super Icy says, I won the war! It was all thanks to Spiked Wall Man. Have fun with the dragons. I'm not fighting those. <laughs> Enjoy the dragons. You're the dragon, baby. Happy Lunar New Year, everybody. Yeah, happy Lunar New Year. Baby. Next up, from Casual Philip, it's time for Rosa John's entry in John Versus. A carefree, pancake loving soul roaming around the cosmos, Rosa John is a comfort and friend to most she comes across. Her ability to change size has been a great boon to her, although ever since the event that shall not be named, it occasionally glitches out, causing her to lose control every now and then, especially when it comes to her chest, to her surprised happiness and chagrin. Although peaceful, she will fight to protect what she cares about. Jumney. Rosa John, the Cosmic Caretaker. Her move set. Stance change to change from wand chuck to wand mode. Shooting star, wand shot. Star cutter. Spins out the wand chucks in front of her. Launch star to shoot her forward in a dash attack. Rising star is her Shoryuken. And then, uh, looks like Cradle? Or Galactic Sky, rather. Uh, is doing it with the wand itself as an uppercut. And then her super seems to be Starfall Parade, with a bunch of star bits raining down from the skies and blowing up the stage. If I win, you better bring me a treat. You know what's funny? I used to be terrible at drawing women, so thank you, Rosa, for making me learn how to draw women. <laughs> wow. What a glowing nice. review of this stream. Come to Proton John's stream. You'll learn how to draw women. But enough about me. Time for the leading star of the show. Rosa John is the good and honest Shoto of John Aversus with the usual fireball Tatsu, get in attack, and dragon punch. Unlike others in the same ballpark, she can split her wand, turning into nunchucks, and giving a different, yet similar moveset. You can even switch between stance within combos, giving Rosa John a lot of combo routes. This is super cute. I like the, the semi-connected chuck look here. That's actually really cool. I like the, action, the addition of these stars on the bottom. That's super nice. That's great. And come to Proton John's stream. You might realize you're a woman. Not sure how to feel about that. <laughs> Thank you, Philip. And there's a follow-up piece as well, with looks like all the alt outfits for her. What do we got here? Mika wardrobe, Stripe Tiger, Glitch Idol, L, Idol, I assume, Prime Fit, Sky Melody, and Yellow Egg. I'm assuming these are all based off of the artist, so this would be Mika Koyama, this would be Tiger Brows, this would be Sagami Ito, this would be Prime, this would be Mel, and I'm going to assume that is going to be Yolk, because I'm pretty sure that looks like Yolk's design style. What if we're already a woman? Then you're set. You're good. <laughs> From Casual Phillips. Since Rose is a character who has so many looks, it would seem bad to only have one version of her, so I took a page off of Gaia and Mayani's book and have multiple Roses. Can you figure out which Rosa is which? Answer below. And sure enough, Mika, Tiger, Sagami, Rhyme, Mel, and Yoke. Yeah, it's pretty obvious. 
By the way, how y'all like the new visuals? Definitely not inspired by my messy desk. Nope, definitely not. <laughs> I actually do like the look of the desk with like the notebook and everything. I think that's super cute. And your phone over there showing the actual picture, that's super neat. I like that's this a great. lot. Good shit. That statement isn't entirely wrong. Raises my hand as a possible woman. Oh. Oh shit. <laughs> Congratulations. I still find it hilarious how eggs are a big part of the branding here and several eggs have been cracked because of this stream. I still have to laugh at how many gave me like compliments when I dressed up as Rose and being like, yeah, I think I realized I was I was trans because of you. I'm like, oh, thank you. I don't know how to feel about that statement, but thank you. <laughs> uh... Thank you, Phil. These are awesome. And this is why I can never wear the outfit again. John making the mother of all omelets. <laughs> Doing a public service over here. I haven't even worn that. Well, oh, God damn it now. Fuck. I was about to say, I haven't even worn that dress in years, and then I realized I had to wear it for that video. God damn it. I forgot about that. Every fucking time. From Amor uh, Amoris Melody. Hello there. I'm a new artist here. Nah, who am I kidding? This is, uh, this is who was formerly loving Sakura Cat. Decided to do some more soul searching with my name, and, well, my original name came from some spite, so I did not like that. I decided to change it. So I changed it to Amy Rose. Yes, like my Sonic character, you can call me cringe if you want to chat. Anyways, for my first post in the new Brewer account, I decided to draw something for Rosa's anniversary. One week later. I still have the same speed as always, but for this design, I decided to indulge a little with this Rosa design. I did a little bit of a cocktail-style dress, while still including the Rosa leggings as stockings, with some star and moon jewelry I like, and I, of course, made her trans and ace because I am trans and ace. Plus some references to some of the Dream Girls. Also, excuse my bad handwriting there. Anyways, hope you like it. Hopefully you'll see more from me this year. Thank you, Amy. This is very cute. I like it. Oh, I see. You even got... Oh, yeah, there's Claire's... There's Claire's emblem. I like the little eclipse moon up here. That one's cute. Got the ace star. Earrings are super cute. Oh, so is the necklace. Those are all very nice. Super nicely done on this, Amy. Thank you so much. What do you got written on the bottom here? The name, username is mainly because of Sonic names are related to personality or ability. Amy Rose is very close to Morris and Melly because of my new full name. Amy Melody Angel Rose. Dang, you went all in on names. Holy shit. Real though, due to Rosa, it got me to use more of my feminine side in my day-to-day -day, and it really helped. Oh shit, well that's awesome to hear. Hell yeah. I'm glad Rosa actually has been doing some good in the world like that. <laughs> what, wait, crabs, what is this? Rosa John. Dread from it. Run from it. My tits arrive all the same, and now it's here. Or should I say, sub goal I am. What? Rosa John Thanos. Jesus. Oh my god. Thank you. Thank you, Amy. This was super cute. Very nicely done. You helped me feel confident enough to cross dress at Otacon, so thanks, I guess. Oh, yo, congrats, Obo. Hell yeah. Didn't, like, some people say they weren't into guys, but were very attracted to your look? I, some people told me I passed very well. I was just like, cool, I'm glad my my objective worked, because I wanted to take the costume seriously. Oh, man. What the heck is Rose's version of the snap? I don't want to put any thought into that. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. From Arizona. Smart. Well, John, you picked blue, so here's Rosa as the blue reverberation to contrast you with the black silence. This poses several questions. I'm answering none of them. It's already rare enough for me to draw Rosa, but to make it an alt Rosa at that? Blasphemy. It's already, uh, anyways, the blue reverberation is another color fixer for the city. One of the top notch mercenaries, though. This one is known for being a little strange and has quite the rivalry with black silence. Also, I asked a friend for advice, and the next one I may or may not do is for Pon Pon. I'm surprised it took you this long to do Pon Pon, honestly. This is a kick-ass design, though. I love this look. Hell yeah. <laughs> God damn it, Tamoyo. I did think about it. What came to my mind was not stream safe. Yeah, that's why, you, that's why I stopped it. <laughs> that's why I stopped thinking about it. Thank you, Aerie. This looks hella awesome. I can't wait to see the Pon Pon one. Next up, this is the one I was laughing at earlier, for those wondering. What is this? <laughs> this is the life that doesn't end. 
Yes, it goes on and on, my friend. Some people started having kids not knowing <laughs> what it's like. And they'll continue caring for them forever just because... <laughs> From Pluto. You'd think I'd be more excited for a game called Mom Simulator. Good God, how can people have kids? I can barely take care of myself. How am I supposed to en enact a bedtime on anyone I just randomly fall asleep? <laughs> Wait! How many able, am I supposed to enact a bedtime on anyone if I just randomly fall asleep on the floor at 2 in the afternoon? Anyways, I think that song that doesn't end fits perfectly as a metaphor for motherhood. Kids? No thanks. I think I'd rather explode. But I mean, teach their own, I suppose. Yeah, I don't think I could be a mom either, for a multitude of reasons. But yeah, I couldn't do it. You seemed like you were doing a pretty good job. <laughs> well, thank you. I appreciate that. But I'll pass. <laughs> Thanks, Pluto. Uh, right. The worst part of it is the random trash appearing on the floor out of nowhere. I know. That's like that like that mom from Mom Simulator just had like the worst family, really. Oh my god. Never saw him. No, not at all. Except for the baby. But the baby never moved, so. From drops, I do have the practice dragon feature, so dragon coal for you. This is canon. <laughs> this is now canon. Drops, you killed it. Holy shit, dude. Could, Good Re shit. could Reese be a mom though? Reese has mom energy, but she also does not want to be a mom. <laughs> Bo <laughs> both of us are very much of the plan of like, hey, we're cool with kids, but we like giving them back to their parents at the end of the day. <laughs> we're good. Don't, don't dragons can be a thing, Chad. You don't know. All right. Uh, my alarm's going off, but there's only two pieces left, so we'll knock out the two pieces here. God damn it. John question mark high priestess from Greece lightning the second trump the gal of your dreams the most tangible divine power currently present seemingly Cherry is here to listen to your woes. Don't ask why the B and J are there. I don't know They're on the modern versions of the card. So I put them there The high priestess is a symbol of spiritual power, but also mystery and secrets to be a bit direct your dreams are too mysterious and not imp epitomize this card I'll be staggering these to one per stream just so I don't have don't make the buru inflated with them. Thanks for liking them they're very nice, Grease. Thank you so much. I don't like that she's just holding the script of what's going to happen for the dreams. That bothers me a little bit. God damn it, Sherry. Thank you, Grease. Very nice. And the last one I have here... To celebrate Year of the Dragon from Horizon Strider. Oh, I'm butchering this one. Uh, Xinyan Quan Lei. Hope y'all had fun eating Chinese food and have a Hydrogen having fun doing a lion dance. I couldn't find Pon Pon in time to suffer into a derpy dragon costume to atone for my failure. John, give me a prompt. Bubble tea. Ooh. Do with that what you will. That's just the bubble tea is the only thing that needs to be involved in the prompt. Very cute. Thank you, Horizon. That's Art Block. All right. Time to go see if I've made a terrible mistake. <laughs> Yo, I'm not gonna lie, I completely forgot what we were playing next, so thank you for saying that out loud, so I remembered immediately what it was. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we do need a couple more people to get in on this, so... Yeah, we're not using any mods, because this is his first time playing, so we're just doing four-player. I'm gonna make sure the audio's not too loud on my end. Is it windowed or full screen? I forget. I did desktop mic before this, it should be good. Next game is Lethal Company. Thank goodness this game starts on windowed full screen. <laughs> More games should do that. Let me in, let me in! I have not used any mods on stream yet. No. We do have a few people in the mod room and VIP who uh, did volunteer. All right, let's see. Well. Ah, shit. God damn it. Sorry. I forgot to do the thing I was supposed to do during break. Shit. Also, for the rector, chat, I've turned on arachnophobia mode. So, because I, I don't want to see big spiders. So... All right, 
right, so who's our fourth? Because I see Trey wants in. We have quite a few options. I uh, am. Yeah, gonna say you need two, don't you? Um, no, Trey's it. Yeah, Trey, Cole, oh, okay. myself, and oh my God, Camille wants in. Hell yeah, Camille. Oh, we have to get Camille. Okay. This I'll is go. this I'll is go. gonna be a set. This is gonna be a set. All right. Hello, I am a bitch. I am ready to Chris, die. Go. Congratulations on being a bitch. Oh, uh, I know who I'm, who I'm talking to. Rhyme, if you need to, turn on arachnophobia mode. Just uh, us and the girls and... Why, why are you saying that Ron, to Rhyme? We gotta have it. No, not Rhyme. Uh, Camille. Why do you say oh, Rhyme? Yeah. yeah. Uh, I'm why did you say I've... Rhyme? <laughs> because yeah, I make why? some names. I do this. I've been doing this since high school. This is just the thing I do. Listen, I know I'm the be uh, she's the beef mom, but we're two beef moms. Mama Rhyme has assets. Camille has ass. God damn it, Montari. I mean... That song was already kind of floating in my head, and you just made sure it was locked in there. Why I'm a I... bitch, I'm a lover, I'm a child, I'm a mother, I'm a sinner, I'm a saint. God. You just sing this song and you're just like, I'm a bitch. <laughs> yeah, I'm a bitch, nothing else, that's about it. Don't worry about it. <laughs> um, Hang on, although I will lower the volume on my end because holy fuck is it loud it is it is loud yeah yeah uh friends only oh we're special john i don't think people yeah. say this but you've got uh, some good singing voice i don't know i thought i butchered that one but thank you ah there we go uh next <laughs> some, of the, some of the names i'm seeing here on the servers one in the, the top one i saw was harambe <laughs> Welcome good old Harambe. Day on the job. All right. This is your very own Always job. there when you need him. All right. And sleep for the I guess I'll I guess I'll just wait for you to uh, wait for you to invite me. Make yourself at home. Or maybe I can do the onboarding. I said to friends all? No, I can't. I've read the instruction manual and sign it right. to your ship's computer terminal. We trust you oh, will hang be Hang on. I got to close something and be right back. Great great asset okay. to the company. Asset. Great 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 asset to the company. Asset. Great great <laughs> All right, invite friends. Oh, oh God. Let me tell you something. I, I can't remember who did it, but it was somebody who got me into doing that damn dance at um, at um, at Magfest. I can't remember what it was. I think it was Shamrock who did. Oh, hello, I'm already in. I'm in. Oh, right. We have to mute the call. I will mute myself. Oh, hello. He has to leave me left. Sorry, man. This is gonna be awkward for you because we gotta mute ourselves. <laughs> Okay. I don't hear meds anymore. Yeah, you're not going to hear meds because you're going to only hear in game. All right, how do I emote? One and two. One and two. Right. Oh, uh, shit. Right, Trey, you've got the damn issue where I can hear myself. Hold on. I'll probably have to lower it. I, I tried fucking around with it, but I guess it didn't work. You. You. You, Camille. Me, it is me. It checking, is checking. Hi. Oh, that's way better. That's way better, dude. Uh, yeah, I, had a, I kind of had to slightly lower the vo the volume. So let me, I'll up it up a couple more times, and then we'll see if that is bad or not. Cool. All right, I so know. you've never played before, right, Cole? Correct. And Camille, yeah, have you played my, before? Uh, no, uh, I have not played before. I've watched many things, time. but we never played Reese. before. Reese. She knew what the fuck she was doing. Oh, we are so. She said she did it. She 100% knew what to do. We're so fucked, but that's why we're here. Because we're great asset. Great, great asset. Oh, before we. Yeah, yeah. Actually, that should be fine. Access terminal. Rooms. Wait a minute. I have a terrible idea. Will this work? Nope. This doesn't work. <laughs> All right. I thought I was going to be able to scare you guys with, uh, oh. I don't know, uh, sound effects, but, uh, nope, that won't work. I'm gonna hide in this, uh, in this store. Great asses, great, great asses, great asses, great, great asses. Okay, so that's, that's the Welcome ship. to the planet, or the moon, Trump rather. Space. All right. And, uh, uh, so should we, order, should we order like flashlights or something? Yeah, or that's what I'm looking at right now. 
Uh, okay. Guys, what is crouch? Toggle. Oh, I have no idea for your keyboard because I'm using a Steam Deck. Alright, it's a uh, control. Control. Uh, yeah, and shift is run. Ah, gotcha. Yep. All right. Uh, Flashlights have been ordered. Okay. Okay. Uh, well, let's see if we can wait for where it could be. <gasps> there we go. I know you've never seen a person like me before. All right, how do you run, by the way? Shift. Shift. All right, four flashlights. Yeah. All right, here's my flashlight. Okay, flashlights have a battery uh, meter. Um, you can recharge it in the ship. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, we got to go into the base here now. How did I lose all three of them already? How did How did I lose all three of you already? There's a fucking ladder. Trey, where the fuck did you leave them? <laughs> oh my god, there they are. Are you sure about that? Welcome to momhood. You lose kids all the time. You know what? I think you're right. I think this is my fucking penance, and I have to be a mom here again. God fucking damn it. Mommy's gonna go inside and get a drink, sweeties. Talk to you later. This is like Lethal Company babysitting? Yeah, I mean, it's two first-timers and one troll, so yeah, it's gonna be. Which means I'm gonna be the first to die, because that's usually how it works. I'm not Darling, sweet. sweetie. Hey, here's your children. Don't leave me behind. John? Hi. Yes, sweetie, mama's here. Don't worry. Okay, mama. Have your children, Hi. sweetie. Hi. We take care of it now. <laughs> this is really weird. Oh my god. You were all you were all terrible. But we're terrible together, dear. We probably should have taught them the controls now that I think about it. Are you two within a year shot still? Yeah. I'm within the earshot. I learned how to use okay. it. It's right click for using the item. And E to get an item. Right click will like do a little flash so you can see everything around you, yeah. And uh, you got scroll wheel to jump between the four items, the four slots. You can turn uh, on flashlights and then go to another slot if you want, but obviously it still uses your battery power. Mm -hmm. And the yeah. orange ring around your character is your stamina, and your little figure is your health. So if you get hit too much, uh, you will die. I got it. Don't do that. Yeah, mama. Lethal Company, bring your kids to work day. Sounds like a terrible idea, John. I love this. Uh... So this is my training for next week of uh, Resident Evil, right? Yeah, pretty much. No guns, though, currently. Yeah, that, that's basically how we did for the beginning. Oh, okay. Let's see if we can oh. maybe turn around. That didn't, that didn't sound good. Uh-oh. I just opened a door. Don't worry. Okay. I can find the cell, though. You found the power yeah. cell already? Oh, yeah. yeah. You didn't grab it, did Ooh. you? Okay. That's dangerous, isn't it? Should I grab it, chat? If you grab it, then that basically, like, makes more monsters spawn, so... Yeah, I don't know if we should do that. I mean, you do have to grab it at some point. It's worth a lot of money. Um... <sighs> we should probably take it, then. Well, well, well I mean, we know how to get back. All right, let's explore more... Oh yeah, god, then... freaking jump. We don't- I don't think we need to jump. Uh, we- we might need to jump. There's actually nothing else. Uh oh. Well, fuck me, I guess. Well, if you want to keep exploring, we can also just take the power cell and go back to the ship. It's technically all we need. Well, I'm already over here, so... Fuck y'all. Alright, fine. Whee! Oh, we're good. Uh, uh, oh, hey, found the fire. Uh, oh, oh, there's a loot bug. You fine? Everything fine? I hear sounds. I hear sounds. I hear sounds. Okay, okay. 
Whoops, okay, I'm getting away from that. Don't, yeah, don't go that way anymore. Oh. Oh, why? Uh, because there's a bug on the other side? There's a, yeah, there you go. Snare, there's a snare flea, so be careful on the other side of that door. Where? Oh, oh, okay, how, how did you see it? Uh, I watched it go there. <laughs> oh, haha, <laughs> good. Oh, the fire exit, perfect. This is the side you guys were on. Jesus, those sounds. Oh, no, 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 no. It's a loot bug. I had to run. I had to run. Jesus Christ. They're friendly, I think. As Unless long as you don't it, take their thing. If you take their thing, they get very mad. Jesus Christ. Jesus. Wobbly Python. Yo, Wobbly, how's it going? Fast stuff. Nice. Should we go back now? Why do we hear clown horns? Oh, thank God. Because we're playing, because we're playing a uh, final fight or whatever the game was with the clown horns. Yeah, what, so what fucking time is it? I don't even know how much more shit we're gonna find. We can't, we can't check until we go outside. So. Not bother opening it. It's open on the other side. Yo, oh, someone got a light. I can't see shit. Here. Oh, hello. Hi. Hi. Well, I don't know about you, y'all. I'm going back. Driving three long, being forced to segment my long drive stream. Oh, damn. I'm, I'm down to our exit. Y'all can choose to decide if y'all want to go back for that cell, but I'm out. Oh, right. There's another exit. Oh, he's up there. I don't know if I want to go that up there, actually. Is it just a loot bug, or is it something else? Uh, I believe it's it, a loot bug from the cell. Oh, Jesus! Oh, there's a lot of loot bugs here. Hi, guys. Don't worry. It's a loot bug. The loot bug won't attack you if you have nothing on your end. Okay. I believe... Oh, that's a slime, though. Oh! There's a slime. Oh! What the fuck? Okay, I'm just bleeding a lot. It's no big deal. All right, I'm just gonna limp home. I'll be fine. I'm just gonna bleed. Don't worry about me. Oh God, that hurt a lot. Was it cause I had the keys? If you stay in their proximity, they get mad. Oh, I thought it was because he turned green. So I thought it was because of the slime. God, how I get back up here. Yeah, fuck it. No, we're fine. We're fine. Get out. Hello? We're out. Hi. Um, I'm bleeding. Let's get out of here. Hey, where's the meal? I'm, I'm here. Hello. Oh. Are we leaving? Are we leaving? Yeah, we're leaving. We're good. We should okay. be leaving, yeah. <laughs> okay. I am not dead. Woo. I'm bleeding, I'm dead. <laughs> See, I told you you shouldn't have brought your kids to work with you, John. Now look what happened. Yeah, I'm bleeding. That's all. <laughs> Wait, why are you bleeding? I almost got killed by one of the fucking loot bugs. Why did you... Oh, uh, you know what? Never mind. Be I didn't John know, no, it's apparently. Employee. Camille, the no. most paranoid. Yeah, <laughs> that's me. <laughs> dun, dun. A few days left. Wobbly, thanks for the raid, by the way. <laughs> no, no, it's cool. You did great, honey. Uh, oh, the raid. is your first step into being a woman. No! <laughs> no! Do not! Congrats. Do Boy, not! Congrats. Do, do not! Up. No, no. Congratulations. No, uh, you're way too fucking close to me. No, absolutely not. <laughs> Oh god, no god, oh god, I'm stuck, I'm actually stuck, I can't move. <laughs> Hate this. Mom! Mommy! Mother! Don't worry, don't worry, dear, we all went through it Blood once. ritual, spill the blood, oh god. Congrats, John, you have puppies. I hate this. I hate this so much. 
I'm having fun already. <laughs> uh, congrats on your first period, John. I hate this so much. I'm going to a planet. Don't worry, I hate it no. too. <laughs> a fucked up one. That We're not going to a joke. fucked up one. Let's be nice and we're going to assurance. Alright, so here's what I learned. Loot box will not bother you if you don't have shit. Good to know. Well, apparently someone said if you stick around them too long, they get upset. Because that's what attacked me. Congrats on menopause? Shit. <laughs> I'm not in that range either. I hate this so much. Oh, that bleep one's coming... Me, I was confused for a second. It's not so bad once you find another moon cycle to sync up with. Vincent, why do you know this? Alright, uh, are we gonna get anything for this, or...? Nah, we got, we got our gear. We have no spending money currently anyways. Okay. Oh my god, look at that fucking pumpkin. <gasps> is this James hey. and a giant pumpkin? Hell yeah! Pumpkin. Well, it's a giant peach, but yeah. Giant is this peach, one where we have to go the other way? I'm pretty sure the thing's the other way. A giant Congrats on being loved and antagonized by over a thousand lunatics. Yeah, that actually sounds more right. <laughs> I love that how this session of Lethal has turned into a giant menstrual cycle metaphor. I, I hate this so much. I love this community. I'm glad you enjoy this, Twilight. Thank you for the raid. Same with negative. Thank you both for the raids. I found it, we're good. Look, it doesn't have to be your blood, I'm just saying, I'm not gonna spill someone's blood. <laughs> in the dream, sure, I got swords and shit there, but uh, not in real life. See, John, this is what happens when you don't have a father to help handle the kids, shit. Oh, you think I'd have learned this by now? Fuck. I don't think they found the way in yet. Oh, the whoopee cushion. I'm gonna hang on to that. Oh. John, you here? Yeah, I'm in here. Alright, good. I left them outside. I hope they don't die. Oh, God. Did you at least tell them where the entrance was? No, I... Because I didn't know where it was, that I found it, and I couldn't hear the... Uh, oh my god. I'll... Oh, oh, they found it. Never mind. They found their way in. Hey, by the way... Hey, by the way, Vincent, I'm still reading chat, so fuck you. I'll go with the other person, because Colin's going with the other one. Trey, you're here with me. Oh, stop. Oh, a bunch of stuff. Ooh. Okay. Oh no, I am about to die, aren't I? Back up, back up! It, what, what, there. What? We don't go there. Oh. We don't go that way. Oh god, what was there? Everything okay? A turret. Oh, a turret. Ah, that's no big deal. Just don't get shot, stupid. That one's for Reese. Oh, God damn it! Shit. Okay. Oops. Worth. What's up? John? What are you trying to say? John? Hi. Is this not even worth anything, or no? Yeah, not, the nuts worth money. Yeah. I, I okay. put all the stuff out. I put all the stuff out there just to kind of make it easier to grab when we leave. All right. Where was that turret he found? How do I drop it? G. It's literally written on your screen. Oh. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Stop exiting in and out, Jesus. What? I'm dropping off stuff. I'm doing my job. Look, I'm... <laughs> I just need help. I just need help, okay? Okay, okay. I mean, we should probably start bringing some of this stuff back. We've actually got a decent amount now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Was it really like, look, I'm... <laughs> Uh, thing over here. And the key. Grab that.
How soon do we need to get back to the ship, though? Um, you do not want to stay out too late. Oh, there's the turret! Oh, we were, we were, we were, we Uh, hmm, hmm. I'm out of battery, shit. All right. Well, they're still alive, that's important. Oh, oh boy. Let's go. We got shit. We got shit, we got two things, I got a nag beater. I think we should just leave then. Let's, let's probably just go back then. Wait. Yeah, 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 go this way. Go towards her. What? Where are you? Where, where'd you go? Mom! Mom! Yeah. Don't this child again! There you are. I'm not abandoning my child, sweetie. I'm. Your uncle is with you, and you should be. Why are you running the opposite way as your uncle? As long as we don't get hit the turret, we're fine. Yeah. Just don't get shot, stupid. Okay. Great. John's the mop. John's the mop. Okay. I think I have multiple things. Nice. Yep. It's just if anything takes up full hands, then unfortunately you can't. So. Oh, oh, oh. I'm just gonna not die. Driving. Not die. I am driving us onward to victory. Fork. That's your problem, Cole. <laughs> apparently, apparently you need to point towards the ladder, and then you can get on. That's your problem, Cole. <laughs> okay, yeah, I've never played this game before, so... Lord help me. Play the game, Cole. Doing it right now, idiot. Play it more, Cole, without us holding your hand. Play it better. Okay, okay, cool. I'll just go by myself and literally freak the fuck out. Cool. The Great. turret represents your violent mood swings, John, shooting at anything that gets too close to you. Jesus, am I a psychopath or what? Yes. Oh, shut up. <laughs> Why are you, you know what? I'm gonna Wait. put that where it should be. Learn this from Reese. Perfect. Perfect. All right, I think we got nice. enough here, unless you want to go back in, but... No, it's... we're good. What time is it even? Fine. Oh, it's like, yeah, it's like six o'clock. We're good. Okay. Bye! Yeah. What did psychopath do this? Fart. <laughs> <laughs> what did psychopath do this? <laughs> okay, give me a minute. I gotta let my dog out. She is being very, very vocal. Okay. John was the laziest employee! How was I laziest? I found half the oh, shit. No, 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 injuries. I'm perfectly fine. Okay, um, mental injuries, I can tell. But still, wait. Still get no notes. <laughs> I mean, your community has been messing with you more frequently these recent months. They sure fucking have. I've noticed that. Wow, cool. Very bland. Don't forget to recharge your flashlights, by the way. Got it. Right, thank, thank you. you. Uh, let's go to Val. I'm, I'm getting no notes. I'm clearly the best at this game. Please enjoy your flight. Also, we it's it's straight back. Thank you for flying with Air Force. We hope you enjoy this flatulent experience. As you can see, everybody is a competent employee, except me. Yes, you. 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 Did Call! 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 I worry for your breakdowns! No, stop! Stop them! <laughs> Is Lethal Company just a euphemism for John Psyche? Yes. <laughs> oh, wait. Yeah, baby. I can finally do it. Speed. 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 Speed.
Wait, John, stop farting. stop farting. I'm just waiting for Trey to come back so I can land the ship. <laughs> Trey, come back to us. He's gonna come back. He's gonna smell like farts. I wonder what Meds thinks right now. <laughs> he's thinking this is the greatest silence he's had for the last half hour. Man, these guys are the best. I have the I have the streets myself. That is so cool. <laughs> John, the three you chose is somehow a manifestation of your insanity. I'd believe it. What side of the insanity am I? The girl side. Oh man, so the whole thing gotcha. <laughs> wow, ouch. <laughs> Hey man, you check out that part on John stream the other day? Oh yeah, oh no, I have it. What was it about? Uh, it was just this guy farting. Anytime you can come back, that'd be appreciated. <laughs> the girl... The girl's side, the, the girl's side of uh, John's insanity, John's insanity is, a is a very big side, big side for such a small, small moth. I'm tiny. I'm tiny. That doesn't mean that, doesn't that I'm mean not that imposing. imposing. John, I'm losing my sanity. John, help. There's no help, help me. For that, I don't know how to no! help you at this point. No! No! That that didn't quite go the way I expected on that one. Okay. Is that Trey? Okay, Trey's back. That's Trey. Trey's here. Perfect. We're going to land the ship after that one. Okay. <laughs> Fuck. All right. I, I am trying my best. I am trying my best, and I oh, right. am I should failing probably put these down. Give me a second. The girl failed, I am. One second, one second, one second. One second. Me. I'm coming. That's tradition. Gotta get my dog back on my lap. All right, we can encounter things over here. Cole, do you like bees? I'm good. Is this the one I never actually remember the correct way to go on? I think it is. Also, don't go into lakes of water. You can't swim, and you will drown. That is correct. Oh man, but that was the next thing I was gonna do. <laughs> of course Damn you it. would. Because as we all know, goats can't swim. They only can climb at things there that are go. not 90 degrees. Oh, I hear bees, I hear bees, I hear bees. Oh. Yeah, bees only sting if you have, if there's a nest next to them. Okay. Yeah, if you're... If Gwen, you're how the fuck you're... did you get glitter everywhere? What the fuck are you doing? Gwen, what the fuck? Gwen said, I fucked up. Glitter is everywhere in my apartment now. It's on everything. Ah, glitter. The demon particle. Hey, where? I thought the entrance was here. Where'd the entrance go? Um, there it is. Okay. Put her head? Yeah. Okay. I dislike the fact that the, the doors have a timer, but, you know, it's, uh, it's a, how games are. How did you get glitter everywhere? By having glitter, duh. Eh, yeah, touche. And um, we got steam. We do? Let me see what's this way. Uh, this is a dead end. All right, cool. Oh, okay, fine. Just go with your mom then if you don't like me with me that much. I'm God. their parent, God. you asshole! <laughs> I brought them into the stream, and I'll bring them out if I have to. You have such a parent sense, you can hear us from another room. I'm leaving. Laughing, boy. Thank you for the raid, my dude. <laughs> John's being a true mom, calling her kids assholes. So proud. I learned from the best. You gotta be kidding. What do we gotta jump? Oh. 
Oh, where'd it go? John? Yeah? There you are. Okay. Hi. Hello. Did, I, did Camille just die, or did she turn into a bird? Uh, I do not know, but we got fine. So let's just keep doing that. Uh. Wow, like nothing? Oh, uh, nope. No, nothing. Nothing here. Damn. All right. Can't believe you're playing Lethal Company without me. Sorry, Cole wanted it. Cole, put it on the cookie. I was, I, I, I was gifted the game literally today, and I was just like, you know what? I want to try it. Did you two die? There's a flashlight on the ground. One of them died. Oh fuck! <laughs> no. Oh. <laughs> yep. Flashlight to pool of blood. Good. It's a Saturday. Oh shit, I'm running. Oh, oh, God, oh. Yeah, I'm let's, good. Let's... We're leaving, we're leaving. Grab the thing, we're getting the fuck out. All right, you can only walk, all right. Well, I can run, but... Oh wait, hang on, get off the bridge. Yeah, you... sorry, walk solo, this is the rickety bridge. Okay, here we go. Okay. Yeah, if there's too many people on this bridge at once, it actually falls. Oh, seeing it shake. Oh god, that's terrifying. Yeah. Actually. Jesus. All right. Well, that explains the bird scream I heard from Camille. <laughs> Woo, buddy. You were supposed to drop it on him, John. I'm not that. It's his first time. I'm being nice. Next time it's like, go fuck yourself, I'm killing you, <laughs> like, the second we get off. No guarantees there. All right, there's the ship. All right, cool. You've done worse the first time in other games? Yeah, but it's got to be, like, like recoverable, too. Like, we lose money if we fuck around too much. Oh, I guess we wouldn't, because we have no on-hand cash right now. Okay. Perfect. All right. Well, let's. It's I'll around store um, the one I did find at least. It's three. It's three twenty. So. No, if you want to, I don't know if we have time to even go back now. Uh, we've already got two people dead, and the way forward is blocked by a bracken. That's usually not a good idea. So let's just get out of here. All right. Here, let's just, let's just check here first before. Yeah, there's there's their bodies. They're they're they hella dead. <laughs> okay. Camille got the hit by the bracken. I have no idea what happened to Trey. Ooh. But he is definitely dead. <laughs> oh, Trey! Trey left the call actually in Discord. <laughs> he died that badly. Oh boy. No notes for John. I still get no notes. <laughs> <laughs> I got 9 XP. So, to, to, so basically, to Camille fell off when she tried to yeah, reach. Fell. And you as soon as I looked to see where she went, I immediately turned monster. around and there was our friend, the Bracken, ready to yeah. up my neck. Wait, so why did you jump? There was the way around. Because I didn't know that didn't was the way around. The way around. The okay. You can use the terminal. Yeah. So, yeah, oh, it was a oh. nice surprise when I turned around and got my shit kicked in. It oh, happens. Yeah, so, uh, I might need a, a, a flashlight because, you know, uh, I died. And yeah, I, I got, we gotta we got sell some stuff here first. So we're gonna land and sell our stuff and then we can grab gear. Mm -mm. Hey, it's him, Goku. Hey, Goku. it's me, Goku. Goku! Also, don't jump off. You can die here, too. Yeah, there is fall damage in the game. And plus, the store owner here can barely grab you if you fuck around too much and want to find out. It's, um, actually, it's sound-based. I just thought so it was because you kept ringing the bell too many times, and you're just like... Yeah, Well, that that's, that's the sound. Yeah, but also, talking too much is, uh... It can make it happen. Oh, I didn't know about that. That's a new one. <laughs> 
Let me ring the bell. All right. Stand back. Wait for a bit, and there you go. All right, what's our cash looking like? Lids and money. 416, nice. Lids and money. All right, let me buy us some gear, but then we're out of time for the game, so. That's fine. Hey. Hey. Let's see. Let's Shovels are on sale. Silly chill for a session. Where, how much are the good flashlights? Is there even any reason to buy stuff if we're about to end, end the game? It does save the file, so if this ever comes up again, we can continue it. Ooh, that's oh, cool. Fair enough. Yee. Maybe I should set these back buttons for emotes, because I can't emote. I'm kind of sad. I'll wait outside to see when the thing arrives. Should probably be around here somewhere. Uh, I probably should have bought the shovels, too. Tips for the job. Uh, use the terminal, read the manual, watch the clock, stick together. Oh, I was being told that walkies were on sale. Oh shit, were they? Oh yeah, then we should have bought those, too. Hang on. Oh yeah, they're extra cheap. Flashlight. Flashlight's over here. That's a more powerful flashlight. Damn. Yeah, this is a much better flashlight yeah. with better battery life and everything. So this is the one you want, but usually it's pretty pricey. So. Mhm. Mm yup. And that yep. should be the rest of what I ordered. All right, that's everything we needed. So we got four walkie-talkies, four good flashlights, and uh, two shovels. Hang on, uh, hang on. John? Yo, yeah? Uh, what would be the toggle to, uh, for instance, use the walkie-talkie? Uh, it's like you gotta have it in your hand and then you gotta hold down the left click. Left click? Wait, hang on. Oh, hold on. Oh, right. Oh, also, press Q to turn it on first. Five. Five. Uh, okay, wait, five, Q. I'm not the, I forgot five, what Q is. Five, I, I have a French, I have a French thing. The, the, oh, but, the button know. next to move forward. The button to the left the of button. move forward. Found it. Now when you okay. press the button, you can hear it. There you go. Yeah, I can hear you now. Over. Nicely done. Anytime, sweetie. <laughs> this uses battery power, though, so remember to recharge it. Yeah, uh, and also turn it off as well. No, I'm still holding well, a third one. At least I know for any session that somebody wants me to invite in, so that's good. Uh, all right, where did the other two go? Uh, Looks like they're on the other end of the ship. They're just outside of it. They didn't jump off, did they? They died. Did they fucking jump off? They died. They're just here, John. Come over here. Front of the ship. What's up? No. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they fought each other to death? Jesus Christ. How the fuck did they Oh shot my god. Uh, we really are the parents over here. Oh, so you've been upgraded to parent now? Is that what happened? Well, the two of them died, so um, I am now new parent. Congratulations. And this, this is why, this is why <laughs> Trey was only the uncle. Exactly. Now I am the real uncle. Family. <laughs> now I'm the real uncle. <laughs> We're getting soft tacos later. I'll bring up the other buddy. I probably should actually turn these off. Oops. And. 
Here you Are go. they turning back on when I put them in? Wow, you're only five dollars, Cole. <laughs> I knew the value of arts was gonna deflate it, but this much. I'm impressed they traded kills. I kind of am too, actually. I'm not. I'm not impressed. I'll be honest. <laughs> it sounds like a. Uh, it sounds like a them thing. Kind of does. Oh, wait, All right, on. let's get the hell out of here. Yeah, there's like a glitch going on. I can't turn off the items. They keep turning back on. Yeah. Well, good job, you two. Way to bleed all over the fucking carpet and the planet. No, I'm impressed you kill each other alive. at the same time, though. He's still alive. He still has to kill. <laughs> oh, that was so damn funny. <laughs> we literally no. both died at the same time. We were fighting with the shovels. We both died. Oh, thank no. God we got a, qu a fucking bonus to cover the money I cost re reviving you two. you die, it costs us things, even if we are bringing you back to the ship. So Still imagine worth it. it's because of you! So Still worth it! Still worth it. Uh, that is a lethal company session, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you enjoy All right. it. Alright, hope... <laughs> <laughs> Why did I buy the shovels?! I think John's going through his wine mom arc. Oh my god, I fucking feel it in my soul right now. <laughs> this was this is my best suggestion. It will never get any better. I have peaked. I have peaked. I just got my best fucking Kirby Dad mug. Don't make me have to get a fucking lethal company mom mug to go with it. I'll do it for us. No! <laughs> Alright, sorry, sweeties, but mom is going back to the stream. Y'all can hang out with your weird uncle. Oh. No, I don't. <sighs> God help me. John's not on muted yet. Give it a second. I'm back. I'm <laughs> back. Oh, Jesus oh. Christ. I'm so glad I suggested that game. I'm alive! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, <laughs> that was just so much silly shit. My God, I love it. I told you that Welcome game was unintentionally company. hilarious. God. Welcome uh, to Lethal Company, where the fun value depends on the uh, on the company that you have. Uh, good thing you played Mom Simulator earlier. You have that mom experience now. Thank God. <laughs> uh, I'm so uh, I'm sold. I'm fucking sold, man. Mm. The fucking double kills what's getting me right now. I, w I wish I had seen that, but I just look on the map and see two arrows staring at each other and not moving. I'm like, what did they fucking do? Did they jump off together? <laughs> oh, God. Oh, my God. He gave me sass, so I had to punish him. But then he. I give you sass. And then he hit sass, me. What? And then we just kept what? hitting each other and we both killed each other at the same time. <laughs> I just drops. That's the perfect fucking art. Jesus Christ. What did drops do? <laughs> oh my god. You know what? I, I'm gonna show it right now. Fuck it. It's perfect. Oh, no. show it. Show it. Show it. <laughs> as someone that not only has dogs all his life, but also acted as a foster care for a couple, I can say with full certainty, for a certainty, yeah, this is what being a dog parent's like. Also, the captcha asked me to identify dogs. It knew. Oh my god. <laughs> Mama needs a stiff drink right now. <laughs> okay, where's, do you want a bubble meds? tea? What about meds? I can, I, I can give you a, a pink lady if you like. I would, I would love a pink lady right now. Alright, so I, I'm gonna I would just like a lady. so that I can get you a pink lady. You have a good one, okay, Mama? Well, don't leave yet, because you gotta pick a game. Oh shit, yeah, uh, Bifuru, Bifuru, step out of here. Did you just throw Beefaroo off the house? Don't worry, he's made of... 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 He's made of beef. Yeah, fluffy beef. Oh, uh, that's why he's in inedible. So he'll, he'll survive. Inedible? Now just, doesn't that just make him a target for predators? No, inedible. That means that he can't be eaten. 
you said what, what, whatever. Yeah, whatever. So, games! It's Do wheel round, baby! Ooh! Alright, I need a game suggestion from meds. Train Camille, because, uh, Cole's already out. Yeah! I'll stick with knights. Trey. Uh, game, game, game. Uh, f you know what? Yeah, fuck it. Resident Evil 8. Okay. Uh, okay. Um, can you can you do other games while I'm looking yeah. for a game for you? Sure. Okay. Let's put in our viewer choices. Hero Chaos Chow says, I can put in a game again. So because this comes out in a few weeks at the time of me putting this in, Splatoon 3 for side order. Or if you don't have side order, then just have some salmon run. It's a little too early, sorry, Chow. Uh, so it's gonna have to be salmon run. Oh, shit. <laughs> salmon run is hell right now? Oh god, what's the rotation? Uh, I haven't checked. Let me check. Chat, I mean, chat's uh, probably gonna say it, don't worry. Yeah, but I have also, I have also the app, so that way I could check. Uh, uh okay. Uh, Salmon Run, we have Splattershot, uh, um, Inkbrush, a uh, Hydra, ooh, and a random, uh, and a random item. Interesting. So there might be the possibility of a Grisco weapon. All right. Mr. Silvermoon says, gonna try pushing for Crash Twin Sanity again. Easily one of the funniest games out there. And Cat Pants says, let's see some Proton Froggers in the chat. I'm requesting Muppet Pinball Mayhem for the Game Boy Advance. All right, Camille, I can only buy you a little bit more time. You got anything in mind yet, or you need a little bit more? Um, let's go with, actually, uh, let's see a uh, Busta Move 3 instead of Busta Move 4. Is this gonna be a Bust Move 3 on? Um, I don't have to check. Can Saturn! Just... Bust Move 3 on the Saturn. Well, let's go for a Bust Move 3 on the Saturn. Saturn, boys! Two Saturn, Saturn games, boys. wow. Alright, and our Took three random choices to join the wheel. Got. Fatty Bear's birthday surprise for the 3DO. That's a name. What the fuck? Which is why it's fitting it's on the 3DO. It's, hu it's humongous games, so. Oh, okay. The Powerpuff Girls, Bad Mojo Jojo for the Game Boy Color. Don't worry, I thought I said it. Live Alive's carried over, don't worry. E. And Rune Factory 3 Special for Switch. So we've got Live Alive, uh. Nights in the Dreams, Resident Evil 8, Bust and Move 3, Splatoon 3, Crash Twin Sanity, Muppet Pinball Mayhem, Fatty Bear's Birthday Surprise, The Powerpuff Girls, Bad Mojo Jojo, and Rune Factory 3 Special. This is the wheel round, which means whatever the wheel picks is what we play, so the votes will be deciding who has the best chance of winning, not guaranteeing who wins. So vote for the game you want to have the best chance of winning. We could f chat. We could do it. We could finally kill the live a live streak. Stop, yeah, there there stop, is no carryover from wheel round. Just a heads up. There's this wipes the slate. So live alive has to win it here now, or it's gone. Unless it comes back up on the next cookie somehow, which is entirely possible. Wh wow. Oh uh. my gosh. Oh my god! Okay, I was—I had a feeling something was in a massive lead. I didn't think it'd be that big. Holy shit! Oh, <laughs> Neither <boy>. did I. <laughs> Live alive, currently like fucking crushing it right now. Ninety-five percent, forty-one percent of the vote. Cat pants is Muppet pinball. May no, actually, no. Everything else is kind of evenly tied here. Uh, Splatoon 3 Salmon Run, 26 votes, 9%. Buster Move 3, 24 votes, 8%. Muppet Pinball Mayhem, 24 votes, 8%. Fatty Bear's Birthday Surprise, 25 votes, 8%. <laughs> Crash Insanity, 22 votes, 7%. Nights in the Dream, 17 votes, 5%. Rune Factory 3 Special, 16 votes, 5%. Risen 8 Village, 16 votes, 5%. Powerpuff Girls, Bad Mojo Jojo, 13 votes, 4%. 326 votes clock so far. Live Alive wins, is leading 123 to 33. I, do we even do Mercy Kill on Wheel Rounds? Uh, have we ever had this situation I, happen? I don't think we have, yeah. Yeah, but uh, here's the thing. Since I, it doesn't guarantee it's a, a wheel chance... Round, it doesn't really, since it doesn't guarantee a chance, round, I don't it even think it matters. Mean, yeah, that's what I was about to say. Since it's uh, just a chance, it's not exactly a guarantee, is it? Yeah. Stop! 
So I don't know. I, I guess we just keep going. Maybe if there's Ooh. a maybe we just force the spin if the mercy mercy kill happens. We have once and now you don't. Okay. Damn going. Oh, Dan's God, like, damn it's it. a wheel it's round. A wheel round. He could still lose. Yes. Yeah. Let the let oh. my game win by the crazy oh, fates. Dan, well, I thought that you liked games of luck. Speaking of speaking of live yeah, alive, Dan. um, I want to go go ahead and just say, uh, congratulations to the composer of that game, um, uh, Yokoshima Mora, who just won the Lifetime Achievement Award at the Game Developers Choice Awards. Nice. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. 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 Well deserved. Absolutely well deserved. She always does amazing work. Later, Alter. Have a good one. Yo, let it land on the yellow. Just do the craziest shit. All right, here we go. All right, spinning it. And there actually wasn't a mercy kill by the looks of it either, which is surprising. You got really close. But let's see what we're playing next. 36% chance for Live Alive. Best chance it's got. But the winner of this round and what we're playing next is... Oh, it might actually be Live Alive. It is Live Alive. Uh, the curse has been lifted. I'm a little surprised it got it, but it got it. Genuinely. Live Alive's up next. I thought for sure it was gonna be like, nah. I was <laughs> expecting Crash to Insanity. I was expecting something smack dab in the middle. Oh, Vindication! Hi, there he is. <laughs> Hi, hello, how are you doing? Vindicate D's nuts, Dan. Got him. Wow, <laughs> unoriginal much? Sorry, I ain't in a furries. Anyways. Dan, Dan you're He's the one who invited wow. me to do it. I was going to say, sign Dan. up for it. Dan, you're me. the one who not? plays Incineroar. I'm sorry, yeah. but that already tells yeah, and he's you. An, yeah, I beat people up with him. I was gonna say, I, I play nuts? Roy and Falco, that doesn't mean that's what I'm into. <laughs> Wait, hang on, I missed I miss a part of the conversation. Did you say you beat up people with your nuts? <laughs> <laughs> Mads, that's I mean, different. That's a different game. <laughs> Mads, that's different. You're playing Roy, that means that you hate yourself. I don't think we can stream no, that game, Dan, I'm read. sorry. John, what are the eggs? Mere Artist for yeah. 61, Midi Knight for 34, Darchi uh, for 47, Golden 0718 for 43, Dr. Zock for 65, Gundam Girl 56 for 65. Uh, Zock, I have no idea where I got this Axel gift, if I'm going to be perfectly honest. I think someone gave it to me. I, I think I might actually got it off of just a random gift site, because I was looking up Mega Man gifts. Fire Man 2 for 25, Xenotype C for 111. Reaver 85 for 81, Higher Ryu for 77, Schlappy Joe for 7, Sarah Bear for 107, and Voodoo Rabbit for 35. If you're stream mommy, does that make restream daddy? I'm confused. We can have two mommies as a treat. It's okay. All right. Damn, John, how come you have two moms? Because <laughs> no one in this household wants to be a guy, apparently, except for Bagel. Good. All right. Uh, thanks for stopping hanging out tonight, folks. Your eggs tonight are courtesy of... We have mommy at home. Oh my god. From Calvin, Hulkinator. Oh boy. Boss! Oops. I don't apologize for what I'm about to subject you to. Meatball warning. No! 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 <laughs> <laughs> If you don't get the context of this, watch Tuesday's Disc Only episode. Oh. I am not a believer, but I'm really starting to pray right now. <laughs> can we blame Alex for this? I like how this, this isn't even the egg, by the way. This is the, this is the fucking buffer they made. This isn't even the egg. Oh, God. If you could see the look on my face, it would just be <laughs> questioning all of life's choices. We found the meatball, man. Anyways, here's the actual egg. <laughs> Calvin, I need that one too. Oh my god, perfect. I need right. that one for personal reasons. Can we, can we, can, oh. Calvin, I don't know if you upload that stuff on Twitter. Can you just upload that meatball thing? Cal Calvin does put them on Twitter. It will be, okay. I'm sure at some point I will be retweeting it. Please hmm. add not just Tom, but also Alex Roshan. 
police. <laughs> that oh egg God. was shiki baby approved, I'm sure. Oh. All right, going to break. When we come back, <laughs> I got so fucking distracted. Forgot what one. Live alive. See you guys in a bit. Oh God. Woo woo. All and right. for P and Elias Thompson, thank you both for the raids. Hey Elias. I'm gonna slap this one here quickly before we uh, actually go to break. We're gonna die. Look at this person. This is me. On murder the one-man raid, even though they weren't one-man raids, Robert got turned himself into the authorities. His current serving life sentence inside John's computer. Man, you've got so many people uh, serving life sentences in your computer. Oh, They're all Robert Cop. Not... <laughs> They're just all Robert does it... Cop. Does it not run out of RAM? It's like my brain. It just never runs out of RAM. Apparently. But bandwidth, it, it's an Band option. Bandwidth's a problem, though. <laughs> <laughs> you just I'm, you <laughs> I'm gonna go uh, however because I need to rest a bit but that was fun <laughs> thanks for hanging Yee. later Camille I'll be, in chat. I'll be in chat so later guys okay bye bye Daybreaker red I got jump scared by the Tommy ball on the thumbnail of the stream good <laughs> welcome to the stream <laughs> welcome to whatever the fuck this is I have no oh. idea anymore god save me God has abandoned you, and you know it. Yeah, that's fair. Well, I mean, of course he has. Why do you think all creations like that are allowed to roam free? <laughs> I don't really I have, have a, fear a smart ass reporter of that. Back in a bit. Woo! Alright, I gotta find Live Alive. I gotta go stretch my legs. Let me check if the person I messaged actually messaged me back. By the way, I'm not actually going to be on for Line of Love. I just wanted to say Vindication and just call it that and just call it a day from there. My God. Gotcha, my dude. Three in a row. I fucking won. If it's still lost, I would have just been so sad. I kind of wanted it to lose just for the... Just for the meme. The sheer... Yeah. Why do you hate me? I love tears. It's not that I hate you. I just like misery. <laughs> I just I like making you, you miserable. It's different. Man, Very I, yeah, different. You, I let you bunk with me and my friends like five years ago at MAGFest. What the fuck? <laughs> Chat, you got questions? Wait, I'm sure was, they have questions. Oh, wait, There's no, a lot of them we sorry, probably can't answer. I was going to say, wait, I don't think we've ever met Trey and Mag. No, I'm, I'm going to be real. I, I'm i like half uh, I'm like half zoned out right now. He kind of sounds like trying to be a little bit. I've only been to Mag one time. And I think it was 2017. Anyway, later, guys. I was gonna later say that would... later. Ah, uh, man. <laughs> bum 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 bum. Oh uh, no, I haven't gone around to watching Hasman Hotel. I I'm not particularly interested in watching it. So, truck. I've seen it. It's fine. I think I, I think that one song from episode five with Lucifer and. Uh, Alistair's kind of stuck in my head. Mm. Bum, bum, bum. <laughs> Question for Trey. Who put the alphabet in alphabetical order? Simple. Al. Because Al's in the name. I'm not sure if that's how that works. I don't think that's how it works, actually. It's Unless his last name is Fibet. No, his last name's just Bet. So it's Alpha? What's no, it's just Al name? Bet. Al Bet? His middle name's Fa. Alpha. <laughs> Alpha. You're an Alpha? Bet. <clears throat> I'm not Alpha. Bet. I'm an alpha. Rad. Very rad. If any of you have the ability to fly regardless of the method used, what is the first thing you would buy to throw at people from high above? Jeez. Um. At people, fuck. Uh, probably just water balloons. 
I'll just, uh, I will... I, I don't want to be, I don't want to be mean, so I'll just throw some plushes at people. I'm, I'm, I'll, I'll be nice about it. Too I would take an anvil, but specifically miss somebody. Just give somebody <laughs> a heart attack. <laughs> Jesus Christ, my dude. Miss them just enough to shit their pants. Yeah. <laughs> it's like... You know, not looking to be lethal, just funny. Like, it's that, comedy. It's cartoons, you know? But also, that, like, here's the thing. That would almost be worse, because then they will live in fear, thinking that an anvil will fall on them at any moment. Yeah, exactly. That's the idea. <laughs> Oh God! It can happen put, to anybody, even you. You put the, you put the fear of God in them. No, in anvils. This case, God is you. <laughs> no, God is the anvil. No, anvils they don't know fall. anything about me. No anvils will follow me. No anvils will follow me. No anvils will follow me. You know what? That's an art prop I want. I want Cole's persona, like Looney Tuned anvil dropped on him. Um, but uh, it's actually, but the, but the twist is that it actually is not me. It's Trey. Nah, they're gonna draw you more than me. Uh, chat, I want you to look at, uh, the... No, 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 no. Um, hmm. Yeah. There are some references to you someday. If you look up Proof Cole, you could probably find references. Nope, you'll, you do not know what I look like. You'll never know. Gokai, what the fuck did you do? Hold up. <clears throat> I'm checking. I'm checking some. I've been told to check my chat. What the fuck happened? What'd you do? Did he gift you a sub? I get the <laughs> anvil. Cole gets the piano. Gokai, it's not my stream. <laughs> I can't do Smash Your Pants here. It's not my stream. <laughs> fuck you. You want know that? More of that. No. I'm not going to give context to it. John isn't here, he won't- No, I'm not gonna do that! Don't yeah, worry, John would know. if you guys wanna know. compromise, you I'll got... drop a coal on both Trey and Cole. <laughs> like, that works for me. I can get two anvils. Smash your pass and anvil- No! That's not what it is, Prime! No! <laughs> the anvil will smash, smash. Him. <laughs> Jesus Christ. The anvil with hard smash, Cole. Should I- Should I give context, actually? Should I give context Probably. or no? I almost want to give no context that nobody knows. Drop a coal. Yeah, you know, you know, just drop them over a cliff like they do in Tekken. Uh, who needs context? I'll give context. This is not an invitation, so uh, this is not an invitation. So just a heads up. But uh, on my stream. I've made Smasher Passes a regular part of my stream, and it's for like 100 bits, a $2 tip, or sub. And basically, if someone does that, they can suggest a character for me to Smasher Pass. There's your context. That is not an invitation, just to be clear. So. So to Gokai, uh, I'll, I'll do it later. <laughs> Oh, fuck. Pass that buck, baby. Pass that buck? What? Do it later. Pass that buck. Pass that buck. Oh, okay. <laughs> Did you even hear what I... Oh, whatever. Yeah, smash or pass. Or as non-cowards call it. Yeah, I'd fuck that. <laughs> wow. It's not cowards. Yeah, There's no it. passing. It's just okay. smash. <laughs> you know what? You know what? You know what? I'll, I'll say what it is. It's, uh... What was it? Flea back from the odd couple. Go 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 go! Always gives me the weirdest ones. Um, he looks like a cute buddy. Smash. I'll say smash, Gokai. You're welcome. There you go. The problem, the problem with this is that I have. There's somebody who keeps track of these with like a full spread shot, spreadsheet. So now I need to a let him know like, hey, you say. Spread <laughs> shut up. Shut the fuck up. Tell <laughs> me more. Spread, huh? Oh. Well now I have now I have to go to him and be like, hey, someone did one off stream. Here's here's the thing for the spreadsheet. I'm not kidding. We have a full spreadsheet of Smasher passes. Cole, like I'm gonna tell you something right now. It's okay if you want to smash or be smashed. It's all right. Yes, I've done a full stream of Smasher Pass for Pokemon in every single generation. I have done that. 
Alright. Cole's first word, wood. Why do I need a cold shower? Where the fuck is this game? Uh... There it is. I literally ran out of cases. I kept finding more by accident. There we go. Trying to find through all the random ass Switch games you got. I probably do too. I have like. Hear me. I need to reorganize my whole setup for Switch because I have them all out in little travel cases, but they're not alphabetized. They're in order of purchase, and the Switch has been out for like seven years. I forgot order of purchase. <laughs> <laughs> I also need to. I also have like some traveling cases too and I probably need to start switching out some of the games because now I am borderline fuck Almost. how many st hmm? I'm trying to remember how many switch games I actually have right this moment so it says won't take you that long to reorganize them I have to reorganize 442 cartridges <laughs> it's going to take a bit no they said it won't take Damn. long yeah, all I have is two. All I have is two hundred eighty-five. That's all. <laughs> I'm never gonna reach John's level. You shouldn't. Don't do it. But what if I do though? It's too more late. More power to you, but you really shouldn't. John, you know it's already too late for me. My my game number hasn't gone up that much this year. I Though I haven't really bought that much. I think the last games I bought were Like a Dragon, managed to get a copy of another Code Realization, and then Limited Run's last patch of uh, Shantae and the Pirate's Curse for 3DS. <clears throat> bum, bum. Alrighty then. I think we're all caught up and ready to go. Art block is refreshed. <laughs> Alerts wise, what do we got? Evil J. Brian says, I wonder how long until the community makes a mod to replace the model of the Bracken with Rosa John. I. No, you don't need to, because the fucking Goku one's fucking perfect. The Goku one it's is so good. It's kind of hard. Kinda hey, hard it's to me, beat Goku. That one. Oh, it replaces one of the mo- Oh, okay. That's actually pretty funny. I just want every time if you see him, as soon as you hit the camera, you hear that one, like, horn sound when he goes Ultra Instinct. Oh, they, that, that theme plays, but it's, like, distorted. <clears throat> so it's like... Oh, my God. Like, it's, it's really good. Perfect. It's really good. GB Lego says, Hey, John, I have a very fitting game recommendation given the past few months. Dreamscaper on Steam. Dreamscaper. By night, delve deep into your subconscious and discover powerful artifacts to conquer your nightmares. By day, explore the city of Red Haven and build relationships to unlock the power of your dreams. Dream, die, wake, repeat. Oh, this sounds cool. Alright. Boom, I'll slap that in there. That'll go great with Cannon Father and Mommy Simulator. <laughs> Gokai Orange says, Fun fact, the 3DO ports of early Humongous games nearly got Ron and Gilbert in trouble with LucasArts, as they never specified he could use their scum engine on consoles. He said it'd never happen again, and LucasArts backed off. Oof. Well, at least they figured out that, but that could have been rough. Alright, here comes Philip J. Fry, and you know what he always says. Didn't have it loaded, though. Oops. Whoops. All right. 
night. It's Saturday night. I have no date. A two-liter bottle of Shasta and my all-rush mixtape. Let's rock. Distant early warning intensifies. Fun Quantum Facts says, uh, muonium is a type of exotic atom composed of an electron and an anti-muon for a nucleus instead of a proton. If taken as its own atom and not a bizarre form of hydrogen, it's the simplest atom in the universe. It decays after 2.2 microseconds. Oh my god. That's cool as hell, though. All right, art block. Starting with this picture here. <laughs> Usually I charge, charge a sacrificial lamb, but you get the family raid. Thanks, Dad! From D.B. Koopa. Yes, I am still hooked on Hasbin Hotel. Yes, all this John is a parent talk made me think of this. Yes, I am comparing John to Lucifer purely on the two having massive collections. If Cocoms in chat knew how knew the, know the next lyrics of the song, I would gladly ask them to be said or sung to John, altered for Jomney purpose, if you like. I've not watched the show, so I can't do that. Sorry. <laughs> I think, I think that's what I just sh said was probably the bit. <clears throat> yeah, I've only watched the first four episodes. Sorry. Sorry, I don't know this one. Trey did already? What? Yeah, I was like, but you get the family rate. Thanks, Mom! Oh, there you go. God damn it. I was gonna say that did look like the main character's name. I know we already showed this one, but this just has my energy down pat, so I just really wanted to show it again. Uh... Alright, next up, I like the question marks here on this one. From Mika, presenting the Jami Dakimura. This is what I drew, this is what I draw when it's a mommy night and I'm sleep deprived. <laughs> Are you gonna be okay, Mika? Thank you for the Daki art of Jami. And the alternate version as well. Here's the nightgown version. <laughs> Perfect. Thank you so much, Mika. Next up. Oh my god. From Pluto. John's going through his wine mom phase. Wine moms. Yeah. Definitely have that wine mom energy at the moment. Ugh. Can you believe she brought her kids to work again? God, when's she gonna learn? Thank you, Pluto. And last but not least, we got a good old Yippee from Jade Stone 18. Oh God, that was very sharp in my ears. Oh. <laughs> Since Lethal was played, couldn't resist drawing our best buddy. If only we had the Yippee mod. Sorry, I didn't have it on. <laughs> Jami doesn't get drunk, she just has fun. Thank you, Jade. That's our block, let's go play some Live Alive. Hey. Alright, then I will hop off here then. No, oh, okay. Take it easy, dude. You do. Nah, I try. Nah. Alright, so last time we played Live Alive, we did, I think, the entire martial artist story. So now the oh. question becomes what do we do next? Whatever your heart desires. My heart desires a lot of things. What is the desire right now? Uh, a couple million dollars. I guess you. Do, All right, so let's you, make it happen. So you do want that two point nine million dollars? I mean, I'm down for more. And it doesn't have or or like less. I just need the million. <laughs> well, I could definitely do less. <laughs> Most people can. Why is this so quiet compared to? How is how is the fucking mom simulator louder than Live Alive? <laughs> Switch games don't have normalization, so like their audio balancing between games is really weird. All right. Last time we played, we finished the the fighters. Yeah, right. Our dude's name was Fighty Fight Boy. I forgot. And what wasn't that when you fought like? That one boss that was called Odie. Oh, yeah, we fought Odie. Oh, yeah. I remember this because it was part of the highlights. The game has been loaded. Odie O'Bright.
Yeah, we fought the dog from Garfield. Yeah, some people yeah. made fan art of it, too. Mm-hmm. The jukebox has been unlocked. Additional songs have been added to the jukebox. Additional entries have been added to the gameplay tips. Present day, complete. Level two, fighty fight boy. We have access to prehistory. The Wild West. The near future. The distant future. Twilight of Edo, Japan, and Imperial China. So, people were saying there were two specific ones we probably could knock out in a half hour-ish. But I don't remember which ones it was. Wild West, you absolutely can. As a Texas man, I vote Wild West. Yeehaw, brother. The Wild West could, in theory, be done in one cookie. Do Wild West. West is very fast. Wild West is the easiest to knock out. Wild West is one. Wild West is fast and fun. Totally near future. Wink, wonk. I can't be trusted. I can be trusted. <laughs> Which one has the most mom energy? It's not. No. Stop it. I Wild think... West for sure. Absolutely. Th yeah, a lot of people saying do... Wild West, so I think this seems pretty, like, focused here, so. Yeah. Oh, boy! Yeehaw, brother. West is faster, but it's much faster in the remake. Interesting. The American frontier is a place of foolish dreams and dashed hopes. A tired soul rides into a dying town terrorized by outlaws. Success, they call it. Uh, through the, uh, though to look at it now, none can imagine why. Against the gang of villains, a lone gunslinger stands no chance. But perhaps by working together with the locals to prepare traps before the crazy bunch arrives, one man may yet make a difference. I've wanted to try this game for a while. I just haven't gotten the chance to. I know it's a relatively short game. Like 20 hours total, I think, for the game. Similar to, so yeah, it's like... It's, it's like, a SNES JRPG, is what it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's par for the course for SNES RPGs, yeah. Yeah, SNES RPGs are like the sweet spot for RPGs for me, because it was like, alright, cool. I can knock this out in a week. <laughs> Versus yeah. like, cool, I can There's maybe knock this out months. in a month. Yeah, a month <laughs> to three months. It is on sale on Steam for like 30 bucks. And that version would give me uh, 60 FPS. Crystal Saloon. It was kind of striking how short Super Mario RPG was on the re-release. Loved it. Yeah, no, like that's the one thing I liked about SNES RPGs. They felt like the sweet spot. Like they weren't yeah. they weren't giant commitments, but they were still substantial enough that you got what you wanted out of it. It didn't feel over bloated because of it. Oh, dude, I've been here before. This specific bar? Yeah. That's right down the street. Howdy, Sheriff. Something to drink? Yeah, that's Gary, the barkeeper. <laughs> the second person I've named Gary this stream, I think. <laughs> <laughs> On accident. Trouble in these parts, huh? I swear. Thought it couldn't get any worse after that last bunch rolled in. Chrono Trigger is 15 hours? Really? Chrono Trigger is surprisingly short, yeah. Holy shit. I need to play more SNES RPGs then. SNES, okay. SNES and Genesis RPGs. Pretty Here solid lengths if you don't want to get super into the weeds on JRPGs. Mm-hmm. That's not saying that modern JRPGs are bad. It's just they require so much more time and commitment than they used to. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no. We got to name ourselves. Oh, boy. Uh, well, I know what I want. I know what my heart wants me to name them, but I don't know if my name's going to... If it's going to fit. How long Anime is it? Anime protag. No, no. Let's see if it fits. Oops. Oh, it fits. Shooty McShooterson. Yeah, let's Perfect. go. Perfect. I want to name him Shooty Shooty McBang Bang, but there's definitely not enough characters for that. So, But Shooty McShooterson fits perfectly. That's good. Good shit. Kid, huh? Don't look all that young to me. The Shooty McShooterson kid. Don't look all that young to me. <laughs> I was so fucking close. I guess Shooty McShoot. <laughs> I 
Is the robot gonna be named QB McCube Child at this rate? I don't know. Find out in three years when it comes back up again. Since someone brought the game up too, do you guys think that Chrono Trigger would work in this HD 2D style? Yeah, absolutely. Why not? I think there's very what? few JRPGs that wouldn't. I was gonna say, what SNES RPG would not? Yeah, that's fair. That's also fair. I mean, you say that, but Mario RPG got uh, updated in full 3D. <laughs> but that's yeah. an exception. That's kind of an exception, though. I mean, they were going for the polygonal look anyways, so. Yeah, yeah. Fancy meeting you here, partner. Oh, why the long face? Reckon you'd be relieved to finally put this life on the lamb behind you. Honestly, a little gratitude would be appreciated. Come on, let's do this proper. Can I have people casting aspersions on the great bounty hunter, Mad Dog? No, sir. Never let it be said he shot an unarmed man in cold blood. How many times we done danced this dance, man? <laughs> it's almost like saying goodbye to a lover. Bard had it right. Parting is such sweet sorrow. Combat time. I hope it's just one gunshot and it's done. <laughs> that would be really funny. Now I have to remember how to fuck to play this game. <laughs> so it's a grid system, which is interesting. Would you live in the stereotypical Wild West, John, and what would your job there be? I would not. I would not want to do that, but I would love to be a bartender. I always found, like, I for some reason, kind of always romanticized bartending, like mixing drinks. But I don't drink, which kind of makes bartending hard because you kind of need to know <laughs> if the drinks taste good. Mm -hmm. Give me a drink, bartender. It's like I work in a liquor warehouse. People are like, why don't you be a sales rep? I'm like, I don't drink. Like, that's kind of hard for me to sell something I don't know. Like, I can tell you what sells, but I can't tell you what's in the bottle. A single shot, hollow point. Part of the list means the best things in reeling. Quick draw. Brewing through. Double shot. Dang, the dream is dead. Okay, no joke. Uh, the trailer on on <laughs> the trailer on Steam was playing for Live Alive. Right as you started taking your turn, I was like, "Why is boss music playing? <laughs> What's happening?" Um. So remind me because we started with the or we started with the martial artist. Are there any moves I'm supposed to be learning from people, or is that only just for the martial artist? That's only martial arts. Okay. Wrestler's the only blue mage. All right, cool. So just play it straight. Gotcha. That I can do. Dude's got a sick hat. He did. I made him an angel. You are victorious. No experience for shooting McShooterson. The gimmick for each character's chapter is you different. Son of gotcha. A bitch. Well, you got over dying pretty it. easily. Don't you dare walk away from me again. Finish me. Whoa. Finish me! Gets up on the horse. Do it now! <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> why, why did he get on the horse? Shooting at my Goldie? Killing a man is one thing, but you leave his horse out of it. I ain't done talking! Uh, 
Running pretty Bye, good bitch. for a dead man. Bye, bitch. I am digging this, I'm not gonna lie. Uh. Another town. Man, Red Dead Redemption 2 looks different from what I remember. Yeah, this this is the D-make. Wild West, the Wanderer. John, I hope you're happy you made me buy this game, although I've been meaning to get it anyways. <laughs> well, then there you go. I doubt it's on my Nexus shop, too. I should probably check that. Wow. Oh my god, okay. This is why HD2D is great, because you can get these really dynamic shots. Oh, that's really good. That's it's really that good. Cool. Oh, oh, it's not dynamic. Wow, John. Oh, no, no, wow. Sorry, no, I, I said I was checking the Nexus shop. Relax. Looks fantastic on PC, especially. Yeah, the PC, I mean, the PC version is... The radar. The radar located in the bottom right corner of the screen can be used to identify and export areas and guide you to your current objective. Unexplored area, explored area, current objective, current ob or, and current objective. Ready can we talk on or off by display radar? We should quit the current chapter and play a different one. Access settings by the main menu and select return to chapter select. If you select a chapter you have previously played, your playthrough will resume from your last save. That's still really cool, by the way. I'm a level nine cowboy. I have a faded hat, a peacemaker, a cracked leather glove, poncho, and a well-worn boots. I have nothing to put in any of those slots. In my bag, I got nothing. My abilities, I already saw all those. My formation is solo because I'm by myself. I was hoping something was going to be hidden in the background here, but it looks like nothing is. <laughs> I yeah, had I hope. Gonna... You do get the portability, although if you have a Steam Deck line back, you can just buy the Steam version, and then you'll get 60 FPS on the go. But that's dependent if you have a Steam Deck. So. Wow, this empty field is locked up tight. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. There's the actual thing. I'm assuming they're going to be all locked up at this point. Can't get anything. Nice try. Nope. There's no point checking, right? Just go straight to the objective? Check anyway. Just check all of them. No, because we want to actually try to see if we can beat this in this session. <laughs> okay. So. okay, fair enough. Fair I'll enough. be nice today. Look at Mariachi Band! Hell yeah! And they all stopped. No! <laughs> Hell yeah! No! Aww. You ruined like the fun. Wanted, dead or alive, the shooty McShooterson kid. 5,000 bucks, dang. Look at this fucking sparkly ass, like, Fortnite shield potion we got here. Oh, they're just letting me take it, huh? Alright, sick. <laughs> I mean, who's gonna challenge you? You already killed the vibe. And I'll God. do it again. <laughs> God, just like Mad Dog. <laughs> Hi, miss. Hey, you have no right to just barge into my room like that. Get out. Okay. That was kind of rude. Well, you're the only one who didn't lock your door, ma'am. I certainly wasn't expecting that. I wasn't expecting that either, so that caught me off guard. Yeah. <laughs> 
We are all friends here. A friend would play me a song. And they're all very scared. Get me a drink, bartender. Howdy, stranger. Thirsty? Or uh, you got a hankering for something more substantial? Free of charge, of course. God damn, is it hot out there! Eh, uh, eh. Barkeep, the usual. Hmm? Eh, uh, eh. Oh. Hey, stranger. Seems you're sitting on my favorite stool. Ooh. Hey, okay. You deaf or just stupid? That's enough. I'm trying to write my memoirs up here. Your name on it, huh? Cause I don't see it, do you? Waltzing in here, acting like you own the place, without spending a dime. We don't need that kind of customer. No, thank you. Now, Annie, darling, there's no need to make a scene. Oh, she, she's about to slap a bitch. Okay, the, the wrong words have been said. <laughs> Ooh. Annie. Settle down now. Don't you talk to me like that. Big, strong men. Striding around like you own the place because of what you got dangling between your legs. <laughs> Wait. Glad they all looked down. <laughs> <laughs> Cojones. Well, don't you? <laughs> so use them. <laughs> Dude, the writing of this is like not what I expected. <laughs> oh, Full of fire and fury. Real Hellraiser. I love it. Uh. I mean it, darling. Be my woman. Away from me! There it is! Bam! Slap oh, dude! Bitch. Slap a bitch! Slap Damn. a bitch! His cheek Darling. exploded! I know you didn't just raise a hand to me. Because there's some things a man cannot abide. Leave her alone. Small child to the rescue! <laughs> Why does it stop running? If it isn't the brave sheriff's little brat, here to save the day, huh? I hate to break it to you, kiddo. But I ain't got time for your shit. Woo! Damn, we jumped that stool real fast. I guess it's implied we caught the kid. <laughs> Whoops. Sorry about that, stranger. The boy was out of line, but I hope you can find it in your heart to forgive him. Tell you what, let me buy you a drink to smooth things over. Oh, Marky, that's a son of a bitch. Milk for my new friend. Heads up! Figure that ought to suit a delicate flower like yourself. And it back. What's this? You spitting on my generosity? How else am I to interpret the return of this milk I see before me? And to top it off, this hangover. But that's what I get for drinking the cheap piss they serve here. Let me guess. It's not that you hate milk, but that you can't stomach it. 
Less it's fresh from your mother's tits. Jesus! Your mother's mother. <laughs> <mother's mother's mother's laughs> <mother's mother's laughs> yes! Huh? Yes! Huh? <laughs> I'm buying the game. I'm buying the game. I'm buying the game. <laughs> no idea what to expect. I'm buying with the this. game. I'm buying the it game. Was not I'm buying this. the game. I'm buying the game. I like that, that line was apparently voiced too, I didn't even notice. Shooting make shooters and baby, let's get in position. Game bot, that sold me. <laughs> Alright, he's got a weak to fire, but I don't actually have any fire abilities, so let's just do a double shot. I love how that's the joke that moved, that got me to buy the game. <laughs> uh. Oh, all it took was one regular ass shot. All right. I mean, it's I know this game is never localized, but that's bold for a SNES game. That's super it's bold, man. Over, you hear me? You get yours. You just wait and see. I love, I, I love this game's writing. Like, holy shit. If anyone's interested, by the way, the game is 40% uh, off on Steam right now. Oh, damn. Hell yeah. Game That's the version I just picked up. Bunch. That was amazing! Yeah, I heard, th I heard this, like... He will never forget. I heard this version apparently, like, was really highly praised when it came out, so... And I know the original game was also side, praised a lot, too. Know we can beat mm -hmm. them. It was just stuck in Japan. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There was a fan translation, but yeah. Ruckus. For sure. Hi, Dan. Again, I reiterate, literally took the top spot for my favorite game. Sheriff. Right, you said that, actually. See, he just rode into town and... It... Oh, now you show up. In the nick of time, as always. My father, the sheriff. The coward. Oh. <sighs> Billy, son, try to understand. If we so much as look at these people the wrong way, there's gonna be hell to pay. Well, we just shot one, so, uh, about that. But if we don't take a stand, then nothing will ever change. Oh, Annie, please. I don't want to hear it. Our sheriff, my brother. Every last man in this town is a coward. Including you, Mariachi Band. This boy here's got more courage than all of you put together. And they are wrong. Sheriff, listen. This fella here, see, he, he just might be the answer. Alas, good people. I fear you have misjudged the content of that villain's character. Oh, here we go. Oh, what? I love the swinging door shadow. Story, and that one speaks volumes. Shoot, he makes shooters. <laughs> oh, it's fucking mad. It does dog. tell you what he's all about. <laughs> the shooty McShooterson kid. The kid. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> now you're getting it, huh? That there's the devil himself. <gasps> Children usually are devilish. <laughs> they finally noticed the wanted poster they put up last week. Wait a minute. It's him. On the wanted poster. Five oh, thousand wow. dollars. Dead or alive. And the one who's gonna bring him in is me. Liar! I am many things, boy. But I am no liar. I love Mad You're Dog's delivery. Guy, right, mister? I'm no saint. I'm no saint. No. No. 
I don't believe it. <laughs> Always were lousy with the little ones, weren't you, kid? Hold up, hold up. The voice of Mad Dog. Golden this is their first there, VA you know. role. Are you kidding? Wow. Me? A lot of VAs in this game actually cold. They are not like established names. They're new to the industry. Holy shit, dude. Yeah. <laughs> But you'll answer for it's that. It's so good. And everything else. Soon enough. Outside. I'm fucking impressed. Now. It's... It's a showdown. A showdown. A showdown. Ten paces in turn just for fun, son. Show down, show down, show down. Don't even think about running. The swing doors, man. Gives a shit about ray tracing. We got swinging doors. <laughs> That really isn't up to you. I, uh, uh, do it or don't. You ever think how useless of an invention swinging doors are? Like, what's the point? They don't cover anything. They're, they're style, that's it. They yeah, but like, cool. I will say, I, I know Annie called him a coward, but Sheriff's voice, 10 out of 10. Damn. No! <laughs> that was my chance to read her memoirs. <laughs> And he was smart. Caesar's gonna take a piss. I mean, when you think about it, swinging doors do kind of cover, they just don't, like, stay shut. The IDs are more so supposed to, like, signify that someone's coming in or out than anything. Yeah. Like, you can hear them. Plus, like, you actually have to peek inside to see what's going on. You still have to go through the door. Like, you can get a preview looking over the door, but, you know, you gotta join the Well, party. I'm thinking from, like, a yeah, function of a building. Seen on you before. Like, it doesn't keep anything out. It's just, like, <gasps> the weather comes the in with you. Extended Coyote's looking for a meal. Wow, this is the best fucking thing ever. I As they go to kill someone in their sleep. Truly do. When he saved, I thought John was going to cliffhang us. I would have, but we still have time in the segment. We're not at a half hour yet. But all good things must come to an end. And end it we will, kid. From ten paces. Each man takes five. I'll count it off. On the fifth, we turn and fire. Agreed? Right then. Oh my One. god. Big iron, big iron. Two. Three. Four. I like how someone's behind like turns Five. around. Just be like, I can't watch. <laughs> Gah! Got him. He's one of the crazy bunch. Those two gunslingers. How'd they know? The music told us. <laughs> Just my luck. These simpletons ruining a perfectly good duel. Wow! Yugi Moto be like. Chick Mac Dog's VA's got some acting credits, even if he's new to VA. Gotcha. Us up. Maybe, just maybe, we can take on the crazy bunch. Listen, I guarantee there's a whole lot more of them on the way, and they'll be out for blood now. You've got to help us fight. Well, when you put it like that, not that I could ever muster the strength to turn a woman down. Fuck you. Sorry, kid. <laughs> but it seems our duel will have to wait. 
but only until after we've dealt with a crazy bunch. Well, that was really easy. <laughs> They're just like, well, okay then. Sounds good. Well, you know, it's it's the type of thing where it's like, oh yes, the band's playing. Sorry, free chat. What's gayer, being gay or whatever a Mad Dog and Sundown Kid have going on? <laughs> <laughs> Mad Dog is bi as fuck. I'm like, like, there is so much tension between him and Kid, but like, you know, flirting with Annie. He's absolutely bi fuck. No, bi as fuck. He's bi pill. The crazy bunch ain't exactly short on shooters. Dad will have a chance of beating him by straight up five. I tell you what, <laughs> dying heroically during a valiant last stand does not appeal to me one bit, no sir. Let's see what these folks can tell us about our would-be killers. All right, I hate to do it, folks, but this is actually where we do stop the segment. Ooh! Damn, damn. I, at least I got to see the third. cool shootout moment, but unfortunately, that's where we got to stop. So, hey, can I say means... something about that shoot scene with the two guys that got dropped? On the SNES version, they're not hidden in, like, a hay bale and, um, like, that wheelbarrow. They're actually, their sprites are literally just hidden behind two pillars um, of the building that's on the south. So it literally, they walk out of the pillar's sight, and they just drop dead. But when you think about it, they're literally just sitting there leaning against the pillars. Mad Dog and Sundown just shoot them out of cold blood. They're not hidden. They're hidden to the player, not them. <laughs> they literally just decide, fishy. oh, bang. <laughs> People who are sold or interested in this game because of this segment need to realize this isn't even near the part where I went from this is neat to play live alive, please. That's crazy, man. Deep says, I'm uh, kicking things? Well, fucking play the game yourself, my dude. Yeah, the next part's a time crunch. That's what I figured, because, like, it even it shows up here. Like, it took us an hour to get through the martial arts segment, and this is longer than the martial arts segment, so. Not by much, though, but yeah. Yeah, still would have been an hour, regardless. Yeah. But this is, this is a good stopping point for this chapter, I would say. Oh, he meant, he meant for poll, like, restarting servers right now, apparently, is what Deep is doing. Oops, okay. <gasps> did, that, did that just buy us some time? Probably what's that, what's like... that? Boot up Mom Simulator 2023 again? <laughs> no. Let's go! Well, Potato <laughs> soup! <laughs> <laughs> Potato lettuce soup. There's a difference. All right. Apparently, it might be a good idea to do art block first. Hi, Pop. Hey, Pop. How you doing, buddy? Yo, is that popkey.bandcamp.com in the chat? Game is installed on my Steam Deck. <sighs> Mom Simulator gave me motion sickness while you were playing, and that doesn't happen to me. That is impressive. Oh, wow. Hey, you know, I'm doing all right. A little tired, but otherwise fine. I'm getting caught up on sleep this week. God, I slept like most of today. Jump, jump, fall. Evil J. Brian, thank you for the raid. Let's run some counter measures. Upon running the one-man raid, Robin Cop turned himself into the authorities. He's serving a life sentence inside John's computer. Alright, um, so I don't know how much long- yeah, there's an error was encountered that just popped up on screen for me, so I'm going to assume- Oh, that looked cool as hell. Let me go back and see that again. Shit. It just showed me the pie chart, but everything was literally in pieces scattered over the screen. That looked cool as fuck. Oh, nice. Ah, it's not gonna do it now, son of a bitch. Con day over. Now I have all the time for mommy. Well, that's good, but mommy's a little busy right now because we're done mom simulator uh, and and fucking lethal company. So I'm, we're just gonna be playing whatever comes up next once we can do the poll again. We might have to do birthday wheel, but let's do art block first and see if I can buy Deep some time. I don't know how long. I... Uh, meanwhile, I got two pieces here in art block. It's the beef. It's the beefy boy with all the confetti. 
from Rhyme. Yippee! <laughs> By the by, you can enjoy this emote as, at the Egg Pack ar exclamation art Discord to join and interact with our fellow artists. No, I did not misspell this. <laughs> I thought that was one of your actual channel emotes, Rhyme, because I just love this guy. I just love this little beef root confetti. I think this is awesome. I would ask, like, if you're not using this on your own channel, I would ask to use this myself, since I have 49 animated sub slots now. Dude, the yeah, I was gonna say, there so we go, she's got it. So I, I knew, yeah, it's, I knew it's one of her actual ones. Creature. <laughs> yeah, so if it's up to Prime, you can actually get uh, this emote to use in Twitch. Yeah, so... I'm, I'm gonna jump back over here for a second. So, they added new subs, sorry, new animated emote slots for people if you were, like, the same way they do, like, unlocking new emote slots. And they added so many that it literally bumped my uh, animated emote slots from 5 to 49. That's fucking Jesus insane. Christ. And if I use Twitch alerts, I get another two. So I have 51 emote slots for animated emotes. 44 to 46 are currently free. So, uh, Prime, do you want some work? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Look, I may actually have to deep, uh, dig deep into the artist commission pool myself. I've got like 30 fucking slots to open up from that subathon two years ago. Please! <laughs> <laughs> I wonder, you know what? I wonder how hard it would be to do an animated emote. Hmm. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Uh, I'm really making gifts. There you go. Can you make a gif? Prime, hit me up tomorrow. We'll start nailing down some of these. Maniacal. Maniacal. Thank you for the raid. Go away. <laughs> Twelve mana. The mana sword is real. <laughs> Wild Mania. Wild Mania. Have I even ran countermeasures today that weren't one man? No, I don't think no. you have. All right, sick. Right, because we did have one raid and it was in the middle of something I couldn't. We were playing Lethal Company. That's what it was. Wobbly's raid. Bye, Maniacal. Thanks for the raid. <laughs> he was in the call while we were muted and talking. Alright. It's been done. Still waiting to see if the servers come back, so I don't know how long that's going to take for the reboot. Um, There was another picture in our block, wasn't there? Yeah, there was another picture in our block. We got sidetracked by, by the raid. So jumping back there. Again, there's the confetti boy. Just having a good vibe. Yippee! Yippee! Meds is a meanie poo poo, says Maniacal. Don't act like you don't deserve it. It's Jesus. Can you tell I me I'm wrong, though? I hate how accurate this is to my look of the fucking dark ass <laughs> marks under my eyes to a point where it looks like I'm fucking wearing, like, eyeshadow. No, that's just how fucking tired I am as a human being. From Shining Silver, it's a sleepy John. It's a sleepy John. So sleepy. Thinking of symbols. So sleepy. Thank you, Silver. And something else slides. Ooh! Whoa. Damn, Mel, you drew that fast. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit! Oh! 
Damn, girl, you drew that very fast. From Mel Sky, no message on this one because we posted. Oh, there we go. A quick sketch of Rosa John slapping Waluigi after watching John play live alive. Dude had a Waluigi ass build when we got into the combat sprite, so that tracks. Oh, wow. Very nicely done, Mel. Holy shit. Alright, that. Ooh! Ooh, that was. That was loud. Sorry. God damn. Sorry. I had that at 20 on here. Spicy. All right, it looks like the site is back up. Hey. Yay. What do we got for this round? All right, uh, I think this is just viewer round we're doing here now. Yeah, I... Actually, yeah. wait, hang on. How many viewer choices do I have? Sorry, Jack. <laughs> I got nine. Yeah, we're going to use all nine. Okay. We'll empty out the jar. Cool, cool. All right. Now that live live is done, you guys go to the next game. I'm gonna head out for the night. Later, guys. Take it easy, Dan. Boss! Maniacal, the the cowboy segment for Live Alive sold me on the game. I bought it. <laughs> it sold me on it. I think this is round four. I forget. I've been counting wrong today. I think. Be warned that it may be up, but likely won't work. I stand corrected. Never mind. Okay. <laughs> We'll right, find viewer, out. Viewer around, all viewer choices this time around, all from the cookie jar. Uh, Lady Annie Social says, I don't expect this to win since I won my previous two cookies, but Pokemon Legend Arceus for the Switch. ZHUP64 says, have the points. So my favorite game that the character creator cracked my egg. Third time submitting it, yay. Xenoblade Chronicles X for the Wii U. Storm Tech, uh, oh, I've been saying this wrong the entire time, huh? Storm Tenchanso says, uh, Monster Hunter Stories 2 for the Switch. Hex Nexus Dan says, like lesbians, animals, and RPGs? Super lesbian animal RPG on Steam. This is gonna be so RPG heavy. Oh my god! Ooh. Every game I put in basically has been an RPG so far. Guess <laughs> I'm so becoming an RPG streamer, John. I need to figure out what game I'm playing this year for my RPG because I always play through one RPG a year on my downtime. I did Thousand Year Door last year. Mm -hmm. Um, I did something. I don't remember what I did the previous year. I guess I was thinking like Final Fantasy VII Rebirth was gonna be my uh, my RPG for the year. Shimonaiko, <laughs> you can't take the RPG streamer away from me. Back off. <laughs> well, here we go. The next one's not an RPG. Okay. Malamooch. Uh, all right, I got a cookie in the jar, and I got the game for y'all. It's time rock and roll. It's time for rock and roll. Get hyped for some Hi-Fi Rush. Ooh. Do Xenosaga One, Final Fantasy VII. You say you might want to do Pokemon Black at some point. The J and JRPG stands for John. Live Alive. Hmm. I don't know. I was leaning towards one of the Xenos. Probably Xeno Saga. Yeah, because I always want to play through Xeno Saga 1. But I don't know. I haven't. I've yet to figure it out. For some reason, there was a part of my brain that's like, we should do something on the GameCube this year. And I don't know what it was, because I was thinking last year I did Thousand Year Door, I did F-Zero GX, so I had two GameCube games I hadn't beaten before. For some reason I was like, I have a third one in mind, what will it be? And my brain's been like, blanked. Never mind, I think I remember what it was, fucking Mega Man X Command Mission. That's probably the one I'm gonna do. Ah! I vote for GX, I already beat GX, that w that's not my point. Specter Rhino says, Black Mesa on Steam. I was going to guess Wind Waker. Wind Waker was one I was debating as well, because I was playing through the Link to the Past randomizer that I was on my, had on the Archipelago. I was like, man, I never finished Wind Waker. really should do that at some point. I am going to be doing Wind Waker this year, so. It's not super long. Eh. It's just when it came out, uh, or when I had access to playing it, I had to choose between playing that or Devil May Cry 1. And Yeah, I can see uh, you can, where you, you might see, choose the other. You can see what path I got led down, is what I'm saying. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Zelda streamer. Destin the Insane says, bro Tato, because who doesn't love aliens trying to kill a potato that has one, six, or twelve arms? 
Todd Star and Mel Sky say, It's been a long time coming, but I want my rematch, John. Mario Golf Super Rush on Switch. I'm going to be rusty as hell if that wins. And last but not least, for this round of cookie from XC Priest, since I can't request my first choice, I'll go with my second choice. Raw Danger for the PS2. Brutal Moose blessed me with this game and the stupid choices you can make it. I've heard Raw Danger is funny as fuck. Unintentionally, but yeah. Alright, so we have for this round Pokemon Legends Arceus, Xenoblade Chronicles X, Monster Hunter Stories 2, Wings of Ruin, Super Lesbian Animal RPG, Hi-Fi Rush, Black Mesa, Brotato, Mario Golf Super Rush, and Raw Danger. This is a really fucking good list. Let's see what wins. Oh, I gotta log in first. Hang on. Apologies, an unknown error occurred. Oops. Uh, well, we might actually not. Hang on, let me see if I had, if I gotta do this manually or not. Yeah, I think we're just manually posting this one. No bot this time around. Sorry, sorry mods. You're gonna actually have to manually post this one. Ah, whoop. Oh, fuck. I need space for that. Currently in the lead. Oh! <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> the mm. endless void. It'll pop up at some point. <laughs> void wins. <laughs> the endless void. Sorry, refreshing. Can this just be the stream for the <laughs> for the rest of the time? <laughs> we might have a problem. Oh no. Can I spin the void? <laughs> it's decided. RC it tried. Wins. There you go. <laughs> Do one last kick. Give it half a second. All right, deep. Make sure I don't delete these options just yet, then in case I gotta manually put them all back in. Oh, an error was attempted to retrieve results over socket, attempting reconnection in zero seconds. You can do it, Will! I believe in you! Oh no! I think we've made a grave mistake today. Oh man. Play them all simultaneously. No, half of them are on Steam. And the other half are on Switch. <laughs> Play two of them simultaneously. <laughs> Deep, how long should I wait before I just do a Twitch poll? The problem is Twitch poll only acts, lets me do five options. I thought there were more now. Uh, for predictions, you can go up to ten. Polls are still under uh, five, that's as far as I'm aware of. Oh, shoot, it's really not happy. Wait. <laughs> Maniaco, what? Maniaco, what are you thinking? Oh. Technically. Well, no, no, because people. No, because then it's gonna be weighted get... versus whoever has the most eggs to submit. Yeah. yeah. I, I, I don't know if we should trust chat. I'm gonna be honest. There's no way an otter system is gonna work. It's straight up busted until I refresh some things, which is going to take time. All right, so poll's busted. So here's the question I offer to chat then. Do we save this round for later and just spin the birthday wheel until the poll's up? Or we could use the old straw poll site, which I don't even think is still up anymore. Really? I don't oh. know. Let me check.
Yeah, straw poll me closed over a year ago. Wow. August, August 2022. We can use strawpoll.com. I believe that had ad issues or something like that. Maybe. I don't know. It looks a lot different than the last time I used this. John, can I have a cookie? I don't have any to give out, buddy. Sorry, Jiggy. Strawpoll.com is very dumb. I use the dot com, it's okay. Alright, well let me let me transfer everything over and then we'll see if how this works. John, I punched OBS. Why did you punch OBS, Jiggy? Why and how? I'm cooking. So you're cooking and you did that? Like, literally cooking? Or are you just, like, the vibe of cooking? Like, I'm, like, let him cook, cook. Were you, in fact, making pasta and then you hit it with all the pasta noodles? Grabbed one of your strips of bacon from your plated bread. <laughs> My separate, pl separately plated bacon strips. <laughs> Got a hot dog from the fridge and slathered it with mustard. Called it good. I think that was the worst one. <laughs> uh, let's see if this works. I just got anxiety and spent the last 22 hours rebuilding my OBS. Like, oh my god, dude. Why would you do that to yourself? Goddamn. You are a brave, foolish man. Alright. Strawpool.com does seem to be working. Votes are coming in. They're updating at a decent pace, so... So we'll use this for this round, and hopefully is not the only round we'll be using it for. Or sorry, hopefully it is the only round we'll be using it for. Sorry. Yeah, that means there's no carryover for spin, though. You can just spin your monitor. <laughs> mm, I'm good. I mean, I could just... I have a D20 sitting on my desk. I could also just spin that. Or I could spin my monitor, whatever's easier for you. I mean, you just want to spin your monitor. Just fucking spin your monitor, dude. Just have fun. Well, with I it. mean, it's not that I want. I, I no, do it, it sounds for like you. you want to. It really does. No, sound I'm like doing you just it for you. To. It's a, it's a favor. No, it's not really doing me a favor. I'm gonna dude. cash just, it in later. You I can't, can't take even. It from I me. can't even see you doing it. Well, I can figure something out. <laughs> <laughs> Currently in the lead. Give me a minute. <laughs> what is he doing? Bullshit. He's doing bullshit. Is what he's doing. I hit the wrong button. <laughs> That's true. Bullshit. All right, currently, we've got Super Lesbian Animal RPG in the lead, 53 votes. 25% of the vote. Pokemon Legends Arceus, 46 votes, 22%. Hi-Fi Rush, 30 votes, 14%. Mario Golf Super Rush, 27 votes, 12%. Xenoblade Chronicles X, 19 votes, 8%. Brotato, 9 votes, 4%. Same with Black Mesa. Same with uh, Monster Hunter Stories 2. And same with Raw Danger. <laughs> 234 votes clock so far. Super Lesbian Animal RPG currently leading 67 to 56 over Pokemon Legend Arceus. Uh, let's put... That still says 20 minutes. Uh, let me fix my timer and set it to one minute, and then when the jingle goes off, we're done. Alright, one minute on the clock starting now. Oh yeah, repost the link. Oh, I now I shouldn't be doing it like that. Smooth, like that. There we go. There we go. 
So 30, 30 seconds left. Super Lesbian Animal RPG leading over Pokemon Legends Arceus by 20 votes. Or 19. Have we, have we played... Like, okay. The first game we started with was Mommy mom Simulator. simulator. Yeah. Mom just, simulator. just Mom Simulator. And then every other game... To, no, no, no. Lethal. No, Lethal Company. Never mind. Lethal Company, definitely not an RPG, no. <laughs> that, was, that was the game I suggested, too. <laughs> I don't think Super okay. Lesbian Animal RPG takes it no one percent rule. Woo! John, have you played LA? Like LA Noir? I don't think he's played Los Angeles. Jimmy. Link's Awakening? Oh, You're gonna need to specify a little bit more there, bud. Legends RPG. Oh Legends RC. Oh, I've played Legends RC, yeah. Like I played it on stream. <laughs> Legends R Rice? Are right. <laughs> God damn it, Jiggy. All right, Super Lesbian Animal RPG is up next. I've heard this is pretty good. Yeah. Uh, let's drop some eggs, which will be very quick, because I got AWSM Andrew Gaming for two months, GN Shadow02 for 29, and Fox McLeod for 120. Thanks for subbing and hanging out, you guys, and everyone as well. Shuffler for your egg. You will give me an egg. At night. Get that at night egg, baby. Going to break. When we come back, well, I guess we've already done art block technically, so, uh, Super Lesbian Animal RPG. See you guys in a bit. All right. Woo! All right, chat. You guys feeling good? Feeling good? Tigers in my DM saying you're welcome because Tigers is <laughs> the one that got the one that got me to get it. John, I've got a question mm -hmm. that, because I've been on a Saturn kick lately. Have you played Bulk Slash before? Bulk Slash? Yeah, it was a Japanese only game, but it got a it got a fan translation. But it's it's probably my favorite. It, it's a mech game. It's probably my favorite Saturn game. I've seen this game before. Doesn't the English dub of this have Edo doing the voice? Yeah, I think she's the first miss that you save. Which game? Bulk Slash. I've never played this, but I am aware of it. You should find a way to play it someday. It's really good. Ah, English fan translation. Gotcha. 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 <laughs> Can't speak. How do you wish to proceed, Cole? I perceived... That's the end of the sentence. Um, good yeah, sentence. Good sentence. Yeah, yeah. I know. I know. Um, I know. I know. Hex posted the prologue. You don't need to read the prologue. There's apparently a prologue comment. Comic. Don't worry about reading it. If you don't. If you don't. I don't think you really need to. Um, but there is a prologue comic that has no spoilers, which is neat. It was released like three days before Lesbian Animal. Lesbian. Sl God. Okay. The one thing I will say. The name is a bit of a mouthful. <laughs> Super Lesbian Animal RPG. It's a little bit of a mouthful. Um, saying it at Learn like- Learn how to like, say lesbian. Become a lesbian, Cole. That's just way easier. Just become a lesbian and then you don't have any issues with it. I'm already bisexual. I don't need that. <laughs> become a lesbian. <laughs> I'll just say slot RPG. Slot, slar. Slot RPG. I don't know. I'm rolling this fucking D20 to figure out what game should get a carryover, because I realize it's all viewer choices. They should get a carryover chance. And I'm rolling the best fucking rolls of my life. I'm getting off this fucking D20. I finally got one to actually show up. That was one through nine. Everything else was <laughs> 16 up. Incredible. All right. Uh, number seven. Which was one? Which was number seven? One, two, three, four, five, six. Brotato is getting the carryover. Hey. Yeah, I could just call it Slurpka. It's like, it's like Smooka. It's like, it's, it's how you say Super Mario RPG. It's like Smurka. Nice. Yeah, Smurpka. Smurpka. Slurpka. <laughs> All right, with that, the cookie jar is empty. Ooh. Whoa. Slurp, Slurpy, Slurpy. I'll just call it Slurpka. Jiggy, what's up? <laughs> Why did you just put my name in all caps? <laughs> Slurpy seconds, fuck off. Oh, God. I challenge you to a round of froth at BCC. <laughs> Why are you calling it Big Chungus Coliseum? 
<laughs> I forgot you were calling it that. Big Chungus Colus. Okay. <sighs> Yo, if you want to play some fucking Ribbit King, I'm down, my dude. You're going to kick my butt because I'm not good at it, but I'm down for some frolf. <laughs> I like how someone's like, Jiggy, go to bed. <laughs> hey, I just work here. Tim C told me that's the new name. I don't believe you. I do not believe you. Also, you don't. Also, what are you talking about? You don't work here. You're just a VIP. We talk about. Right. Would you? Go ahead. Sorry. No, you, you go ahead, cause I'm gonna do a wisdom do. Okay. Would you object to calling this game Slurpy G from now on? Slurpy G. Wow. Slurpy G. Slurpy G. God damn it! Oh, I just got it. Slurpy G. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck. Bless the Duke. <laughs> Jiggy, I'm not convinced that image is fake. Guys, I'm not convinced that the image is real. <laughs> what image? What are you talking about? So, so fucking Jiggy last night on his stream, uh, when Steven raids, it's just like, hey, I'm gonna show you this picture I got on my phone from MC, and fucking shows this picture. Of a DM between MC and him saying, like, can we invite Conan O'Brien to the new Proton John Coliseum? MC responds with, you mean Big Chungus Coliseum? Jiggy says yes. MC says no. And the winky face and a peace sign. And then uh, Jiggy says bummer. Motherfucker, you spelled my fucking name wrong. There's no <laughs> way in hell this is real. <laughs> I still don't believe you on this. I'm, I'm going to ask MC next time I see him. you like, John, I can't spell. You've been doing a good job in chat, Jiggy. <laughs> Thanks, I work hard. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, Yo, man, I don't, I don't know if I love or hate the idea of just calling it Big Chungus Coliseum just to see, like, yeah, we just, we just fucking gave up. Just fuck it. <laughs> Proton John Coliseum has a nice ring to it. No, I I wouldn't want it to be called. I wouldn't be called name after me. I don't like that. I'd rather even like I'd rather be called Throne Controllers Coliseum. Like I would prefer that over it being called Proton John Coliseum. Disc only Coliseum is also a good idea. I had some people saying if if slash when we do a new group channel, we should name it like the Throne Controllers Network TCN, which is not a terrible idea. I kind of like it. I don't know if I'm gonna run with it. But, like, it's it's the front runner. But also, we're not even looking into that till like, May. <laughs> because we need some time. I hope that means that Throne Controllers would be named the Throne Controllers Network Throne Controllers. I Yeah, Throne Controllers Network presents Throne Controllers Live would be what it would be called. A shark uppercut. Oh my god, yeah, I'm not pulling from the list. Trust me. I, it crossed my mind. I realized how dumb half that list was. I'm like, nope, I'm good. <laughs> and I suggested some of the ones on that list. Dreamwatch Coliseum? Hell no. Alright, Nico Sower, here is your wisdom of Duke Nukem. Enjoy it. I have to go now. My play needs me. <laughs> I like that more than I thought I would. What, the Throne Controllers one? The Throne Controllers Network presents Throne Controllers Live from the Throne Controllers Throne Controller Dome. I hate it. I hate that so much. <laughs> Jesus. Have you ever thought about the fact that your the initials of your username are the same as pajamas? Yes. That's why I'm always tired. Because I'm connected to pajamas. And or I'm wearing my pajamas right now. Which is just my normal clothing, because I'm always tired. Spaceballs, the Coliseum! There you go.
All right. Uh, alerts wise, Bleach Bummer says, "Hey John, just tried a six-player modded Lethal Company today, and while I was afraid it, it would make it too easy, it actually makes you buy more and lose more if uh, for deaths, so it felt more balanced. That and the downside is some feel like they aren't contributing." Yeah, I think six, I heard, is like the perfect extra lobby size for that game. Because you can support up to 20, I think. But I think six is a sweet spot. Tiger Tiger says, So this is the part where you apologize to Deef or Deef apologizes to you? I'm not sure at this point who apologizes to who. I'm genuinely not sure. Alright, Art Block has one piece in it. No, two pieces now. But I think I got ahead of someone's message, so I'm gonna wait. So, and since we already did Art Block earlier, we'll just, let's just hop into the game. Sorry, John, I broke things. It's okay. <laughs> I'm not sure why you did it while we were streaming, but... I don't know. I, I have a feeling you've probably done this before and I just haven't noticed because it's usually been like a quick, quick refresh. Yeah. That's what I figured. The, the system is literally designed to be redundant so I can do this. Just didn't work this time. Just our luck. <laughs> All right. Have fun. All right. Later. Yeah. Mo mostly playable with your controller? This game is playable but may show incorrect glyphs or require a keyboard at some point. What the hell? Someone, someone in chat said there was an issue with controller use for this game. I would actually recommend keyboard for this. Really? Yeah, I think keyboard works better. Before we get going, I'm gonna hop out. I gotta get to bed soon. That's fair. Thanks for hanging out, though, dude. Appreciate it. Yeah. Night, man. Thanks for having me. Night. Later. I've tried a bit of Rolling Rascal, and uh, I enjoy it. I definitely need to play it more, though. We're not playing Lethal Company. We're about to play Super Lesbian Animal RPG. Slurpagoo. We're playing Slurpagoo. All right, volume warning. Don't know how loud it's going to be or if it's full screen and all that jazz. It's... I don't think it starts full screen. It's very tiny, so it is not full screen. And, but I do not see the volume slider for the game either, which is confusing. Ooh, that's loud. There it is. The good thing is that if you click out of the window, it also pauses the game, so you have time to turn it down. Mm. At least for the next song. That's There's also Super Lesbian a Horse RPG? What? <laughs> oh, Should be able to go into settings and uh, boost up the resolution, too. Alright. Uh... Ah, game.exe, my favorite. Music's pretty good, though. Yeah, but I don't know why you're not seeing it on screen. Um, maybe try game capture. Oh, there we go. That's a much better resolution for me. Uh, game if game no work. Ah, game work. Good. Game work. All right, so Super Lesbian Now RPG. Uh, for those who've never seen this before. Uh, on the top of the page, it says a 16-bit-ish RPG inspired by classics like Final Fantasy, Mother, and Paper Mario with modern sensibilities, i.e. no grinding required, no random encounters. It came out uh, just a little over a year ago at this point. It came out the very end of 2022. Careful, max display size will distort the pixels on average size monitors. Press Z to continue. Controls can be changed any time by the F1 menu. Gamepads also supported. Sprint with shift, select with Z, menu cancel with X, and arrows to move. Control, yeah, controls are super easy, so. Normal, the way the game was designed to be played offers a moderate challenge for fans of RPGs. Easy for those who care more about the story than the challenge. Provides boosted stats. This is an RPG maker game, I can tell. <laughs> yes, it is 1000% an RPG maker game. I am very familiar with this HUD. <laughs> <laughs> Enable digital guys. You'll occasionally get a more direct hint on what to do next, uh, denoted with blue text. Yeah, not necessary. I try. Hey, I saw meds leave, so I'm just like, eh. oh, there you go. Look. 
I, I was asking the mod room if anyone wants second slot, so this works. All right. Yeah, well. Over, over 1,000 years ago, the goddess Fortuna granted the mortals of her planet the gift of magic. Why am I doing the guy voice? This is super lesbian animal, aren't you? Over 1,000 years ago, the goddess Fortuna granted the mortals of her planet the gift of magic. This single act of kindness forever changed the course of history. Now able to harness the art of the gods, the mortals flourished in this new arcane era. Grand cities powered by magic were built, plagues were cured, the lands were connected by new means of transport. Looking at this, I was just like, oh, hi, hi, Thousand Year Door. <laughs> Centuries later, most people have grown accustomed to their fantastical reality. Magic now coexists with modern technology as a part of everyday life. But we still have swords and axes and wands for some reason. But even today, many young people still find themselves chasing dreams of fame, glory, and moderate financial stability with the- with the, Oh, okay. With the help of magic. <laughs> Don't you fucking hit me close to home with moderate financial stability, game. These people seek to become adventurers. Oh, this is RPG Maker as fuck. I can see the tile sets, my god. It is pretty, though. Oh, I'm not saying it looks bad. Now, there's nothing wrong with being an RPG Maker game. It's just yeah. funny how, like, I can recognize it to that level. All right. <laughs> um, I'll voice Allison. Hey, what if we met a dragon or something? That'd be pretty cool. Surely we've already met a dragon at some point. What about back in high school? Wasn't one of our classmates a dragon? Are you thinking of Josh? He's an armadillo lizard, not a dragon. Oh, yeah. What about you, though? Anything you want to do as an adventurer? Maybe, uh, we could, uh... Hmm. I guess I haven't put that much thought into it. I don't know, I'm not too picky. <sighs> hey, be honest with me, Mel. Are you still down for this adventurer's guild thing with Claire and Jody? Well, you're still excited, right? This is a great opportunity for you. You know I'm pumped, and I'm grateful that you want to support me. But this is a huge undertaking for you, too. I mean, of course I'm nervous. And yeah, our lack of tangible progress so far hasn't been the biggest confidence booster. But we're doing it together, right? At the end of the day, I think that's what that makes it worth trying. That's the spirit. We'll be the coolest fighting duo Green Ridge has ever known. And man, how lucky am I to have such a cute adventuring partner. Oh, stop. <laughs> Get a room, Get you a two. Get a room, you two. <laughs> Who's there? Weren't you in the middle of something important? Oh, duh. Come on, Mel. Let's finish this little treasure hunt. Now, let's see. The next clue is travel north until you find the spot where two paths cross. Doop 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 doop. Now. Melody, level one. Alice, level one. Melody is equipped with nothing. Mm -hmm. Allison is equiped with cheap sword. Go to, hey, can you go to options for a minute? Look down. Go down. What? <laughs> <laughs> huh? Control how <laughs> just this is game pass. Uh, just just keep just keep. <laughs> what? <So I'm> <laughs> I'm just going to clarify, the last three are a joke. <laughs> they are a joke. They don't do anything. It's a joke. <laughs> but it's real funny. <laughs> I love that. Consider where or not this game is considered art. If you couldn't tell, I really, really like this game. <laughs> like, a lot. <sighs> That's a fucking skiff sub? What the fuck? <laughs> ah, Ludo narrative dissonance. Thank God. Default move is sprint. I will gladly take that. Any items? Nada. I got a difficulty selector, that's it. Yeah, so far I've played past Act 3. Nice work, Mel. Well, I mean, this is less two paths crossing and more like a big X someone made with dirt, but this is probably it. Now let's see, the next clue is, from there, search for the lonely tree. This looks like the loneliest tree out here. I don't 
don't know. It doesn't look lonely to me. Feels like that's projecting our expectations of how it should feel. Please cease the out-of-pocket comments about the quality of the clues. Now let's... Oh, wait. I think I see something up ahead. Treasure! For your final test, you must use your wits to discern <laughs> the identity of the one who has summoned you here. Claire, what are you doing? Oh, come on. Was it really that obvious? Who else would slide directions for a scavenger hunt under my door this late at night? Okay, true. So what exactly was the point of this? Is this more training or something? Yes and no. I needed to get you in an adventurous mood to prepare you for what happens next. Now, our guild missions over these last few months have been less than optimal. Yeah, we know. But what if I told you I have something that could change that? Book. It's called the Necronomicon. Dark, dark magic. Oh, and she is dead. Oh, oh, oh. oh, she is hella dead. Behemoth Boar appears. Time to fight. Oh, we ain't winning this fight. Mm. Behemoth Boar chomps down on Allison's cheap sword, shattering it. Ah, crap! Thanks, Trace Dog. <laughs> Get out of here, you! <laughs> Trey, that was you, you missed your chance. Lair cast Scorch. Look, I had to at least don't have her face near the mic. Allison, are you hurt? I've survived worse. I'm just glad you're okay. So that wasn't part of the plan. But I'm a prince by, by what I just saw. Are you? Because we kind of got our shit kicked <laughs> in. Y'all sucked! There you go. You see, exactly. <laughs> what, me getting... Yeah. What, me getting my butt kicked yet again? A lot of people would have given up after so many setbacks. But not you two. You need, like, three more. <laughs> but your heart's in the right Three place. Three more you setbacks really will do <laughs> You just need the power to back it up. We need a training montage! This book, this book contains a sacred ritual passed down to us by Fortuna, the goddess of magic herself. It also has an absurd amount of magical energy, which I think is what attracted that monster just now. Whoa, where did you get that? I found it while exploring. You I stole I stole it. it. As the story goes, when Fortuna first taught magic to us mortals way back when, nobody had the training required to cast spells. But instead of giving up on us, Fortuna came up with a ritual to awaken her acolyte's latent magical abilities. And I just so happened to have the instructions for that right here. It won't give you the powers of a goddess, but just. And you'll still need a lot of practice. But it'll give you a running start. And it's gonna go terribly poorly for all of us! Mm-hmm. You just have to answer a few questions for me. What do you say? Is this cheating? No, it's is not! It, is it really fair to just get magical powers for free? People work hard for those. I mean, it's not... free. You still have to work very, very hard to figure out how to deal with anything with your new mana. What's really unfair is the thought of you two being left in the dust just because you didn't have your whole lives planned out at age 14. I mean, come on. You probably would have started training years ago if you knew adventuring wasn't a pipe dream. This is just a nudge in the right direction to make up for lost time. Okay, when you put it like that, this sounds like just what we needed. Well, if Mel's in, then I'm in. Excellent. Let's start with you, Melody. Why do you want to be an adventurer? 
Well, Allison wants to join you and Jody in your guild, but she knows I'd be worried sick if she ran off without me. So I thought, well, I'm not really doing anything else with my life. Maybe I could just go with her and look out for her. Try to keep her safe. I see. I'm not the best fighter, so I think it'd be more useful if I had a healing magic. I mean, I've tried being the healer, but without magic, all I can really do is hand out potions. I don't want to keep being the, the team water girl. I assumed as much. You'd make a great cleric. Well... You just need the outfit not, for it. Not not quite. I was thinking I'd rather be a, a, a paladin. Really? Like a noble crusader with a coat of honor and all that jazz? You sure? You don't look like a paladin. I've been, reading, I've been reading up on my options a lot, and well, I don't know. I just like the sound of it. You don't sound all that confident in your choice. No, this is what I want. I'm sure of it. That's better. And you, Allison? You know me. Adventuring's in my blood. I just want to be strong and fight monsters, really. Care to be a little bit more specific? Evil monsters <laughs> would be preferable. I don't have any reason to fight nice monsters. Okay, smartass. If that's all you're going to give me to work with, you don't get to complain if you think your powers suck, bitch. No promises. Great. Now let's begin the ritual. Stupid fucking Star rabbit. Star power. Oh, dear. Relax. It's just a little spell. That's not going to go terribly wrong. And I'm following the instructions to the letter, which means I'm going to fuck it up. Is this dangerous? Extremely. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Actually, that's the answer. <laughs> uh. Where am I? I fucked up! <laughs> you sure fucking did, bitch! Huh? Oh, yes, I can hear you, Claire. You had us worried there for a second. Dang, I wish I could see what you're seeing. Wherever your consciousness is, is right now. Anyway, Allison didn't need as much magic, so she's already done. But I've still got a few final preparations to make for you, Melody. I suggest you look around for a bit while you wait. Just follow the star path road. Like a yellow brick road. A cooler. Also, where the fuck are you hearing that song from? Claire, there's some kind of shadowy figure watching me here. Is this normal? Huh? I don't know. Maybe? I've never experienced this myself. That might always be there. Uh, Hopefully he doesn't try to kill you or anything. Oh, thanks. That really makes me feel a lot better. Uh, hello? And they're leaving. Okay, that's weird. It just, yeah, dis it just disappeared. See, I left you alone. It's fine. It didn't try to kill you or anything. I'm sure it's more scared of you than you are of it. Unless it brings its buddies along and then it wants to fuck you up later. Thanks for the vote of confidence, bitch. You're welcome. Okay, Melody, I have one last question for you before we complete the ritual. A whole lot of magical power is currently being channeled into you, and we need a way to focus that. You want to be a paladin? And paladins derive their power from faith. I am So not... you need to get super, super fucking religious, and I don't care if you don't like it. I'm not really all that religious. It doesn't have to be re okay, fine. It doesn't have to be religious. Let's just try filling in the blank. My power is derived from my faith in tits. Which door? Oh, yep. Do oh. they tell me what they mean? Because I see nature, like uh, love against, and if, diamond. If, if, if you go against the door, it will tell you uh, a little bit about it. Would faith in my own <clears throat> sorry? <clears throat> Would faith in my own abilities count? What? Well, I feel like I'm kind of a natural healer. It just feels right. If I can be any faith, then it could just be my faith in my ability to heal. You're telling me that you want to believe so hard <laughs> that you have magic healing abilities that the belief itself gives you the arcane power needed to actually cast healing spells? That's fucking stupid! Which it would prove that belief right. Like some kind of magical self-esteem or a boros, just never ending. Is this what you're saying? <laughs> huh? Well, I, uh... Dumb fucking bitch. I mean, resolute paladins are a thing, but it's not that simple, Melody. Mel did help me out last flu season. Allison, shut up! 
no, fuck you too. I mean, I probably would have been in bed for another week if it wasn't for her. And not only because she brought me medicine, I think just having her around helped. She has, like, a soothing presence. I mean, healing's healing, right? Just use that up with some magic or whatever. Fine, if this is what you really want, then I guess I can make it work. <laughs> this door leads to the path of a resolute paladin, strengthened by sheer force of will and a faith in one own, one's own abilities. Choose this. See, that's just, it's so perfectly dumb from the dial option that I feel like I have to pick this now. Do you want to read the other two, or do you just want I to pick this? I should probably read the other two first. All right. What about the power of love? That's the cheesiest fucking thing I've ever heard in my life! Yeah, I know. But for some reason, it can actually maybe work. Especially with how inseparable you two are. This idea sounds pretty gay. I like it. Because it is fucking gay! If you're really doing this to follow your girlfriend around and heal her, then the source of your powers will never be far away. And I don't see you two breaking up, even if you did. You could still use feelings of platonic love as a power source. It's like a symbiosis sort of thing. Well, okay, maybe that's not the best mental image. Eh, whatever. <laughs> So we're the path of the Amoris Paladin, strengthened by faith and the power of love. Oh, they fucking! <laughs> Thank you, Crit. Well, I, uh, I appreciate nature. I like living out in the woods, after all. That's a little spiritual, right? Could you rephrase, rephrase that so it uses the word faith? I have faith in nature? I mean, that ecosystem it sure is going. Ugh. <sighs> Fine, if I guess I could work with that. Most things in nature have arcane energy. You could just borrow some of that, like the spirit bomb. Nice choice, Mel. I think it's a good fit. The story leads to the path of a woodland paladin, strengthened by the faith in Mother Nature. I have to do the self one because it's just so fucking funny. So I'll tell you right now, I chose the middle path. Yeah. That's what I chose. Th of course you fucking would. That's the power gay! of love. Yay! <laughs> Gay! And with that, the choice was made. Super Lesbian Animal RPG! And that's the tutorial. That's the tutorial. Several weeks later. Putting on a boot. Putting on some, uh, some bracelets. She's so cute. <laughs> wow, I actually almost looked the part. Not bad for a couple things I had in my closet and a few pieces of cheap gear off the internet. Your name is Melody Amaranth. I pronounce, I, I pretty much pronounce Amaranth. I, I actually don't know how to pronounce it. So. That's fine. I'm just gonna say Melody. Melody A, 100% match, it's literally you. 22, trans girl, she, her. Bye, Green Ridge, zero miles away. Likes, quiet evening, snow, nature, just chocolate, girls. Dislikes, bad stuff. You're a timid fox who lives near the small town of Green Ridge on the scenic Sapphire Islands. You'd live a quiet life with few ambitions since high school, mostly content to let yourself coast along on autopilot. But you always felt that something was missing. A few months ago, something finally clicked, and you came to two important realizations about yourself. One, you're deeply in love with your adventurous best friend, Allison Goleta. And you probably have been for a long time. As it turns out, the feeling was mutual. And two, if Allison had her heart set on becoming an adventurer, then maybe you could join her. So the comic that um, that Hex was referring to earlier, that basically talks about their essentially them those two getting together. That's what I'm gotcha. talking about. As a healer. Hey, Jacob, thank you for the raid. Okay, everybody holding up in my house. Or sorry, not holding up in my house. I've read all the material Claire gave me and I've run through my mana management exercises a thousand times. I think it's finally time to head into town and show everyone what I've learned. Jacob the Hobo, thank you so much for the raid. I remember to take my hormones and anxiety meds today, and I always keep some extra on me in case I spend the night at Allison's. I'm, ar I'm already squeaky clean. <laughs> oh, Toilet. <man. laughs> Toilet. Toilet. 
Pet beds always look so cozy. It's like a little nest made out of pillows. I'm almost jealous. Almost. The book I've been using to study healing magic. It turns out it's a lot more complicated than I thought. I'm only got the basic one down at the moment, but I want to try to have, I'll have to try some more advanced ones once I'm a bit more experienced. Whoops, looks like I left my laptop open on my blog overnight. Oh yeah, I was looking through my photos and reminiscing, huh? Hey. Pinktransfox.tumblr.com Oh yeah. Wow, look at the way I was looking at Allison here. We weren't even dating yet. I guess this is why none of our friends were surprised when we announced we were dating a few months back. Also, as someone pointed out, yes, this is a real Tumblr blog. I had a feeling. Yeah, it's really, it's really good. This is from when Claire and Jody first started their adventuring guild. They were so excited. Or I guess it's our adventuring guild now, huh? Claire said she doesn't really like this one, though. She was standing close to the camera, and she says it makes her head look huge. I can sympathize with that, honestly. <laughs> How about this painting off of Green Ridge from, uh, Green Ridge from Faith at her at last art show? She really captured the town well. I can take a nap. Am I actually are my stats right now? Oh yeah. We're fine. Skills. We have first aid. Restore a decent amount of HP to one friend. Also builds Melody's star power. We have no gear. Twenty-two, trans girl, she, her, by a timid fox who lives out in the woods. Lately she's been studying healing magic and trying not to have a panic attack. Spec bookshelf. It's been a while since I took a look at what's on this shelf. Let's see. Well, there's a few graphic novels I like, including some that Allison and Claire recommended for me. There's some regular novels, too, but mostly ones I read as a kid. Man, how come I don't read much anymore? Do I just not have the energy as an adult? Oh, Lord, and there's all my overpriced college textbooks. Uh... I don't want to think about my next semester of online classes and the loans and... Wow, the shelf is more depressing than I remembered. Time to stop looking at it. Uh... Alice had a few of these autograph posters made last winter solstice. She gave them to me, everyone out uh, at our gift exchange, and said they'd be valuable someday. Of course, it was only a gag gift, and then she gave everyone their real gifts. But I got her real good when I called her bluff and actually hung it up. Wow, that was a really obvious ploy for attention, huh? Can't believe it took me so long to figure out I had a huge crush on her. What were you gonna say? Burn the shelf! God. Burn the <laughs> shelf! Kitty! Cat. Kitty! Ah, my New Year's resolutions. It's June now, so let's see how many of these I've gotten done. Number one, read more. Well, reading that material on healing spells has to count, right? Number two, be more outgoing. I'd say I'm working on that. Number three, get ripped. Nope. <laughs> well, I guess some progress is better than none. Uh, Hi, Shadow. You okay looking after the house while I'm out? Meow. I'm the Good ultimate boy. life boy. If you, if you need anything, I give you permission to order delivery while I'm out, okay? The self-fulfilling pet fourth emerald! The self-fulfilling pet bowl. Definitely one of the greatest miracles of modern magic. It's me and Allison. We look so cute together in this one. Allison has the same photo hanging in her house. It's nice having a fireplace in the winter. It makes it all warm and cozy in here. Oh god, it smells really musty and dusty right now. When's the last time I cleaned it? I probably avoid breathing in too much of this fireplace here before I put myself in a coughing fit. I already had breakfast! I wonder if there are any coins between the couch cushions. Found a hundred bucks! Hey! Wow! I feel like, because it is inspired by the Mother series, playing this did remind me a bit of Undertale, because both games are inspired by that franchise. I've really gotten a lot of use of this punching bag Jody gave me. Every afternoon I've been doing some basic combat practice on it, and then if my hands get sore, I take a break to practice healing magic on myself. It's no substitute for the real thing, but hopefully the practice pays off. Uh, how do I save? There, you will get a save point in just a minute. Okay. I don't even remember what's in this barrel, and at this point I'm also afraid to check. These pants are really comfortable, but I probably won't get to wear them too often anymore. Claire said I should wear something more thematically appropriate for a paladin, like this skirt I got online. The triangles around the bottom are supposed to enhance my healing magic. Or, or something. Well, at least it's cute. 
I didn't even notice when washing them, but these jeans are way too small for me. Allison must have left them here at some point. They're still a little damp, though, so she can get them some other time. I don't really like wearing my Gil tabard. It feels so formal. I mean, having a uniform gives people expectations. Mainly the expectation that we know what we're doing. Hopefully Claire isn't mad at me for not wearing it. Wait, why do I have this much firewood? It's summer! I'm surprised there's that much dialogue for all the pieces of, like, clothing. <laughs> yep, sure enough. This is one of my favorite shirts. Allison says that when I wear colors like it, it makes uh, like like this, it makes you look like Neapolitan ice cream. I mean, who wouldn't want that? I always feel a little self-conscious when wearing shorts this short, but they're more comfortable than jeans during the summer. They're comfortable and easy to wear. There you go. It's too warm now today to wear a shirt this dark. I like the triangles though. Also, I don't care too much for Neapolitan ice cream. No mail today. How dare you, sir? Look, yeah. I just don't care for the strawberry ice cream. I like the vanilla and chocolate. I'm more of a Great Divide guy. Wait, is that a monster? Weird, they usually keep away from this part of the coast. Well, I guess it's time to put my training to the test. Humble Hermit appears. Fuck it up! Yeah. Hey, we did it! I'm sure it this a good use. There you go. Hey, that wasn't so bad. I should be able to make it a green ridge, no problem. And if I get a little banged up, I can just use first aid. To use first aid outside of battle, open the menu and select skills. Also wouldn't be a bad idea to hit up that save station right there. There you go. There we go. Uh, main story act one, kisses one. <laughs> Yes, they keep track of something like that. It's really funny. Um, I assume we're at time. Uh, no, actually, we still have another five minutes. Uh, if you want to keep going for a minute, do some battles. Do big. You can do big grinding. That'd be fine. Um, again, if if any of this interests you guys, uh, it's on Steam for fifteen bucks. And from what I personally played, I would highly recommend it. Dodge. Well, at least you're next to a save. Yeah, I'm getting the shit kicked out of me right now. Came to the wrong neighborhood, apparently. Well, those guys die in one hit, so... Yeah, first aid. There you go. Think this is a chance to coming to Switch? I honestly would like to see this game on Switch, yeah. I'm not sure how much work it takes to trans transfer over an RPG Maker game over, because it's a bit weird engine at times. Um, I know that... I know that one shot did make the jump, but one shot had to be altered a little bit just because that was a game that was made to be on a computer. So that game had to be altered definitely to work on a console. Um, but they could probably make it work. Transfer. Ha ha ha. Womp womp. Womp womp. Ooh. I literally had to look in chat to see if that was green saying that because that's something I expected Ooh. her to say. Oh, unfortunately, okay, so this is from Hex. Uh, this is from a pair in the FAQ. Sadly, out of the question for the time being, due to engine restrictions, the game would almost definitely need to be remade from scratch in a new engine. Uh, don't wait around for a Switch port. It should run on just any modern Windows PC, though. There you go. Right, I forgot about that. So, engine oh. issues. Okay, so the star meter only builds up per fight. Um... I assume it was a special attack thing. Like some sort of limit break, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, it's, it, it can be used for some special attacks and everything else like that. Yeah. The game, like, I, I will say this, like, even if you can't get it, this on Switch, again, it runs on literally everything. Um, it's also, I think it is Steam Deck, and I think it's uh, Steam Deck verified as well. So... Level up. I'd recommend playing it regardless. Wow, I feel like I'm already getting better at this. Allison's gonna be so impressed. I do really like this character design. Although, I will say this. This is definitely one of those games where it's like... It's... it's I like I like to think of how some designs... You look at some designs, it's like, yep, that was definitely drawn by a furry. <laughs> or that was definitely designed by I a furry. I would hope the lesbian animal RPG game was drawn by a furry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And maybe also a lesbian. And potentially. 
and potentially they like RPGs. And maybe, and may they're, and maybe they're super, super too. They could also yeah, be super. Yeah, exactly. Um, but no. Uh, but yeah, the like this game has a lot of cool sensibilities as uh, to make the game to keep the game from dragging as well. Apparently, so. the level cap is thirty, and it's possible to hit it before you even get to the first dungeon. Incredible. <laughs> Right. Oh, so it's like it's like Mario RPG that way. That's cool. Um, and I think it's a similar length too. Yeah, I heard it's not super long. I think someone said it's about eighteen hours. In so it's like a it's like a SNES RPG. <laughs> oh my god, that might actually make me want to play it more. Wow. Oh wow. wow. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, if you love SNES RPGs, I think you should definitely pick this up. You're um, telling me that a furry made an anthro protagonist? I'm shocked. Shocked, I tell you. I will say, and it is in the, um, I, I do want to read off, um, they do have a, uh, a thing at the bottom, which is like a content warning type thing. I don't know if you want me to read that out, if that counts as spoilers or anything else like that. Uh, yeah, no, go for it. It's probably important for people to know. Okay. Super Lesbian NMRPG contains mild suggestive humor, PG-13 swearing, alcohol and tobacco use, mild fancy violence, some emotionally intense scenes, depictions of anxiety, a few secondhand mentions of transphobia, sequences of unreality and may cause eye strain uh issues in some parts due to high saturated colors um those middle parts are actually pretty important as much as i do love the game i did have to take break from the game a couple times take that for what you will it's a fantastic game but take that for what you will I think it's worth going. I think it's definitely worth experiencing, though. Like, absolutely worth experiencing. Dodge. 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 Oh, thanks, Kane Max. I appreciate that. I always wonder what's behind door. this door near my house, but I guess it's none of my business. Dodge. It's bitch. a door. Open it. Yeah. It's locked. You're main character. <laughs> it's fucking locked, bitch. Shut the fuck up. I will not. You will open that fucking door. Oh my god, Claire. Jesus Christ. Don't tell Melody what to do. I can and I will. Who do you think gave her that healing magic to begin with? You gonna try, god. You gonna try, and, mess, you gonna try and mess with my girlfriend? I won't hesitate, yes. bitch. I won't hesitate, bitch. You, you hesitated pretty well earlier. What do you mean I hesitated? What the fuck are you talking about? I was giving you the chance to be able to use magic, and you're like, oh, I don't know if we should. And now so look, Melody can actually fight her own now. Okay, but I still want to make sure she's okay. Asshole. I still want to make sure she's okay. I better not disturb them. I didn't really, didn't really need to go over there anyways. <laughs> I'm just beating up, uh. beating up animals on the beach. You know, what to do as a hero. <laughs> Absolutely. Snail pig is kind of a cute way of doing a roadblock. Yeah, it's pretty adorable. This game got some really, really good humor to it. I, you know, I actually do want to read off some of the stuff on on Steam because there, there's still, it, there, there are some funny bits here. <laughs> uh, Why is the image of Cole trying to protect John got me laughing? <laughs> <laughs> Protect John. I'd be like, you trying to fuck with my friend? I'll fuck you up. I just imagine this small little like anthro goat just trying to protect big ass I'm not John. That short compared to John. Come on, dude. It is. It is a funny <laughs> idea, though. It. I. It does look like I would be more likely to defend you than the other way around. Yeah. I mean. I mean. Fair enough. That's also fair. I. I know I'm still short. I'm five six. No shit. I like how Prime is calling you out for being short. <laughs> She's the same height as me, too! Prime! <laughs> you can't say shit either. <laughs> Just small, small Cole, small Camille trying to protect John from big, big me, me. Oh, I love his design so much. My name what? is Raphael, traveling merchant extraordinaire. You wouldn't happen to know any adventurer types uh, in need of gear, would you? I was hoping to do a little business after dropping off a delivery from the, uh, for the Palatin Brigade, but there doesn't seem to be much demand today. Oh, I'm an adventurer in need type in need of gear. 
Really? Well, I'm still new, I suppose. I'm a paladin in training. But I could use some equipment. Oops. Why, my apologies. I should have known at a glance. You have the aura of a paladin. I actually don't know any aura spells yet, but thank you! In any case, perhaps some of my goods may aid in your paladin duties. What you got? Faux leather gauntlet, plus four attack. Generic brand pauldrons. Plus five defense, potion, and tier of revival. Well, I could definitely use these things. If you need anything else, miss, I'll be I'll be in town for the rest of the day. Go to the equip tab in the menu and equip any new acquired gear. I really like the character designs in this are on point. Oh, that's like, my really weapon. really good. Okay, I guess that makes sense. Yeah. For the attack. I was thinking it was just gonna be like a charm or like accessory. I'm just imagining it being like a four foot nine Cole trying to protect a six foot seven version of John going square up, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I would bite. I, I, no, I think I think you need to do that, and then the next picture I'm biting their ankles. <laughs> <laughs> I think that would be. It's like you got that, and then that'd be a funny transition. No one ever defends their ankles. <laughs> it's perfect. Chop the tree! Chop the tree! I'm imagining that that Lethal Company art with John and then the Camille and Cole dogs, but the dogs are just decimating someone while John tries to hold them back. <laughs> that's great. Some fucking small dog syndrome. Oh, that's good. Uh. All right, that is where we're gonna have to stop our time here, though. Unfortunately. Pretty good. Honestly, honestly, that's pretty good. We beat the shit out of a lot of things. We did. Mostly hermit crabs. Yeah, but now we have, you know, gauntlets and the uh, pauldrons. We're set. The one thing, you know, the one thing I was afraid of with this, John, that you mm. were going to be annoyed by the four uh, directional movement, but the fact that you said you knew it was an RPG Maker game, yeah. like, relieved any of my concerns. Dude, <laughs> so. it just controls like Final Fantasy VI. It's fine. <laughs> okay. Oh, no. I only move in four directions, not eight directions. Oh no, my game experience, it's ruined. My immersion. Hey, some people are sold on the game, yay. Boss. Yeah, definitely pick it up if you enjoyed what you saw here today. John Influencer, baby. Hey, I'm also influencing as well. I fucking love this game, so. Oh no, my Ludo narrative dissonance. Dis dissonance, not dissonance. Dissonance. Sorry, mispronunciations. Hyper, let's go, lesbians, let's go, Cole. <laughs> uh, good shit. <laughs> God damn it, Tiger. All right. Our block's ready to go. Alerts wise, ToasterWolf99 says Super Lesbian Animal RPG or Slarpaga for short. That feels weird to say out loud. Slarpaga? Nah, eh, not really. It's not that hard. I already say Smurpaga, so Slarpaga is not that bad either. ToasterWolf also gives us up to Ludo Narrative Dissonance. Transgender says Cow. Gee, I wonder why you said that. And Hornelius for 96. Thanks for something hanging out tonight, folks. Your eggs tonight, I assume, to close out the night, will be the shuffler. You will give me an- no! I assumed no! correctly. All right, schedule for the week, folks. Monday is game clearing. Uh, we will have the game clearing spreadsheet available finally, because I kept forgetting to get that ready, and then someone else helped me actually get it ready. Uh, Wednesday is up in the air, because currently, since Wednesday is Valentine's Day, the uh, reason I have plans on Tuesday to do all of our Valentine's Day stuff, so we might there might be a stream Wednesday. I'm not 100% sure. I'll keep you posted on that as soon as I know it. If, if the schedule gets posted, then you basically know for sure when. Uh, and uh, Saturday's... Sorry, Friday. I knew I was forgetting something. Friday is Resident Evil 5 with Camille. We'll be continuing that in the afternoon. And Saturday's Fortune Cookie. So, standard week otherwise. With a bonus stream on Friday. A stream with Luca on Wednesday, maybe? Eh. We'll see if she wants to do that. She might just want to vibe. Who knows? We might just both vibe and just do some shit, but otherwise we might be doing that Tuesday night as well. We'll figure it out. Good vibes. It's good vibes. 
Um, I think we're actually just ready to just go right in our blocks. I don't think we got anything else to worry about. Yo. starts here. Is that a monkey? He has a gun! Wait a minute. He has a persona! <laughs> From Rocket Tauros, I really miss having a working scanner. When you have a game where people use guns to fight, uh, this meme would inevitably pop up one more time. So here's the gang facing the monkey with a gun. But it's not a gun. It's an evoker. And he has a persona. I like how you basically gave him Wukong. Oh, you gave him, oh, you Hanuman. That's what you gave him. Okay. Perfect. Thanks, Tauros. I do love that Hellboy meme. I finally read that comic, by the way, where that actual meme shows up. It makes a lot more sense in context, but not much more. <laughs> Next up from Noir. Just these two, Shooty McShooterson and Bad Dog. Hell yeah. Can't wait to play a bit more of that later when it comes up again on Koki eventually. Thank you, Noir. Next up, this is what I was smirking at earlier from Tiger. Rosa John's butt, value, priceless. Great ass, great, great ass. Having issues hauling this one back to the ship, though. The clapping keeps alerting Goku. <laughs> <laughs> Did you all? You also fucking put the actual slime blob in. <laughs> God damn it, Tiger. Oh. Uh, thank you, Tiger, for the art. Next up, Happy New Year from Chloe. Chloe. <laughs> I got this piece colored in time for the Chinese New Year. Featuring everyone's favorite space mom, bunny, and horse turtle dragon. Hope y'all enjoy. This is super cute. This looks so nice. Thank you so much, Chloe. Okay, I'll keep that in mind. Very cutely done. Nice. And thank you, Chloe. That, that sentence started to get away from me somehow, but there we go. Brought it back in. I feel like I, uh, I asked this at least once a stream, but I'm sorry, what? Who was her ass alerting? The guards, obviously. <laughs> Next up, from Mika. When I said that I was sleep-deprived in my Jommy Donkey comment earlier, I'm doing all right. Today was a long but okay day. However, I've been running on very little sleep, so I drew Jommy tucking my OC in. I'll go to bed, don't worry. My sleep schedule has been messed up, though, so I still have some energy. All right, but make sure you get some rest, sweetie. It's kind of important, okay? Thank you for the art. I feel like I would actually do this, by the way. I would just be like, all right, you're all passed out. Actually, go get some proper sleep. Tuck you in. And open up that fucking wine bottle, baby. Thank you, Mika. We'll jump back to art block or so the to the draw pile later. First, we've got this one here from Gespent. We started the stream with Mom Simulator, and a thought struck me: What if Rosa, but older? Rosa does not need to be a mom. I don't think she wants to be a mom, despite the whole space mom connection. Although maybe maybe she has no choice in the matter. Thank you, Gespent. Very nicely done. Yeah, too late. Exactly the first thing I see in chat. And a couple more pieces before we jump back into the draw pile. From Drops. Oh. Super lesbian animal RPG reminding me of my OC Ophelia, or Leah for short. Magical werewolf swordswoman that would ideally, if I get my ass uh, get off my ass and actually work on it, be the final team member in a game I started making last year on RPG Maker on a dime. Will that see the light of day? No idea, but let's hope so. <laughs> She's really cute. That's a really cute design. Very nicely done on that drops. Best of luck. Next up from Cupo, I think I got ahead of the posts. I did, so I think I'm going back here first then. Draw pile, Year of the Dragon, 178. Nerd Art and Games, Private Butter, Junko, Gespent, Chaos Agent, Skyler, Lombax, Noir, Sagami, Dewangai, Dragon Tamer, Fene, Gabri, Inkstains, Beep Boop, Zant, Disillusion, Daisy, and Nasu. Private Butter. Help! My OCs have been turned into a Hydra. Junko. Gow! Have a Dragon Moon you for the Year of the Dragon. Nerd. Ha ha ha. Drago, Snippy Goper. Dragon Tamer. I had no energy to draw something complex, so I drew Dagon Pokemon. Blonde Lombax. Tonight's draw pile, I feel, is in some dire need of some good old-fashioned Burnination. Gishbent. I remembered I had a Dragon-themed OC for once. 
Skylar, Year of the Durgan. Decided to do a render for this one of my two main OC since they're Dragonic Halflings. Beep boop. Since Wood Dragons, yes, the specific one for this year, is meant to represent new beginnings and times to reestablish a new life, I did... Huh. I did my OC that that's character arc is Reformation. Gabri, Happy Year of the Dragon. Celebrated Drew John's Dragonborn protagonist character from Baldur's Gate 3, making up a fresh batch of potato and lettuce soup for his many, many children. <laughs> ah, potato and lettuce soup. The Wong guy. It's the Year of the Dragon. Here's Bagel in a dragon costume. Don't ask how he put it on or why they're able to fly. For Noir, is it Gao or Bleh? I think it's Gao. Chaos. Gao. Viet Vietnam has their own version of Lunar New Year called Tet. So here's my OC, uh, Sirid uh, Siridla, in an Ao Dai for the celebration. Sagami. Personally spent all week drawing a dragon guy, but draw a dragon lady? Done in one night. Never underestimate the booba. I, I learned that years ago. Never underestimate the booba. Fene, I wish I had more time to work on this, but I have resolved myself to sleep consistently and earlier than 3 or 5 a.m. Always happy. Anyways, happy new Lunar New Year. This time it's my animal, so hopefully this is the year I can figure out my place in all this chaos I'm surrounded by. Zarin, although Snail appears to be a rabbit, that hasn't been his true form in a while. Unbeknownst to anyone, Snail was turned into a dragon by... Virda, with the help of Gabriel, half Arctic Volfine, half lesser Lager Dragon Lord, Sneal's slender body is covered in perpetual mist, which compels those within it to follow his every command. His red eye even turns pink, and you can barely make out his top surgery scars. I have a feeling I but butchered every name in that sentence. From Daisy Chain, hi, this is Daisy, who is a real dragon zodiac. This also is my interpretation of Dragon John. Uh, eyes a dragon, roar! Yes, there's going to be food, but I ran out of time. From Nasu, only had time to do a title today, so I knew I had to make a count. Hapdur gear and disillusion. Been quite a while since I drew egg. So here's her and all her smug, or here's her all snug in a dragon onesie for the year of the dragon. We got dragons. We got gal. We got dragons. We got dragons. We got dragons. We got dragons. We got shuckle. <laughs> We got Draconians, we got Dragons, we got Burna Nation, we got... That actually is a really cute costume. I don't think I could ever put Bagel on that, but it's super cute. We got Dragons, we got Titles, we got Dragons. We got Floating Beef Roos and Bagels, and we got Roses. Oh, the Goofy-Eyed Hydra is perfect. We got Dragons from Baldur's Gate. We got Cards and Dragon Dresses. We got Dragons and Dresses. We got Crabs and Dragons. We got dragons. We got dragons saying roar. We got so many dragons. 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 Thank you, everybody who worked on the draw pile. Always appreciate it. These tend to happen on Saturday streams, so if you want to get involved in those, go to the Art Discord. Exclamation Art Discord gets you access there if you want to join in. You also don't need to be a visual artist as well. There's plenty of writing and other stuff to do there as well. If you got a sub tonight, feel free to join the sub Discord. That happens to uh, give you a heads up on certain things. Like, hopefully something very soon, because there's talks about a movie night very soon. Uh, also, if you type Exhibition League, you get access to a bunch of our servers for different games, such as Splatoon, Rocket League, Pokemon Unite, Pokemon Showdown, and Smash Brothers. Just in case I didn't say Splatoon already or not, I thought I said Splatoon instead of Smash. And there you go. Thank you, everybody, for working on the draw pile. Do we have messages now? Cupo. Didn't finish it on time, but happy year of the Durgan. We'll be adding more Durgs, like a red panda turned Durg and Airy. Oh, right. Last dragon on from his Zarin Sona, but as Durgan. Should have mentioned I turned a wolf into a dragon. You would. You would. Thank you, Cupo. Ooh, poor Red. Hmm? No, no, no. I'm just singing the music. Don't worry about it. Okay. And from Nico, I sadly missed the cutoff point for the draw pile, so I'm posting this here instead. I'd be completely, I'd be a completely new Derg for Lunar New Year. Fun fact, had to look this up, but my zodiac sign is indeed Metal Dragon. Who'd have thunk? Rad. Hell yeah. What was mine again? I'm a wood cow, wood ox. That sounds right. Wood ox sounds right. From Mel. Oh, this is cute. Look at this. Hell yeah. Here's a quick picture of Rosa John as a fox, inspired by the character designs from Super Lesbian Animal RPG. Very cute. Very nicely done on this. Adorable. Adorable. Which again, so damn fitting. 
I don't even remember the actual, like, description of what a wood ox is supposed to be. We just know that we made the joke that it was, oh, it's cow, so you're just a cow. Tits. Thank you, Mel. Very nicely done. And the last piece I have here from Crytoxin, since it's the year of the dragon, have a dragon mouse from my mobile game Mouse Hunt. The mobile oh, that's game. A fucking he, sick design. Yeah, the mobile game they play. Cool. And All right. that is Art Block. The element of growth is your assigned element. Yes, that was also why everyone was having a good laugh at it when we figured that out a while ago. I am the element of growth, and I forget what the ox part means. Wood cows are stubborn. Wow, who could have seen that coming? What would have made anyone <laughs> be surprised by that finding, huh? Your wood grows, huh? Shut the fuck up, Vincent. <laughs> Dang, it was relevant to draw dragons for our block, and I didn't. It feels real bad. Don't worry, Sam. You got a whole year for it now. Well, thanks for hanging out, everybody. Uh, let's go find our raid target. What is our raid message for the night? <laughs> Jami Simulator? <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, potato and lettuce soup. We got dragons. Oh, God. Return of Jami. All right, story time. I keep forgetting the damn one-word story. At least I remember to turn it on. Hang on. All right, I got our target at least for the raid, so. Uh, amazing that I can type the word Rosa in my search bar and it actually brings up what I need. <laughs> As the first result, I should point out. All right. Pause the one-word story. We got six... <laughs> 69. We have 68 words. Wait, hold up. Oh, wait, you already can't. Took it out. Just for you. <laughs> I should have fucking known. God damn now, it. Now we have 69 words. <laughs> Alright, folks. Why is it always so fucking loud? All right, folks. One word story for the stream from February 10th, 2024. MILF management. I don't think I need to read the rest of this at this point. That's really, that's really the end. It's just MILF management. Booger, Megan. Motherhood is beautiful. Popcorn, Jami. Jilky, Jilf, because. Put salad, toaster. Sorry, toaster. Babysitter trash. Komugi descended escape parental piss simulations. Fuka lemons, lemons, lemons stealing. Tom scream. Fuck. Cake dancing. Pubescent Greg protag, protagonist. Milf persona. Waffle egg cider. Bracken asset senpai. Bezos, yippee! Kermit Meowskareda, Pants Chaos. Shovel Death by Bonking Hammer, Bazinga, Extreme Great, Wonderful, Sarsaparilla, Buses, Bracken Bouncy, Squish Video Games, Void Confused. Nice. And that's the story chat wrote for the stream of February 10th, 2024. Rental piss simulations. Yeah, that was the order I got there. Along with MILF persona. Alright, folks, what's our raid message? I'll still say Jami returns. Or Jami simulator. Y'all got problems. <laughs> <laughs> Gee, find me somebody who doesn't. Ooh, touche. Good retort. Also, what game did you start start on tonight? 
Look, I said I started on that because someone literally bought it for me. I was just like, all right, fuck it. And I, like, chat saw it and they wanted to know about it. And they're like, all right, well, I'll show you it on stream. And then we did a game clearing on it. Unintentionally. It's 2024, everyone's got problems. I mean, it's true. Potato and lettuce soup. I almost want to go with that. <laughs> we got dragons. Kind of like we got dragons. But I also really like potato and lettuce soup. Yeah, I'm doing potato and lettuce soup. Really, I think that's the takeaway from playing Mom Simulator, was potato and lettuce soup. I guess there was also uncooked hot dog. <laughs> but well, let's go with potato and lettuce soup. Alright. Uh, Juker is over at Oozworm's stream right now. They are doing a 24-hour charity stream. Ooh. They're raising money for the Lavender Rights Project. So, uh, Juker's currently playing... It looks like a Wind Waker... I can't tell if it's a randomizer or just... Whatever, because he's dressed as Solid Snake currently. So I'm going to assume it's a Wind Waker randomizer. <laughs> so Animal Crossing, some of the worst neighbors. Bird. That's actually not a bad mod. But oh my god, god the leaves Okay, that's kind of great. Parrot, dude. That's kind of great. It. God, what is potato and lettuce? What happened? Hey! Hey, what's up, everyone? Hey! Do you also hate birds? I hate birds. <laughs> birds in video games, they're the worst. Hey, welcome on in, Raiders. We're raising money for the Lavender Project today. As he fighting the birds? Don't piss off the, the birds. Stream. They know uh, where you live. Year. They'll poop on where you this live. The late night block. We are raising money for transgender. The Wind Waker funds. character mods are surprisingly polished. This is like this is super get cool. Get out of here, bird. I'm tr trying to fucking talk. <laughs> God, that's so cool. So I'm running All right, the uh, folks, uh, I'll see you guys Monday for game clearing. But, uh, Take it I easy, have a good one. Out. Hi, everybody! <laughs> Thanks for following me, but you should go follow Uzurv and donate to the ch They'll always find you. Those They'll birds. always find you, Juker. We, we need to erase all birds. Fucking kill them all. I like how Yuna, I think Yuna followed both Juker and Ooswarm at the same time. <laughs> That's great. Woo! What time is it? It's 2 a.m. I, mean, I love, you know what, I never, I never even showed this off, I realized. I talked about this, but I never actually showed it off. Uh, the entire time I've had on my mug, we've been doing all the mom simulator shit. And I've had an actual mug on my desk that says, Best fucking Kirby Dad, just sitting here. Uh, give me a second. We're going to do a slightly delayed ending here, because I have to fucking do a long workaround to show you guys. There was a, a mom one? No, I was joking that I need a mom mug now at the rate of this, but, like... Well, guys, you know what to get John now. All the mo best mom mugs. Oh my god, do, do we need that? An entire that? cabinet of just do, best mom. Do we really need that? Just just to show this before we end, so. This, I Ikaro gave me this. Oh, Jesus. And Reese got her own, too, which was hilarious. She got her own, which was another reference, too. My god. But this is fucking awesome. Thank you all so much. I'm out. I'll catch you guys on Monday. Best fucking Kirby dad. <laughs>